I better go and clean it up. Yeah, you better had. Oh. Hold on, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Oh, let it be me. <laughs> let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. Let, 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 let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me. The dressing up room. Let's play. This is very exciting. So, what are we playing today? Whoa! So I'm wearing work boots, a pirate's outfit, and a jester's hat. This can't be right. This is more like it. I'm now wearing a leather jacket a cool belt and leather boots. So, what are we playing today? Of course, we're playing at being rock stars. We're going to play rock music. So what do we need to know? Rock stars are famous musicians who play in popular rock bands. They play their songs on guitar and drums. Rock stars like to play loud, so they sing into microphones which are plugged into speakers. The speakers make their voices sound really loud. Rock stars travel all around the world playing concerts that are often called gigs. They travel in a van or tour bus with all their equipment. When rock stars play live, the drummer keeps time for the song. So the drummer usually counts one, two, three, four, and then the song begins. Well, I love drumming, so I should be good at that. So that's everything we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Oh. Some sort of plastic thingy. What would a rock star do with that? Well, I guess we'll find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Sid, you look amazing! I know, I think I look pretty cool. Can you guess what we're playing today? Yes, you're going to be a rock star. <laughs> Although I kind of wish you were a decorator or a cleaner, so you can help me sort out the mess on the wall. Ah, uh, yes, I promise I'll clear it up when I get back. See you later. Have fun! Come on, let's play rock stars. So, where am I? Oh, wow. This looks like the kind of place where a rock band might play a concert. Uh, whoa! They must be a very popular band. Can you see how many people are queuing up outside? No way. No way, is it? Are you? You are. You're the drummer out of Totally Amazing. I am? Yeah. I thought it were you. Sounds like I'm the drummer in a band called... Totally Amazing. I love Totally Amazing. You're like my totally favourite band. I love your new look. I hardly recognise you without your glasses. 
I got these ones because I wanted to look just like you. Glasses? What does she mean, glasses? Can I have your autograph, please? Autograph? Yeah, could you sign this for me, please? Oh, I see. <laughs> I've just signed my first autograph as a member of a rock band. Cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, uh, you must be feeling nervous. Why? Because Mooney Millions is going to be there. Who's Mooney Millions? Who's Mooney Millions? Only the woman who will get your song on the radio and your band on TV. Brilliant. It's really important Mooney likes your music because if she decides she likes you, you will become really, really famous. She sounds really important, then. Well, good luck for today. <laughs> oh, I just met the drummer from Totally Amazing! Wow. So I'm about to play a very important gig, and I'm the drummer in the band. Wow! Right, let's go inside, shall we? That sounds like a musical instrument and it's coming from over here. Hold up. Where do you think you're going? Uh, me? Uh, I'm in the band. Uh, I'm the drummer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't recognise you, you know, without the uh, glasses. That's the second person to mention glasses. I don't even wear glasses. I'm Steve and I'm part of your road crew. Oh, pleased to meet you, Steve. <laughs> oh, steady on, steady on. You want to be careful with that wrist? I do? Yep. And you're going to need your backstage pass. You can't be backstage without your backstage pass, you know. Wow, a backstage pass. And look, there's a picture of me with glasses. You've got to make sure you wear that at all times and be careful with that wrist. Oh, right. OK, Steve. Thanks. Will do. <laughs> wow, look at this kit. Wow, this is amazing. Hello. Hey, there you are. Where are your glasses? And how's your wrist? Is it still hurting? Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's fine, thank you for asking. <laughs> Why does everyone keep asking me about my glasses and whether or not my wrist is OK? Great. So are you going to sound check your drums then? Sound check my drums? You know, just check the levels are OK in your microphone and so on? Uh, OK. <laughs> so how are you feeling about the gig? We really want it to go well, right? <laughs> like, I've been practising my guitar all day. But we have to practice all the time, right? Yeah, of course we do. <laughs> We're totally amazing. Uh, 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 uh. Your drumming is too loud. I, I can't hear my voice. Oh, uh-oh. The guitarist can't hear herself. We can't keep on practicing if she can't hear herself. What are we going to do? Oh. Hold on. I remember. Do you? Yes, that's it. Rock bands like to play their music loud and their microphones are plugged into speakers so that they can hear their voices. We need to make sure that the microphones are plugged into speakers so everyone can hear themselves. Right. This shouldn't take long. Done. I should be okay now. I'll just test it to make sure it's working. One, two. Whoa, that is loud. Testing, testing. One, two. Microphone check. One, two. That's better. Hold on. If that's your microphone and that's my microphone, whose is this one? That one belongs to the lead singer. Well, where is the lead singer? I don't know, but I hope she shows up soon. No singer, no gig. No gig? No way. We must find the lead singer of the band before the gig starts. Come on, let's have a look backstage with my backstage pass. Let's play. Oh, wow. So this is backstage. Yeah, gig of the year, sweaty. Yeah, that's what everyone's saying. Who's this? Maybe it's the lead singer. Yeah, best new band anyone's seen for ages. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, darling, the paperwork's in my desk. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, if this band are any good, I'm gonna get them signed here and now. And they'll be the next big band, and we'll make them really, really famous. Oh, that must be Moni Millions, the woman who can get totally amazing on TV and help them sell lots of CDs and downloads. She has come to the gig. 
Yeah, the gig starts soon, so I've got to go. Yeah, love you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better find the lead singer of the band and hurry, otherwise there won't be gigs soon or any time. Whoa, look at that. Totally amazing CDs, posters, T-shirts, and a picture of me wearing glasses again. I don't usually wear glasses, although I do look pretty cool, if I say so myself. Oh, look, here comes Steve from the road crew. Hello, Steve. You haven't seen our lead singer, have you? We need her for a sound check, and I can't find her anywhere. Hang on a minute. Aren't you going the wrong way? You're due on stage in a bit for your gig. Yes, I know, but we're looking for the singer. Have you seen her? No, nope, but I'll tell you who I have seen. None other than Moni Millions. She's like the biggest person in the rock business. Yes, I know. You'll have to play really well today, then. <sighs> Sounds like they've opened the doors. The fans are coming in. Right, I've got to go. See you later. I need to find our lead singer, and quick! No singer, no gig. No gig, no money millions to put the band on TV. What am I going to do? Where do I find her? Hold on, I remember, do you? That's it. Sometimes rock bands tour around the world on a van or tour bus. And I think I saw one of those outside. We haven't looked there yet. Maybe our lead singer's there. Wow, this looks like a cool bus. Maybe this is the tour bus that the band travel in. Perhaps the lead singer's in there. Wow, look at all this. This is definitely a rock star hangout. There's a bed and a TV and... Oh. <laughs> I recognise her from the poster. Hello! Wakey, wakey! What's this? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to wake you. You were sound asleep. Oh, I was having a lovely dream. Hi! I like your new look. What happened to your glasses and where's your, uh, your bandage? <laughs> oh, is that the time? We need to hit the stage. Moni Millions might be here by now. Oh, yes, I've just seen her. Come on, we don't want to be late. Yes, I know. Let's play. You ready? Sure thing. Right, here goes. Oh, no, I can't go on. What is it? What now? I've lost my plectrum. What am I going to do? What's a plectrum? It's a small piece of plastic. I use it to pluck the strings of my guitar when I'm playing it. I can't play without it. A small piece of plastic? Hold on. I know what we can use, do you? Of course. I knew this plastic thingy would come in handy. You can have this. That's it. It's a plectrum. It's perfect. Ha, let's go. Right, this time we really are going. Why hasn't the music started? Why is everyone looking at me? Am I supposed to be doing something here? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? When a rock band plays live, usually the drummer starts with one, two, three, four to get the song going. And I'm the drummer, so I need to say one, two, three, four so we can get started. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We're totally amazing and we've just arrived. Five, four, three, two, one. Playing in a rock band so much fun. We're totally amazing. We love to play and we love to sing. One, two, three, four, five. We're totally amazing and we're playing live. Five, four, three, two, one. If you're not up on the floor, then our work isn't done. We're totally amazing. And so are you. Now let me hear you say. Let's play. 
<laughs> wow, that was totally amazing. amazing. All right, nice one. Look, I'm off to get a shower. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. Wow, that was totally amazing. <laughs> Thanks for waking me up. No problem. After all that singing, I think I need a glass of fizzy pop. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> I think I could do with a drink as well. It's thirsty work being a rock star. Hang on a minute there, Sid. Who's this? Oh, it's Moni. Uh, hi, Moni. So, what did you think of the gig? Wow, Sid, you totally rocked. I even bought the T-shirt. You are a great drummer. And I'd really like to manage your band. Wow, thanks. Oh, well, Moni, the thing about me is... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah uh, tomorrow. Yeah, of course. You won't be disappointed. Mm. Gotta go. I've just booked Totally Amazing on a TV show tomorrow. <gasps> You're going to be totally massive. Wow. I'm going to tell your bandmates the good news. OK, great, thanks. That is good news. The band will be really excited. Hey, who's this? Oh, hello. You look like me, except you've got glasses and a wrist bandage. You must be the real totally amazing drummer. Yeah, that's right, man. Hey, man, thanks for stepping in, man. I couldn't play in today's gig because I hurt my wrist, man. But I got to tell you, man, you were amazing, man. You totally rocked it, man. Thank you so much, man. That's OK. It was a blast being a rock star. Cool. How's your wrist now? Better, I think. A lot better. That's good news. But seriously, though, man, you totally rocked it, man. You were like a totally amazing drummer, man. Thank you so much, man. Here, have this poster. Brilliant. This is really, really cool. Well, we did it, but we'd never have done such a good job without remembering everything we needed to know. Rock stars use microphones that are plugged into speakers to make their voices really loud. One, two, whoa. They travel from gig to gig in a van or tour bus with all their equipment. And when they play live, the drummer usually counts... One, two, three, four. And then the song begins. Well, it looks like Totally Amazing are going to be a real success. So, I think it's time we went home. Let's play. Hey, Sid, how was it? Totally amazing. Cool. What have you been getting up to? I've been trying to clean the stain on the wall. Oh, thanks for doing that. That's really kind. Oh, that's all right. But I didn't have much luck. I don't know what we're going to do. I have just the thing. Job done. Totally amazing. <laughs> Playing a rock star was totally amazing. What do you like to play? Let's play. I like to play chickens and I flap my wings like this. <laughs> The life goes is fun and I rescue my teddies like this. When I play rugby plays, I run around like this. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure. What could we do? I'd like to sail a pirate ship or decorate a room. I could be a film director or I could walk your pet. A clown or tennis player, the best you've ever met. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure today. Let's play. Hey, Sid, what are you making? Is it a picture frame? No, it's a dream catcher. What's a dream catcher? Well, it's a kind of mobile that you hang over your bed. Now, some people think it helps you with your dreams so you can get a good night's sleep. Oh, that sounds cool. Can I help? Yeah, I've made the frame, so all we need to do now is decorate it, and I've got some wool and lots of colourful beads for that. Oh, looks like we've got everything we need. Mm, still feels like there's something missing, though. Maybe it'll come to you when we start making it. OK, let's get dream catching. Oh, not now, Sid. It's time. Great. 
It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. Dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So, what do you think we're playing today? So, this time I've got on a riding helmet, a Christmas elf outfit, and a pair of fluffy bird slippers. <laughs> this can't be right. Let's try again. So this time I've got on a helmet and a jumpsuit. So what are we playing today? Yes, we're going to be helicopter pilots and fly a helicopter. So what do we need to know? Helicopters are aircraft with rotor blades on top, which take off and land by going straight up and down. Before helicopter pilots take off, they must do a safety check to make sure the helicopter isn't damaged or broken. Helicopters need a large, clear space to land, away from trees, buildings and people. Some helicopters have a rescue basket that can be lowered down to pick people up without having to land. OK, that's everything we need to know, but do we need anything else? A box of raisins. I've no idea what that's for, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. OK, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Oh, caught any dreams yet, Sid? No, not yet, but it won't be long. Look. Oh, that's great. But, Sid, can you guess what we're playing today? Oh, are you playing extreme painter and decorators? No, I'm being a helicopter pilot. Oh! Well, while you're up there, if you see any dreams, send them my way. <laughs> I will. Happy dream catching, Sid. <laughs> it's time for me to fly. Have fun. See ya. Let's play. Come on, let's play helicopter pilot. <laughs> so where am I? Oh, what a beautiful place. And look, the sea. Well, I can see the sea, but I can't see any helicopters around here. Ah, oh, but then again, helicopters fly in the sky, don't they? So maybe I should look up there instead. Oh, no helicopters there, 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 or anywhere. Hmm. That bird must be round here somewhere. I'm sure of it. <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. You didn't see me, but you've got a huge pair of binoculars. <laughs> yeah, but these are my bird watching binoculars. I'm a bird watcher, you see? I was watching for birds, not. Helicopter pilots. Not helicopter pilots, no. That's all right. No harm done. A Billy Twitch at your service. Rebecca the helicopter pilot at yours too. <laughs> so have you seen many birds today? Ooh, I have actually. I've seen plenty of birds. I've seen a chaffinch, I've seen a seagull, a pigeon, and a heron, and a dove, and a kingfisher, and a kestrel. My, you have been busy. I have, but there's one bird I've never, ever spotted. A golden plover. Golden plover? That certainly sounds colourful. Oh, yes. And rumour has it there's one around there somewhere. And it's my mission to spot it for myself. A mission, eh? Yeah. Well, good luck, Billy. I'm on a mission to spot something too. <gasps> oh, a, a raven? A robin, perhaps? Nope, none of those. A helicopter. I don't suppose you've seen one on your travels, have you? As it happens, I have. Have a look through these. Over there. That's the Coast Guard Rescue Centre. And they've got a helicopter in a hangar. Fantastic. Thanks, Billy. That's where I need to go to. 
Good luck with the golden plover. Let's play. This must be the place. Here goes. Helicopter pilot Rebecca reporting for duty, oh. sir. Ah, oh, pilot Rebecca. You must be the replacement of the helicopter pilot. I'm Roger Wilco. I've been expecting you. Sad to say about the usual helicopter pilot who fell ill. He had to cast a cream biscuit and it went down the wrong way. And he can't have a helicopter without a helicopter pilot to fly it. And here, a Coast Guard rescue. You need a helicopter pilot on call at all times. You never know when an emergency might strike. Oh, I see. But couldn't you fly the helicopter? I mean, in an emergency. Gracious, no. I've got to sit here on the emergency seat and answer the emergency telephone on the emergency desk right next to the emergency label dispenser. Come on into the control tower. I'll show you the ropes. Roger, Roger. I'm right behind you. So, here we have the control tower. This is perfect for an emergency. There's the emergency flashlight, the emergency siren, the emergency desk with the emergency telephone, of course. And right here, next to the emergency snack, is the most important thing of all. Uh, the emergency toolbox? No, the emergency flask or cocoa. Crucial. <clears throat> now, let me show you the emergency helicopter. She's quite a beast. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, wow. Now that's what you call a helicopter. Isn't she a beauty? Let me give you the tour. Those are the rotor blades. That's what spins around when the helicopter flies. There's the cockpit. That's where you sit when you fly this beast. Amazing. What's going on? Emergency. 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 Then shouldn't we answer the emergency, emergency. telephone, Roger? I can't believe it. There's an emergency. Roger! No, what? Oh, yes, of course we should. Come on. I wonder what the emergency could be. Come on, let's find out. Coast Guard Rescue, what's the emergency? It's Bucky, my bad-tempered goat, he's escaped. His goat's escaped. That's very sad, but it's hardly an emergency, is it? No, you don't understand. He chased a bird watcher clean across the field. He chased a bird watcher clean across the field. That's the goat, not the shepherd. Annoying, yes, but still not an emergency yet. He chased a bird watcher clean over the cliff. He chased a bird watcher clean over the cliff. That's the goat again, not the shepherd. What? <coughs> now that is an emergency. We'll be right there. Scramble the helicopter, there's no time to lose. You said there was no time to lose. Safety first, Rebecca. Safety first. But I've got my crash helmet on. What does he mean? How am I supposed to rescue Billy Twitch from the cliff if I can't even get into the helicopter to fly it? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. Before helicopter pilots take off, they must do a safety check to make sure nothing on the helicopter is damaged or broken. Roger, we need to do a safety check. That's right. I knew you'd remember. Oh, great. Right. Control stick? Check. Rotor blades? Check. Windows? Yep, oh, check. <laughs> there you go, Roger. All fine. Then you are good to go. I'll be up in the control tower, keeping my eagle eye out and everything. Good luck, helicopter pilot Rebecca. I'm gonna need it. Can you hear me, Roger? Receiving you loud and clear. Now, you all strapped in and ready to go? All buckled up, helmet on, rotor blades are go, and the control stick is ready. Steady. Steady now. Easy does it. And we're off! <laughs> Here we go! Woo! Oh, wow, this is fantastic! Any sign of that bird watcher, Rebecca? Not yet, Roger. Any ideas where he might be? Well, the shepherd lives on top of the big hill. Let's start there. OK, will do, Roger. Fast as you can now. And remember, I'm just on the end of the line. Roger, Roger. Oh, there's the shepherd. Looks like he's trying to tell me something. But what? Oh, it's no good. I can't hear him. How am I going to find Billy Twitch? If the shepherd can't tell me where he is. We need to land so I can speak to the shepherd. Where? Where can we land the helicopter? Oh, hold on, I remember to you. That's it. Helicopters need a large, clear space to land, away from trees, buildings and people. OK, so we can't land near the shepherd or his sheep, or near those farm buildings, or those trees. 
field just over that hedge looks like a clear space to me. Let's land there, come on. Roger, we're going in to land. Good stuff. Follow that bird watcher, Rebecca. I will. Going down. Phew! Hello? He's gone over there. That's what I'm trying Pardon? to... Pardon? You come... No, don't look over I there. I can't hear you. Can you come closer? Here. Well, if you won't come to me, I guess I'll have to go to him. Oh, hello there. I'm Rebecca, the helicopter pilot. Careful there. Mind yourself. Oh, it's OK. The rotors have stopped. It's safe to come closer. Well, it's not that. Thing is, see, this field you landed in is the field that Bucky the Bad-Tempered Goat escaped into. <laughs> and with all the excitement, I haven't had a chance to round him up yet. Yikes. That's one bad-tempered goat, all right. Uh... Gates that way. Reckon if you run fast enough, you might just make it. Good goat. Nice goat. <laughs> whoa, whoa, goat! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Well done. There's not many that can outrun Bucky. All part of the emergency services. And speaking of emergencies, now I need you to tell me where that bird watcher fell over the cliff. He went over the edge of that field right there. Oh dear. I hope he's all right. Ah, oh, he'll be fine. There's lots of little ledges and outcrops and things like that to hold on to. He won't have fallen far. Of course I would have checked, but you know, I've got Bucky here and you never know what he might do. Good job I've got my helicopter then. I can zoom over Bucky and take a look. Good luck with that. You'll have to get past Bucky first. Oh, no. How am I ever going to get back to my helicopter with that great galloping grumpy goat in the way? Oh. Hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? These raisins. I knew they'd come in handy for something. Keeping Bucky happy while I get back to my helicopter. Good luck. Here you go, Bucky. Some delicious raisins for you. Mmm. There you go. Now Bucky's munching on those raisins. He looks a lot less grumpy. Thanks, Mr. Shepherd. Come on, let's get back to the helicopter. Let's play. Right, now where's that bird watcher? Oh, hang on. That looks like him. Yes, that's Billy, all right. Come on, let's take this helicopter closer. Hello, Billy. Hello, Rebecca. I see you found your helicopter. Good on you. I've come to rescue you. But how? I can't land this helicopter on that tiny ledge. So how can I rescue poor Billy Twitch? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. Some helicopters have a special rescue basket that can be lowered down to pick people up without having to land. That sounds like the kind of thing I need. I wonder if this helicopter has that kind of thing. I know. Roger? Hello, Roger, are you there? Roger? Kangaroos. Oh, what's that? Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. Should have drunk that mug of warm emergency cocoa. How can I help you? Well, I'd like to know, does this helicopter have an emergency rescue basket? Yes, just flip the switch on the bottom left-hand side, the grey one. Right, yes, will do, Roger. Whoa! This isn't going to be easy. Wish me luck. Easy does it. Down a bit. Down a bit. This is harder than it looks. That's it. Well done, Rebecca. Yes, we did it. Can you pull yourself into the basket, Billy? Come in, Rebecca. Make sure you strap yourself in. Have done. Ready when you are. Up, up, and away. Whee. Hold on tight. Roger, this is Rebecca. I'm on my way back, and I've got Billy with me. I knew you could do it, Rebecca. <gasps> wait, wait, stop. That's Billy. I hope he's all right. Are you OK, Billy? Are you feeling airsick? Not at all. Everything's wonderful. Look over there. It's a golden plover. I finally spied one. Brilliant. I'll keep us level so you can take a photo. Steady. Steady. There. 
Oh. 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 A feather from a golden plover. Amazing. Right, no more delays. Back to Roger at the rescue centre. Let's play. I'm glad you made it back safely, Billy. Oh, thanks for coming to my rescue helicopter pilot, Rebecca. The medic says I've sprained my ankle, but I'm gonna be okay. Oh, and thank you so much for helping me to see my very first ever golden plover. It's my pleasure. But do try to be a bit more careful next time you're out bird spotting. Uh, I will. No more sprained ankles for me. <laughs> I'll be watching out for them goats and cliffs as well as birds from now on. Oh, uh, now that golden plover, it dropped a feather. I'd like you to have it. It's my way of saying thank you for flying to my rescue. There you go. Thanks, Rebecca. Bye. Well, it looks like I earned my wings as a helicopter pilot. But we'd never have managed to do it without remembering everything we needed to know. Helicopter pilots must do a safety check before they take off to make sure nothing is damaged or broken. Helicopters need a clear space to land. And some helicopters have a rescue basket to pick people up without having to land. Roger! Well done, helicopter pilot Rebecca. Top-notch rescue. I couldn't have done it better myself. Although, I couldn't leave the emergency seat or the emergency telephone or the emergency desk. An emergency could come through at any moment. Thanks, Roger. I think it's time we went home. Bye, Roger. Goodbye, Rebecca. Come back any time, eh? Let's play! Hey, Sid, that looks really pretty. I'm sure you'll catch loads of dreams in it. I hope so. It still doesn't quite feel right. There's something missing from it, but I can't remember what it is. Anyway, how was your adventure? Oh, it was great. I flew a helicopter up and down the coast. I rescued a man and he gave me this lovely feather. A feather! That's it. That's what's missing from this dream catcher. Well, you're more than welcome to have this one. Thanks, Rebecca. There. <laughs> Perfect. Playing helicopter pilots was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play! When I play gestures, I shake my bones like this. <laughs> That's the noise I make when I'm playing elephants. I love playing news reporters and I speak in the microphone like this. Hello, this is the news. Let's play! found in the cupboard. Oh, cool. Haven't seen that before. What's in it? Let's have a look and see. Oh, a hammer. No, that's not a hammer. This is a mallet. It's used in a game called croquet. You use a ball and you just hit it with a mallet like this. Oh, right. Croquet. Let's have a look. This is nice and easy. So sits on the ball. He shoots. Oh, and he scores! What a great goal from Sid! And the crowd go crazy! <laughs> it's not quite as easy as that, Sid. You have to hit the ball through a hoop. Let's see if there's any in the box. Um, uh, no hoops in there. Oh, well, we can't play croquet without any hoops. Hold on, Rebecca. It's time! Great! <laughs> it's time to play! Whose turn is it today? Let it be me! <laughs> Let it be me! 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 Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me! Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! The 
dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So, what are we playing today? Right, so I've got on a clown's hat, a Roman uniform and piggy slippers. This definitely can't be right. Whoa, so this time I'm wearing a riding hat, a smart jacket and a pair of boots. So, what are we playing today? Of course, we're going to be show jumpers. So what do we need to know? Show jumpers ride horses in competitions. They have to be the fastest rider to go around a course of different sized jumps. A horse and rider need a special bond that allows them to understand and communicate with each other as they ride together. Show jumpers always walk around the course before they start jumping so they know the order of the jumps. And if a horse refuses to jump, the rider can settle and reassure it by stroking its neck before asking it to jump again. OK, so that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Oh! A bell. I wonder what we're going to need this for. Guess we'll soon find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Rebecca, guess what I am playing today? Um, a pilot. Me! <laughs> oh, go on, give me a clue. I just did. Oh, never mind. Here's another one. Me! <laughs> <laughs> I think I guess who you're playing today. You're going to be a show jumper. Yes, I am. Tally ho. That means goodbye to show jumpers. Oh, goodbye, Sid. Uh, Tally ho. Let's play. Come on, let's play show jumpers. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So, where am I? Oh, well, it seems like I've landed in some stables, but I can't see any horses anywhere. Hmm. Oh, there you are. Mrs <laughs> Trotter, great to meet you. You're here just in time. Just in time for what? The finals of the show jumping championships, of course. You are a show jumper, aren't you? I mean, uh, yes, I am. I I'm Sid, um, show jumper extraordinaire at your service. <laughs> well, I'm relying on you to win the competition. Jumping jockeys. That sounds like quite a challenge. You see, if one of my horses doesn't win the prize money today, I'll have to close down my stables, which means no more riding lessons for the village children anymore. Oh, no. Don't worry, I'll do my very best to win that competition, bring back the prize money and save the stables for you. <gasps> marvellous, marvellous. tally -o! Come on, let's go and choose a horse. Hello, horses. Hello. Whoa, a talking horse. Which one of you said that? me. <laughs> Percy wash and brush, the groom. I'll look after the horses, feeding them and brushing them and mucking out the stable. But of course you knew that, being a champion show jumper and all. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, I'm Sid and I'm here to ride for Mrs Trotter in today's show jumping championship final. Oh, well, I'll go and get your saddle and bridle for you then. <sighs> Hold on, Percy. How do I know which horse to choose? And he's gone. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to choose a horse by myself. <sighs> but how do I know which one to choose? Hmm. Uh, oh, um, oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Yes, a horse and rider need a special bond to help them understand and communicate with each other when they ride together. So I need to find a horse that I communicate best with. So, oh, I might need Percy to help me with that. Uh, Percy! Do you think you could introduce me to the horses so I know which is the best one to choose? Sure. Well, this one here is called Shining Star. <laughs> Shining Star, that's a cool name. But I'll have to call her Nibbler because she likes to nibble everything she sees. Oh. <gasps> including your hat, Sid. Whoa, <laughs> you naughty nibbler. <laughs> <laughs> and this one here is called Sunshine, but I'll have to call her Kick and Run. <laughs> Whoa. Wait for me. So that's why they call her Kick and Run. Oh, and that horse has kicked the door so hard, it's dropped one of its shoes. Hmm, 
Some people say that horseshoes are very lucky. I'll keep this. It might come in handy. Oh, hello. Who are you? What a lovely horse. <laughs> I managed to catch Kick and Run. I put her in the paddock. <laughs> I'll see you've met Champion. Is that your name? That's a good name. And we get on very well together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Champion is the horse for me. And with a name like Champion, we're bound to win the show jumping championships. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that, Sid. Everyone calls him Cardigan. Cardigan? Oh, is that because you're so big and soft and fluffy like a cardigan? Uh, no, it's because he's not a very good jumper. Oh, right. Oh, well, we do have a special bond, so I guess we'll do the best that we can, won't we? <coughs> yes. The only thing is, I haven't actually ridden a horse before, so I think it might be a good idea if I give it a go before the competition. I'll just go and get your saddle. Hold on a minute. For a moment there, I thought I heard you say you'd never ridden all speed before. <laughs> oh, imagine trying to win a show jumping competition when you'd never ridden all speed before. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. <laughs> Come on, let's go and ride a horse. Let's play. So, uh, how does the steering work? Oh, there you go again, pretending you've never ridden a horse before. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. Well, you know what to do, don't you? You give a very gentle pull on the left of the reins to go left and pull on the right to go right. <laughs> OK. Here we go, then, champion. Oh, one more thing before we go. Is it OK if I keep this horseshoe for good luck? Oh, yeah, of course. And here you go. You can have these ones, too. <gasps> you need as much luck as you can get. Oh, thanks, I think. <laughs> right. Let's go win a competition. Let's play! Wow. So this is where it all happens. The show jumping arena. And look at all those jumps. I'll take Champion for a walk to stretch his legs before the competition starts, while you do your preparations. <laughs> That's just what I was going to suggest. <laughs> oh, oh! What's where you're going? Oh, I'm sorry, um... Oh, are you riding in the show jumping championships today too? Am I riding in the competition today? I'm sorry, but I think it'll be me winning the prize money and the trophy today. <laughs> Mum will be pleased. Oh, your mum's watching the competition? Yes, my mum is the judge. <laughs> Keep the trophy nice and shiny for me, Mum. <laughs> Attention all show jumpers. You only have a few more minutes before the competition starts. Well, I'm ready. I've done all my preparations. I hope you have, Sid. <coughs> <laughs> How do I become prepared? I really don't know. Oh, hold on. I remember. Do you? Yes, that's it. Show jumpers always walk the course before they start jumping so they know the order of the jumps. I need to walk the course before the competition starts. OK, so let's see. I have to count the steps between the jumps. One, two, three, four, five. That's five steps, and then Champion and I go wee over that jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then Champion and I go wee over that jump. And then jump, splash! And then that one, and that one, and that one. <gasps> wow! Look at the size of that last jump. Ooh. I hope Champion and I are up to this. The preparation time is over, and riders must now wait with their horses for the starting bell to ring. Right, I'd better find Percy and Champion. Let's play! Don't worry, Champion. I'm sure they're going to ring that starting bell any moment now. <laughs> What's taking so long? Ladies and gentlemen, riders and horses, I'm very sorry, but due to technical difficulties, the competition has had to be cancelled. What? No! This is a disaster! Uh, don't worry, Champion. I'm not giving up yet. I'm going to have a word with that judge right now. Hello, Mrs Fetlock. I'm Sid. I'm afraid I haven't got time to talk to you now. We have a crisis. The competition is going to have to be cancelled. Oh, no. Well, is there anything I can do to help? No, no, no. It's my starting bell. It's broken. 
and I can't ring the start of each round without my starting bell. Oh, what did you say? Surely there's something we can do to help. Um, oh, hold on. I know what we can use, do you? We can use this. I knew it would come in handy. Um, Mrs Fetlock, would you like to use this? Oh, young man. Uh, Sid, was it? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. <gasps> Everyone, we have been saved by the bell. The competition is back on. Riders, take your places and prepare your horses. For today, thanks to Sid, we jump! Let's play! Milton and Lovejoy, coming to you live from the show jumping arena. And here comes our first competitor, Mary Ann Fetlock. And there goes the bell, and she's off. Oh, and the approach looks good. Oh, a perfect first jump. Wow, Mary Ann's really good. Oh, she's very good. And over she goes again. She is, of course, the favourite to win today. It's been a good round so far, but she's coming up to the last jump. The one we like to refer to in show jumping circles as a right stinker of a high jump. Will she make it? Oh, I can't look. Oh, and she's knocked down the pole at the last jump. Oh, she could have been faster. Oh, she won't be happy with that. I'd be happy to get even close to that. Let's play. It's our turn soon, old boy. Finishes the course, but Marianne is still in the lead. And our final competitor is Sid. He's riding cardigan. Oh, I, I mean, a uh, ch champion. Oh, that's our bell champion. Time for us to do this thing. And here he goes towards the first jump. We can do it. And oh, a great first jump from Sid and champion. Can he beat Mary Ann Fetlock, I wonder? No, he can't. What? Well done, champion. If Sid can make it round the course with no mistakes, he could win the competition. Go on, Sid. You can do it. Another good jump for Sid. He's coming up to the final difficult jump. He needs to get over this without knocking any of the poles over if he wants to win. Whoa! Ooh, and Champion pulls up at the last jump. Some champion jumper he is. Come on, Champion. We can do it. I know we can. <laughs> but how? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? If a horse refuses to jump, the rider can settle it and reassure it by stroking its neck and asking it to try again. Let's try that. Cooty cooty coo. There you are. Good boy, Champion. Now, come on, let's try that again, shall we? Good boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness, he's going for the big final jump. Will he get over it? Will he beat Mary Ann Fetlock? <laughs> he will! And it's super fast time. Whoa! <laughs> no! Mary Ann Fetlock is toppled from victory by Sid and Champion. Well done, Champion. I knew we could do it. <laughs> Brilliant round, Sid. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, but I could have done it without a champion. <laughs> no, you couldn't. You have to do it on a horse, silly. So, what are you going to do with the prize money? Well, I have someone very special in mind. I need to give this money to Mrs Trotter. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Toodle pip. Thanks, Mrs Fetlock. <laughs> well done, champion. What a good horse you are. Sid. <laughs> Sorry you didn't win, Marianne. <laughs> That's OK. You did brilliantly. Well done. <laughs> Well done to you too, champion. But watch out, because next time, I'll win for sure. Oh, Sydney, 
here. What a star! And Champion really was a champion. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs Trotter. Here's the trophy. And you can have the prize money to save the stables and the children can have their horse riding lessons. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> you really were a wonderful show jumper, Sid. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we did it. But we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. A horse and rider need a special bond, which helps them communicate with each other as they ride. Show jumpers always walk around the course before they start jumping. And if a horse refuses to jump, the rider can reassure it by stroking its neck. Good boy. I know you can do this. Come on. Oh, well, I think it's time we went home. Good luck with the stables and say goodbye to Champion for me. I will. Goodbye, Sydney. Bye. Let's play. Hey, Sid, how was your show jumping adventure? Fantastic. I won a competition. I rode a horse called Champion, who turned out to be a real champion. Oh, wow. <laughs> what have you been doing? Well, I haven't had much luck playing croquet without any hoops. Oh, maybe I can help with that. Try knocking your ball through that hoop. Oh, brilliant, Sid. <laughs> Good luck. Yes! Good hit! Playing show jumpers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. I like to play apes and Egyptians and dogs like this. We love to play hairdressers and pretend to cut hair like this. when I'm playing astronaut. Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Let's have an adventure! Hooray! Could we be together? What could we do? I'd like to sail a pirate ship or decorate a room I could be a film director Or I could walk your pet A clown or tennis player The best you've ever met Let's play! Let's play! Let's have an adventure today! Let's play! We're having a party! Oh, what's all this? Nice biscuits! Uh-uh! They're for the party. Oh, we're having a party? Great. What party game should we play? I was thinking maybe we could play Sleeping Alliance. Why are you going to eat a biscuit? I thought you said they were for the party. Well, they are, but I thought I'd better test them first. Oh, hello, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me! Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! Yes! Yes, it's me! I'm really, 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 really happy! It's me! Look, there's the dressing up room! This is really exciting! So, what are we playing today? So, I'm wearing a tennis outfit, a rain hat and skis. What am I going to be doing? Playing tennis in the snow while it's raining? I don't think so. Let's try something else. OK. So now I'm wearing a blue tunic, black trousers and soft shoes. So what are we playing today? We're going to be nurses. What do we need to know? Nurses look after people when they are sick. They usually work in hospitals, schools, doctor surgeries and sometimes visit people's houses. 
In a hospital, a nurse can find out what treatment a patient is having by looking at the chart at the end of their bed. If a hospital patient needs to call a nurse, they can ring a bell at the side of their bed. And one way to tell if someone is unwell is by taking their temperature and seeing if they are too hot. So, that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? A cushion. A very nice one. I wonder what we're going to need this for. Well, I guess we'll soon find out. We've got everything we need, so let's go. Let's play. Oh, hey, Sid, you look great. Thank you. We are playing nurses. Oh, great. I wish I was going, but I've got to think of some games for this party. I'm sure you'll think of something, though. See you later. See you later. Let's play. Come on, let's play nurses. <laughs> so, where are we? A hospital. This must be the place. So, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, this lady looks quite important. I'll ask her. Hello. OK. Understood. Oh, hello, uh, nurse. Uh, Sid. I don't have a nurse, Sid. You do now. What? I mean, I've come to help. Oh, have you? Well, that's good. I'm a bit short-staffed today. One of my nurses just called in to say she'd fallen off her bike and hurt her wrist. Oh. But I have a ward full of sick patients who need looking after. <laughs> right. OK. And today we have a very important visitor coming along. <laughs> I mean, look, I know my visit is kind of nice, but I didn't think it was uh, special or important, uh, you know. It. I mean, it's, uh... Not you. The Queen will be visiting the hospital today. What? The Queen? Coming here? To this hospital? Today? Wow, that is special. Yes, so everything needs to be absolutely perfect. <laughs> well, you can rely on me to get everything here ship-shape and looking nice and tidy just for you, Mrs... Sister. You can rely on me to get everything right, Mrs. Sister. Right. Well, I'd like you to go and check on all the patients on the ward, please, now, Sid. Ward full of patients. That way. <laughs> yes. That way. The cute. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. How are you? Not very well. That's why I'm here. Of course. Oh, you have no idea. Don't I? Oh, I've had everything I have. Dodgy leg, dicky elbow, wobbly arm, you name it, I've had it. See this? This cheek is a modern medical miracle. Kept going red. Doctors put some cream on it. Next day, good as new. <laughs> Doctors are amazing, aren't they? So what's wrong with you now? This body has seen it all. <sighs> Last year, I had a terrible, nasty pain in my foot. Doctors knew what it was straight away. What was it? Stolen my shoe. Ah. Oh, so what's wrong with you now? Well, how should I know? You're the doctor. Uh, actually, I'm a nurse. Oh, well, what's wrong with me then, nurse? I don't know. How can I tell? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? When in a hospital, a nurse can work out what treatment a patient is having by checking the chart on their bed. Excuse me, sir. It says here the patient has a sore knee. NBM, nil by mouth. That means the patient is having an operation and they can't eat anything today. Wait, stop. Eh, what? Put down the grape. What, do you want some? You only have to ask. No, no, it says you're having an operation today and you mustn't have anything to eat. You don't want to believe any of that stuff. It's only a grape. Yes, I do. No grapes for you today, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a pity. I really fancy that grape. You can have as many as you like after your operation. Uh, if you say so, nurse. Oh, well. See you later. I'll tell you all about my dicky tummy later. Oh, look forward to that, sir. Nurse! Excuse me. I wonder if you can help. My football team played a very important cup game yesterday and I need to find out if they won. Oh, sorry, I don't know, I'm afraid, but I can find out for you. Uh, wait. Yes? There's a report in the paper, but I can't reach it. Hmm? <gasps> oh, I see. Don't worry, I'll take a look for you. That's it! That's it! Sister, excuse me. I'll be back in a minute. It's... Uh... Right, everything. 
everyone must remain calm. I'm calm. Are you calm? Yes. Good, good. The Queen is on the way to the ward. Oh, right. Is everything perfect? Uh, yes, I think so. Good. You need to go to the patient in room seven. She needs some help. Right. <laughs> Hello. Oh, nurse. Hello. How can I help you? I'm having a baby. What, now? No, not right at this very moment, but pretty soon. Oh, best of luck to you. I'm going to meet the Queen. Oh, but nurse, would you be a love and pick up my pillow? I seem to have dropped it. <laughs> Of course I can. It's normally the midwives who look after the expectant mothers, but I'm sure I could do this. Oh, what's that beeping? That's very noisy. The Queen won't like that. And you're pregnant. You need to be in a nice, quiet room so you can rest. Uh, but wait. Let me get you away from this noisy room. Oh, oh, there's far too much noise here. But... I'll just move the bed. No, I... It's OK. I'm a nurse. It's the baby. Me? Eh? The baby. The machine is listening to the baby's heartbeat. And it's beeping to let us know that everything is all right. Look. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Have you been a nurse very long? Well, it's my first day. Mm, that'll explain it, then. I'll leave the bed. <laughs> yes, please. Now the baby's making a noise like a doorbell. Hello? Baby? Huh? I think the noise is coming from outside. Oh. <laughs> yes, that is the doorbell. It could be the Queen. See you later. Say hello from me. Right, how do I look? OK. Hello, Your Majesty. It is a great honour to receive you here at this... Os oh, Your Majesty, I am honoured. It's so lovely to see you. Nurse We're Sid. all very humble to have you visit us here at this hospital. Nurse I can't Sid. tell you how much we really appreciate... Oh, you're not the Queen. No, I'm not. She's come and gone. I've missed her. I'm afraid so. Oh. oh, well. Look, I need to go into a meeting, so I'm leaving you in charge. Oh, OK. Well, it's bad to work, then. There's that ringing noise again. But it's not someone at the door, so I wonder what it is. Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? When a patient needs to call a nurse, they ring a bell at the side of their bed. i better go and find out who that is. Hello. Did you ring the bell? Um, not exactly. Oh. But I would like to know the results of the football match. Oh, yes, of course. Now, let's see. Football, 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 football. Ah, here it is. Yes. Oh, no, that bell. I've really got to... Uh, but, eh, uh, eh, uh, oh! Hello, you called? Yes, my bandages come loose. Could you tie it up again? Of course. How did it come loose? Well, I was trying to reach for my chocolates and it caught on the side of the bed. Oh, there you are. Don't worry, I'll have it tied up in no time. Would you like a chocolate nurse? Oh, what have you got? <gasps> Lots of different ones. Noisette, nougat, praline. What exactly is praline? I've no idea, but would you like one? Oh, no, not for me, not while I'm on duty. There, done. i better get back to my other patient. <laughs> Thank you, nurse. Thank you. Nurse? Nurse! Uh, you've tied me to the drawer! Oh. Sorry about that. That's all right. You must be very busy. <laughs> yes, I can tell you the results of the football now. <sighs> Let's see now. Football results are... Help! <gasps> Help! What? <gasps> oh, what's that? The... What are you doing? You tied me to the drawer. Oh, did I? Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I was distracted by the chocolates. I haven't been doing this job very long. Maybe I need a little bit more practice. Don't worry. We'll tie you back into the bandage. There. Good as new. Thank you, nurse. I didn't want to carry that drawer around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you don't want a chucky? Oh, not for me, thanks. I've got another patient who needs my help. I feel funny. Oh, all right, then. I've got time for one quick joke. No, not that kind of funny. Wobbly funny. Oh, right. Oh, well, maybe you should sit down here. There you go. What happened? Oh, well, I got up and suddenly I felt a bit dizzy. Oh, I don't think I'm well. Oh, you do sound very sick. But how can I tell? Hold on. I remember. Do you? If you want to see if someone is unwell, you can use a thermometer to check their temperature to see if they're too hot. There you are, sir. What's that? Oh, it's an ear thermometer. I need to check your temperature. Just stay very still for me. 
Ooh, yes, that's very high. I'd better tell the sister. Wait right there. Oh, thanks, Doctor. Are you a nurse? Right. Ooh. Duty calls. I've got to check on another patient. Ooh, Sorry. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, uh, I have nerves. You rang? Yes, could you possibly turn the radio on for me? I don't seem to be able to reach. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> it must be one of these buttons down here. Um, ooh, I'll try this one. Oh, uh, I'll try this one then. <laughs> oh, no, um, yeah, uh, oh, dear, um, uh, uh, which one is it? Oh, no, help, uh, sister! Uh, oh, uh, help, help! <sighs> sister! <laughs> oh, oh, sister, uh, woman, um, leg, leg! What's going on? It's all gone wrong. I tied a woman to her drawer, uh, and then there's a man with a temperature, and um, oh, I was checking the football scores, and then the other one called, and now her leg's up in the air. Oh! OK, oh. Nurse, calm down. Um, I'll deal with the lady with the leg and the man with the temperature. You deal with the other lady. Oh, thank you, sister. I love you. I love you. Off you go. Off but... you go. Oh, dearie me, whatever next? Let's play. So then I ran into the nurse and she told me she'd sort the whole thing out. And that's when I came back to see you. Sounds like you've had quite a busy day. <laughs> uh, but I was wondering whether you'd mind if... Oh, of course. You want to know if your team won the game? Oh, yes, please. They did. 4-0. Yes, yes, yes. High five. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> Thanks, nurses. No problem. <laughs> One happy patient. Let's play. Nurse Sid. Oh, sister, I helped the lady with the newspaper. And I helped the lady with the leg. She's absolutely fine. And I gave medicine to the man with the high temperature. He says thank you. <laughs> What's that you got there, your lunch? No, Sid, it's a baby. You've had a baby? No, not me. The lady in the side ward, it's her baby. Oh, it's lovely. Well, thank you for today. Oh, yeah, well, my pleasure. It's a shame we never got to meet the Queen, though. Well, if I see her again, I'll tell you called. Oh, who's this now? Ah, someone needs help in room four. Uh, I wonder, Sid, would you mind? It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> How am I help you? You're... You're... Majesty? No, you're the Queen. I mean, yes, of course, Your Majesty. Neil. Uh, no, I I'm Sid. No, Neil Dow. Oh, right, OK. Perhaps he's going to make me a knight. Thank you. Now you can see my ankle properly. I think I've sprained it. Oh, yes. What happened? Someone was giving me flowers. I reached over, leaned too far, and ended up right in the middle of the crowd. Um, it just needs strapping up and resting. Hmm. Strapping up and resting. Yeah. Off you go, then. Well, I'm going to need to put this bandage on, so um, could you lift your leg, please? Sorry, no. But I need to raise her foot up so I can put this bandage on. What am I going to do? Hold on. I know what I can use, do you? Yes, that's what this is for. I knew it would come in handy. There we are. Oh. Very good. Oh, thank you. That's better. Make sure you give it plenty of rest, Your Majesty. I will, nurse. What's that noise? Sounds like a baby. Oh, yes. One of our patients has just had a little baby girl. May I see? Oh, of course you can, Your Majesty. Problem, Your Majesty. It's a great honour to have met you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Charmed, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good, yes. <laughs> uh, mind where you're going, Sid. Oh, sorry, sister. Here's the baby back. Oh, the mother was very excited the Queen got to meet her baby. <laughs> Guess what she's decided to call it? Sid. No. Queenie. Oh, how lovely. Well, we did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. <laughs> Nurses can find out what treatment a patient is having by looking at a chart on the end of their bed. If a patient needs a nurse, they can ring a bell to call one. And one way to tell if someone is unwell is by taking their temperature and seeing if they are too hot.
Well, it's time I went home. Bye-bye, sister. Bye-bye, Queenie. Goodbye, Nurse Sid. Oh, uh, no, not you, Your Majesty. I was talking to... Uh, well, yeah, bye-bye, Your Majesty. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye, Queenie. Goodbye, Sid. See you. Let's play. Oh, it's no good. We've played all these games. Oh, hey, Sid. Great to have you back. How was it being a nurse? It was fantastic. I helped lots of patients and I met the Queen. Wow. Have you found a game for the party? No. Oh, don't worry. I have something just here. We can use this bandage to play a game called Hide and Seek. What you do is you cover the person's eyes and then you go and hide and they have to seek you. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Playing nurses was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. When I'll be a handyman, I get to fix things. Funny, and I fish like this. I ride my horse like this when I play nights. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure. Sail a pirate ship or decorate a room I could be a film director Or I could walk your pet A clown or tennis player The best you've ever met Let's play Let's play Let's have an adventure today Let's play oh. You go, Rebecca, we're going to get fit oh. What's wrong? My hair keeps getting in my eyes. I can't see anything. Oh, well, why don't you tie up or something? Good idea. You carry on and I'll catch you up. Will do. Uh, hurry up, Rebecca, I'm getting tired. I'm just trying to find something to tie my hair up with. Oh, this is really exhausting. Nope, I can't find anything. Really? No, nothing. But you carry on, Sid. I'll catch you up. Right. Hold on, Sid. It's time. Great. <laughs> It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Let, 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 let. Let, let, let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. Could it be me? It's me! Yes, it's me! Yes, it's me! I'm really, 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 really happy! It's me! Look, there's the dressing up room! Let's play! This is really exciting! So, what are we playing today? Whoa! So now I've got on a judge's wig, a clown's top, and horse riding boots. This can't be right. That's more like it. I've got on a white hat and an apron. So what are we playing today? That's it. We're going to be bakers. Could be a tasty adventure. So what do we need to know? Baker works in a bakery and uses fresh ingredients to bake delicious cakes, biscuits, scones and bread in an oven. The four important ingredients for most cakes are eggs, butter, sugar and flour. A cake is cooked when it feels springy to touch and the knife comes out clean. But watch out, the cake might still be hot. Wedding cakes often have a little model of the bride and groom on top. So that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Ooh. This is a funny looking thing. I wonder what we're going to need this for. Well, I guess we'll find out soon. We've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. <laughs> nice hat. <laughs> 
My hair is driving me crazy. This tea cozy is the only thing I could find to keep it out of my eyes. <laughs> nice hat too. Thanks. Guess what I'm playing today? A waiter. No! Think yummy thoughts. Yummy thoughts. <gasps> You're going to work in a lollipop factory. No, I'm going to be a baker. Oh, that is a yummy thought. We'll have fun. See you later. See ya. Let's play. Come on, let's play bakers. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> oh, we're in a garden. I thought we were playing bakers, not gardeners. Whoa. Looks like there's something special going on here today. Oh, these stones are a bit loose. Oh, careful, the stones are a bit loose. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Yes, but my wedding cake is ruined. I was taking it up to the house for the reception party afterwards. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. <gasps> Not unless you can do magic and make a new cake and pair. Um, well, I can't do the magic bit, but I can bake you another cake. I'm Sid, and I'm a baker. Really? And you make cakes? Uh, well, yes. Wedding cakes? Uh, sure, why not? With three levels? Yes. And loads of decorations? As many as you like. Oh, oh, my wedding day might not be ruined after all. <laughs> so, don't forget, three layers, loads of decorations. And did I say it must be ready by this afternoon? Thanks, Sid. Here comes the bride, here comes the bride. Da -da 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 -da. The cake has got to be ready by this afternoon's reception. <laughs> this doesn't leave me much time. So I need to find a bakery that's going to let me use their kitchen, bake a cake, and then deliver the cake back here this afternoon before the party. Where am I going to find a bakery? Ah, oh, uh, hello there. Have you seen my daughter? Uh, the bride? White dress, big cake should be around here you somewhere. You just missed her. She went that way. Was she all right? Well, actually, she was oh, a bit... Oh, good, good. Everything must run like clockwork today. The wedding, the dress, the party, and, of course, the cake. If anything were to go wrong, it would be too awful to think about. Are you looking for something? Uh, yes, uh, uh, a bakery, actually. A bakery? <laughs> well, you won't find one here. You need to head to Baker Street. There's a baker shop there. Well, uh, it was lovely to meet you. Uh, enjoy the wedding. Oh, I will. Especially the cake. Oh, <laughs> cheerio, <Yeah>. bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> right, we better find a bakery and make that wedding cake straight away. Let's go. Let's play. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the place. Breads, cakes, buns. Perfect. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're closed. The baker had a bit of a disaster when he's making a banana loaf. That's terrible. What happened? Well, he slipped on a banana skin and had to go to the doctor's. Oh, dear. Who thought that being a baker could be so dangerous? Uh, hi, I'm Molly, baker's assistant. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, too. I'm Sid. I'm a baker. Oh, are you? Oh, that is such a coincidence, because this is a bakery. Well, what is it you're after? Cakes, breads, buns? No, actually, I'm after a kitchen, because I need to do some baking in a... Oh, uh, can I stop you right there, Sid? I've got an amazing idea. You need to do some baking, and we've got a kitchen right here. Why don't you do your baking here? That's a great idea, Molly. I'd love to. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, the only thing is, I could do with a little bit of help. You couldn't help me, could you? <gasps> I'd love to. I love baking. Things are looking up. I found a kitchen to baking and someone to help me. Let's go and bake a cake. Let's play. Right, we've washed our hands. Let's get started. First, we need the ingredients. Sure thing. What is it you need? I've got Brussels sprouts, tomato sauce and curry powder. I don't think a curried tomato cake with sprouts is quite what the bride ordered. Uh, no. No problem, of course. So, uh, what is it you need? Hmm, I'm not sure. I can't remember the ingredients we need to bake a cake, and I can't get started unless we have them. What are we going to do? Uh, what are they again? Uh, oh, hold on. I remember. Do you? Yes, that's it. The four ingredients you need to make most cakes are eggs, butter, flour and sugar. Have you got those ingredients, Molly? I'll just have a look in the pantry. You wait there. Sid? Yes, Molly? Do you want the good news or the bad news? The bad news, please, Molly. Well, we don't have any sugar. Eggs, flour or butter. You said there was good news, Molly. What's that? We've got lots of ribbon and icing, so decorating the cake will be easy. <laughs> That's great, Molly, but we need a cake to decorate first and we're running out oh. of... Can I stop you right there, Sid? I've got an idea. How about I go to the shop and buy everything we need? 
That's a brilliant idea, Molly. So what is it again we need? Porridge, potatoes and cherries. <laughs> How about I go to the shop and you stay and get the things that we need together for decorating the cake, cos that's a really good job for you. Oh, I love decorating cakes! Yippee! Thanks, Molly. Right, we better get started. Let's go and get the things that we need. Let's play! Right, so we've got everything we need. Eggs, butter, sugar and flour. Now, if I can pay for these super quick, we can get back to the bakery and bake the cake in time for the wedding reception. <laughs> oh, hello there. How are you today? I'm very well, thanks. I'm in a bit of a hurry cos I've got to bake a cake for a wedding reception this afternoon. <gasps> I was once a bridesmaid at a wedding. I had to wear a pink dress and carry the flowers. Oh, it was lovely. <laughs> do you like weddings? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Anyway, like I say, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so if you could... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Don't want to be late for a wedding, no, do you? <laughs> no eggs. They look all right to me. Can't be too careful with eggs. If they crack, they could be off. <laughs> yes, thanks. So, if we could bring up the other things? Oh, absolutely. That's my job. Well, it's not my only job, actually. I'm actually... Very oh... interesting. Butter next? Butter. <laughs> Sugar. Flour. <laughs> you know what? This packet is very similar to my great aunt Clarissa's lounge room curtains. Or is it a bedroom yeah, curtain? If you remember, I said I was in a bit of a hurry. I don't stand around here talking to me all day. Yes, yes, OK, well, thank you. There you are. Phew! We've got everything we need. Let's get this stuff back to the bakery and start baking. Thanks, bye! Let's play! Right, so we've washed our hands again and we're well on our way to baking a wedding cake. A bit more flour, please, Molly. No problem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I think there is a little bit of a problem. That's a bit too much. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's OK. I think we've got enough mixture here. Now, remember, the bride said she wanted three layers to her cake, which means we'll need three cake tins. We'll start with the top layer first. OK, so if we pour the mixture into the tin there, please, Molly. No problem. Lovely. Now, we have to be very careful because ovens are hot. Oh, yes, yeah, Sid. Ovens are very hot. You've got to be very careful. All we need to do is put the mixture in the other tins and then wait. Let's play! I think they're ready. Let's see. I'll get the cooling rack. Ooh. Here's the top tier. Mmm, what a yummy, delicious smell. Yes, Is it ready? I think so. Um, it's hard to tell just by looking at it, though. Um, I can't see inside. Mm, how can we tell? No problem. Let's taste it. I don't think the bride wants a cake with a bite mark. There must be another way to find out. Hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. A cake is cooked when it's springy to touch and the knife comes out clean. Let's see. Oh, yes. Nice and springy. That's a good sign. Now, we have to be very careful because it's still hot. In goes the knife and... Yes, it's clean, which means they're ready. Right, I'll go and get the others, and when they're cool, we can decorate them. Let's play! The cakes are cool and ready to... Decorate! Oh, my favourite bit. <laughs> Not quite, Molly. I have to stack them first. OK. Here goes. There. Uh, slight problem, Sid. The cake. It's one cake. Hmm? Oh, dear. Oh, yes, you're right. Well, how do I make sure that they're all level? Another very good question. Yes, but... Oh, uh, I think I've got the answer. We can use a spirit level. Yep, yeah, it works every time. We need a spirit level. A spirit level? What's that? Well, it's kind of like a flat stick with a bubble in the middle of it. <gasps> Hold on. I know what we can use, do you? I knew this would come in handy. That's the kind of thing I was talking about. Oh, you're a brilliant baker, Sid. Right, let me restack the cakes. <laughs> now, 
we can test it. Ta-da! Here it goes. Perfect! It's all level. Thanks for your advice, Molly. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> now we can... Take a ride! Yeah. Woohoo! Let's play! Oh, it's beautiful. Just like a real wedding cake. It is a real wedding cake. Ah. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, as long as nothing else goes wrong, I should just about have enough time to get it to the wedding reception. Oh, Molly. Can I take one of these ribbons in case one comes off along the way? Good idea. Now, you better get moving. You can take the van. Right. Oh, no. The van's not here. Maybe Molly knows where it is. Uh, Molly? Uh, do you know where the van is? Oh, yes. I just remembered the baker drove it to the doctor. Well, maybe I can get it there if I walk. I'll have to walk very quickly, though. Uh, uh, can I stop you right there? Not really, Molly. I'm in a bit of a hurry. No, look. There's a taxi coming. Oh, yes. So there is. Well spotted. Clever Molly. Maybe I won't be late after all. Taxi! Let's play! What a stroke of luck. <laughs> I should make it just in time. Oh, hello again. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, hello. Oh, nice to see you again. I told you I had another job, didn't I? I'm a taxi driver, see? <laughs> now, where is it you like to go? Well, I'd like to go to the wedding reception at the big hall as soon as possible. Step on it! I've always wanted to say that. Or I'll get you there in a jiffy. Or two shakes of a lamb's tail. Which would you prefer? Whichever is the quickest. Hold on tight. <laughs> Geronimo! Oh, I used to live down this street. Now, which house was it? Just slow down a bit and take a look. Was it that one? Oh, no, Mrs. Patterson used to live in that one. She had a very licky dog. Let's play! Thanks for the taxi ride. <laughs> Phew! Well, we made it, finally. I'm here now, and so is the cake. Yoo-hoo! Young man, is that the cake? You're a bit late. I thought it was being delivered this morning. Never mind. It's very nice. Uh, shall I take it in? Uh, yes, hurry up, please. <laughs> Stop! Cake doesn't look right. Really? Yes, it's no good. We can't possibly have a cake with the most important thing missing. This is dreadful. The whole wedding is a complete disaster. <gasps> I can't see anything missing. I don't understand. I made sure I used all the right ingredients and that the cake was lovely and level. What could possibly be missing? Oh! I remember, do you? Yes, that's it. Wedding cakes sometimes have a little model of a bride and groom on top. <laughs> Where am I going to find one of those now? Sid. Sid. Slight problem. You forgot something. <laughs> Look where it landed. You saved the day, Molly. Come on, let's go and show the bride her lovely wedding cake. <laughs> Sid. <laughs> Sounds like a great party. It is, but it wouldn't have been the same without your delicious wedding cake. <laughs> Thanks, Sid. Thank you for letting me bake your cake for your big day. Well, we did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. <laughs> the four important ingredients for most cakes are eggs, butter, sugar and flour. A cake is cooked when it feels springy to the touch and the knife comes out clean. And wedding cakes often have a little model of the bride and groom on top. Thanks for everything, Sid. No problem. But I think it's time we went home. Bye! Bye. How was your big baking adventure? Tasty, Rebecca. Very tasty. I made a wedding cake. What have you been doing? Well, I decided to stop exercising because my hair kept getting in my eyes. Oh, that reminds me. This is some of the ribbon that we used to decorate the cake with. I thought you could use it to tie back your hair and keep it out of your eyes. Sid, you are a genius. Well, we can do some more exercising later. Definitely. Well, playing bakers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play.
when they play waitress, they serve customers like this. I pretend to climb a big mountain when I'm playing rock climbers. Playing clowns is fun. I get to pull funny faces. When I play rugby plays, I run around like this. wrapping a present for our friend Bernie. That's it. Can you put your finger just there, please? Yeah, sure. That's it. <laughs> this should be good. <laughs> That's it, Rebecca. I think this present is well and truly wrapped. Oh, um, yeah. You've really got this one definitely wrapped. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> one last bit. Now we're all wrapped up. Fantastic. Now I can wrap my present. Oh, no. We've run out of tape. I know. I think I've got some more in the cupboard. You have a look for that, and I'll carry on wrapping this present. Hey, Sid, do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, the good news? Well, the good news is I couldn't find any tape, but I found some string. Great, I can use that to wrap my present. Uh, the bad news is it's a bit short. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on, Sid, it's time. Great. <laughs> It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. The dressing up room. Let's play. This is so exciting. So, what do you think we're playing today? So, what am I wearing? A pair of skates, a ballroom dancer's outfit, and a parrot hat. I don't think this can be right, do you? <laughs> Let's try again. So, what have I got on this time? I've got a hat, a rucksack, and some camouflage trousers. So what are we playing today? Yes, we're going to be jungle explorers. So what do we need to know? The Amazonian rainforest is a jungle. It's very hot and rainy, with many different species of plants and animals. And the Amazon River runs through it. Some people who live in the rainforest leave a trail of broken sticks on the forest floor to show others which way they have gone. The jungle provides all the things you need to make a shelter. And a good way to find streams and rivers is to head downhill as water naturally flows that way and collects at the bottom. So, that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? A remote control helicopter. I wonder what this is for. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Oh, there must be some sticky tape around here somewhere. Hey Sid, can you guess what we're playing today? No, but if it involves finding some sticky tape, that would be brilliant. Oh, I don't think it will, mm. but it'll be exciting. Ooh. There'll be adventure. Adventure. There'll be danger. Danger. Don't move, Sid. 
There's a huge lizardy dinosaur. Fear your sharp tooth beast behind you. <sighs> They're my worst kind of beasts. Don't worry, Sid. I've got this under control. I'm a fearless jungle explorer. Phew! <laughs> you all right, Rebecca? Yeah, it was only a toy. <laughs> right, I'm in search of a jungle adventure. Right, good luck. Come on, let's play jungle explorers. <laughs> so where are we? It's very hot. There are loads of different kinds of plants and trees. I think we're in the Amazon jungle. And look, this must be the Amazon river. Wow. I can hear birds and water and lots of other noises I've never heard before. Well, I'm a jungle explorer. So I better start exploring. Let's go this way. You've really got to keep your eyes open in the jungle. Lose concentration for one moment and you could just... <laughs> you could trip over. Walk. Please, walk. Just a little walk. Why is he talking to a tree? Hello? Shh. You would disturb the tree. Is he for real? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to disturb. That's OK. And you are? I'm Rebecca, jungle explorer. Dr Hans Grossenstock, a scientist. So how long have you been watching the tree for, Dr Hans? <sighs> Two weeks, three days, 13 minutes and 37 seconds. 38, 39. Uh, yeah, I get the picture. Some people say it can walk. When you came in, I thought I had finally seen it walk. Oh, no, my research must continue. Uh, so how long are you going to be here for? Well, today is my last day to see the walking tree walk. I leave to let. I also need to take a picture of a very rare three-toed sloth before I go. But I cannot leave this tree. What am I going to do? The plane is coming to collect me by the river at sunset. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, Dr Hans, I'm exploring the jungle today, so maybe I could take a picture of a three-toed sloth for you. You could, maybe? Yes, I could. I am a jungle explorer after all. That would be brilliant! All is not lost after all. Here, take my camera. Great! Uh, the only thing is, I've never seen a three-toed sloth before, so I don't know what they look like. It's furry, it is high up in the tree, and it has three toes. It also looks like a sloth. OK, I'll do my best. Right, we need to get a picture of a three-toed sloth back to Dr Hans before he leaves before sunset. <coughs> Are you OK, Dr Hans? That is the noise sometimes made by the three-toed sloth. If you hear this noise, you will know there is a female sloth nearby. Brilliant! I'll listen out for that noise. Now, we don't want to let Dr Hans down. I'll meet you at the river at sunset. Good luck! You can count on me. They don't call me Rebecca the Jungle Explorer for nothing. Let's play! Well, no sign of any three-toed sloths yet. <coughs> Although I can hear something. Oh, I do hope it's not a huge lizardy dinosaur feared sharp tooth beast. <coughs> oh, it does sound huge. <coughs> and lizardy and dinosaur <coughs> That's it. Got you, you pesky little shoelace. Phew! It's not a huge lizardy dinosaur for your sharp tooth beast, it's. Wolfie Bromley, extreme jungle survivalist. You can call me Wolfie. Oh, hi, Wolfie. I'm Rebecca, brand new jungle explorer. So, do you know everything about the jungle? What I don't know about the jungle isn't worth knowing. Do you know all the animals in the rainforest? Of course I do. I know them all by name. Oh, wow, look. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Uh, what's that called? It's called Bruce. Bruce? Oh, that's a funny name for a butterfly. Oh, look, it's, it's gone. Oh, yes. Tricky little flappers, butterflies. Maybe you can help me find a three-toed sloth. <laughs> of course I can help you find a... What do you call it again? A three-toed sloth. They don't call me the sloth sleuth for nothing. Fantastic. Well, we need to get a picture of a three-toed sloth before sunset. Leave it to me. I'm sure there's one out there. Somewhere. Keep up, and if you can't, don't panic. My friends in the Amazonian tribes taught me everything you need to know about leaving trails. Brilliant! 
brilliant. What are the chances of meeting someone who knows so much about the jungle? Well, if anyone can find a three-toed sloth, it's Wolfie. <laughs> All right, where did he go? Wolfie? Wolfie! Let's play! Oh, no, which way did Wolfie go? Oh, dear. If I don't find Wolfie, I won't be able to get a picture of a three-toed sloth. There must be some way of finding out which way he went. Hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Some people who live in the rainforest leave a trail of broken sticks on the forest floor so others know which way they have gone. Ah, look. These sticks have been left in the shape of an arrow. Pointing that way. Come on, let's go. Here's another one, and another one. He must have gone this way. Wolfie, are you OK? Yeah, of course I am. I'm Wolfie, extreme survivalist. So have you found it? What? The three-toed sloth. Three-toed what? You don't really know what it looks like, do you? Uh, not exactly what it looks like, no. They don't really call you the sloth sleuth. No. Great. What are we going to do now? Well, don't worry. All is not lost. If you keep going that way, I think you'll find someone who can help you. Are you coming along? Oh, look, I'd love to, but um, I've got really important things to do, like um, catch a, a wild pig. Catch a wild pig? Why are you catching a wild pig? Oh, well, there aren't any tame ones around. <laughs> See ya. D See you, Wolfie. Hmm. Well, I guess we'd better find someone else who can help us. Let's try this way. Hello? Anyone there? What was that? And here is a rather marvellous example of a species we call human being. Ah, she's heard something. See those ears, straining to listen. And there's the classic turning motion, indicating confusion, a state many humans often experience. Hello? Ah. The classic traditional human greeting indicating a desire to say hello. Oh, oh, excuse me, was that you talking? I thought I was hearing voices. I'm Rebecca, jungle explorer. Roger Twitcher, world famous wildlife documentary filmmaker, making a film about the Amazonian rainforest. Haven't had much luck spotting any Amazonian creatures yet, though, so you will have to do. Oh. Uh oh. It's raining. They don't call it the rainforest for nothing. <laughs> oh, no. I must get these cameras out of the rain. Otherwise, they will be ruined. Oh, dear. If the cameras get wet, then we won't be able to get a picture of a three-toed sloth. And Dr Hans won't be happy. Where can we put the cameras to keep them dry? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. The jungle provides all the things we need to make a shelter. Like... Sticks. Vines and palm leaves. Now we've got everything we need to make a shelter. Let's play! This is a great shelter, eh? Marvellous. What a day of bad luck I've had. I've not spotted any interesting animals, apart from you, of course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but I must say, something got me thinking. There was a creature out there because I kept on hearing strange noises. What kind of noise? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you OK? That was the noise. That's the noise a three-toed sloth makes. There must be one around here somewhere. Wolfie was right. He said I'd meet someone who'd be able to help. Ah, the rain has stopped. I can get on with my filming. And I can get on with my search for a three-toed sloth. <laughs> Thanks for telling me about the three-toed sloth, Roger. You're welcome. And as a thank you for your help, you can have this camera. I've got a spare. Oh, wow! Fantastic! How does it work? Ah. Easy peasy, just press the button and it records all the action. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks, Roger. <laughs> See you later. Let's play. <laughs> that's it. That's the noise of a three toed sloth. Oh, it must be around here somewhere. Oh, look. There she is. Isn't she cute? <laughs> No, she's up too high to take a good picture. What could we use? 
Hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? Of course. The remote control helicopter. We can attach this camera to the helicopter and fly it up to the sloth. Oh, but how am I going to press the button to take a photograph if it's flying through the air? Oh, this is going to be tricky. Unless... Yes! We can use Roger's camera instead. OK. Turn it on. And it'll record all the action. Here we go. And we're recording. <laughs> Hello, camera. <laughs> Off you go, helicopter. And record some great shots of the three-toed slow. Oh, easy does it. Oh, yes, it's working. <laughs> Looks like we're getting some great shots of the slow for Dr Hands. What's that noise? It doesn't sound like my helicopter. It's too noisy. It sounds like a plane. Oh, no. It's almost sunset, and the plane has come to fetch Dr Hans at the river. I need to get the helicopter back and get these pictures to Dr Hans, and quickly. Let's play! Oh, no, the sun is setting. But where's the river? How can I find it? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? That's right. A good way to find streams and rivers is to head downhill, as water naturally flows that way and collects at the bottom. Brilliant. So I just need to head downhill and I'll find the river. Oh, I'll go this way then. Let's play. Dr Hans, wait. Ah, uh, Rebecca. Phew, we made it just in time. Uh, did your walking palm tree eventually walk? No. Nope. I, Dr. Hans Grossenstock, have proved that they don't really walk at all. They just grow towards the sun. My whole life's work is ruined, I tell you, ruined. Well, I might have something to cheer you up. Look, here's something that did move. Oh. <gasps> oh a three-toed sloth and its baby. <gasps> Magnificent. I may not have been able to prove that the walking palm tree can walk, but... Perhaps with these pictures, I can continue my research into the baby three-toed sloth. I think I'm going to cry. This is wonderful. You are a fantastic jungle explorer. Oh, thanks, Dr. Hans. Well, we did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Some people who live in the rainforest leave a trail of sticks to show which way they have gone. The jungle provides all the things you need to make a shelter. And a good way to find streams and rivers is to head downhill, as water naturally flows that way. I think it's time we went home. Bye, Dr Han. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's play. And I saw a sloth, but then Dr Han's tree didn't walk. But it was OK, because then we saw a baby three-toed sloth. Wow, but did you see a dinosaur-y, lizardy, sharp-toothed beast? Oh, no. Luckily, we didn't. Um, what have you been up to, Sid? Oh, well, I'm still trying to find some sticky tape. Wait a minute. I've got the perfect thing right here. This is a vine, and it's the rainforest natural string. This you can use to wrap your present. Brilliant. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> Playing Jungle Explorers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. When I play bases, I roll a dough like this. When I play superheroes, I pretend I have special powers. I like playing Vikings and then blowing the horn like this. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Today, let's play. 
we're getting ready to play snakes and ladders. <laughs> Is that everything? Yeah, I think so. We've got the snakes and the ladders, of course, and all the pieces of... Oh, oh, no. What's wrong? There's no dice. Snakes and ladders without dice is like a bicycle without wheels. You're right. Let's get looking. <gasps> Hold on, Sid, it's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. There's the dressing up room. Let's play! This is really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So, what have I got on? A top hat, a parrot outfit, and a pair of spotty wellies. This definitely isn't right. Let's try again. So this time, I've got on a very old-fashioned tunic and a pair of sandals. So what are we playing today? Yes, we're going to be ancient Romans from a very long time ago. So what do we need to know? Many centuries ago, the ancient Romans lived in a country that is now called Italy. Ancient Rome was ruled by powerful emperors. They wore robes with purple in them as a symbol of their power, and it was forbidden for anyone else to wear purple. Rich Romans decorated their floors with big pictures made from lots of tiny little pieces of tile and stone pressed into plaster. This kind of picture was called a mosaic. And the Romans built huge bridges called aqueducts to carry water into their towns and cities. OK, so that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? A cap and ball toy. Oh, Neely. I wonder what this is for. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Yeah, dicey, dicey. Dicey, dicey. Hey, Sid, can you guess what we're playing today? It's not Dice Finding Detectives, is it? <laughs> not quite. We're playing Ancient Romans. Oh, fantastic. Well, keep an eye out for Ancient Roman Dice for me, would you? I'll do my best. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Let's play. Come on, let's play Ancient Romans. So where am I? Oh, we must be near the great city of ancient Rome. But I can't see a city that way, so let's try this way. Wow! Look at that massive bridge! What's that noise? I better go and see. Come on. Hello? Are you all right? <laughs> Sounds like a Roman lady in distress. <laughs> OK, I was wrong about the lady bit. <laughs> Hello, are you all right? Who, who are you? I'm Rebecca. Who are you? I'm Semanticus the Builder, and I'm really, really upset. <laughs> Because me and my brother were the most successful builders in all of Rome. Um, why are you crying if you're so successful? Because we're too busy. We've got to build this great big aqueduct. That's a bridge that carries water. And there's a huge posh house that we're building for none other than the ruler of all of ancient Rome, Emperor Stropicus Maximus himself. So what's the problem? Well, the Emperor's house isn't finished and he's coming to inspect it today. I should be there with my brother. 
Well, why don't you just go there then? Because all of Rome is waiting for running water from this aqueduct and I can't leave until it's finished. Maybe I can help, but there's only one of me. Who needs my help the most? Fabulous. That's my brother's name. Go to him quick. If the house isn't finished before the Emperor arrives, he'll be really, really cross. And when Emperor Stropicus Maximus is upset, well... Well what? There'll be punishment and it will involve very hungry lions. Very hungry lions? <coughs> Quick, it's over to you and down that road. It leads to Rome. OK, good luck, Cementicus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play. This tunic is very comfy, but it does let in the breeze. I could do with something to keep me warm. Whoa, whoa. Your horses. Hello, madam. I am Special Office. May I interest you in something from my mobile market? Yes, of course I can. There you are. Have a look at this beautiful necklace. Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, it's... go on. Take a hold of that. That's right. Look at those stones. They match your eyes. And special offer just for you today, between you and me, 50% off. How about that? Um, no, no, thank you. <gasps> oh. Ooh. But this is more like it. Oh, I can see Madame has an eye for quality. Imagine that. A purple wall hanging, a purple sofa cover, or even half a pair of purple curtains. Oh, perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Enjoy. Don't try wearing it, though, will ya? <laughs> Everyone knows that, right? Right? <laughs> That's better. Much warmer. I'm as snug as a bug in a purple rug. <laughs> Excuse me, is this the way into Rome? Uh, what? Halt! Oh, sorry. Hail! Hail! Hail? Nope, it looks pretty sunny to me. No, hail, mighty emperor. Emperor? <laughs> no, I'm not the emperor. You're not? No, you know, I'm just... Well, then you're under arrest, that's what you are. But why? I haven't done anything wrong. Emperor Tropicus will not be happy about this. Your punishment will be terrible. It'll almost definitely involve some very hungry lions. Very hungry lions? <laughs> Come on, it's off to prison with you. Oh, dear. I need to get into the city to help Cementicus' his brother. But how can I persuade the guard not to arrest me if I don't even know what I've done wrong? Oh, no, what am I going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. It's forbidden for anyone who isn't the Emperor to wear purple. I need to take this blanket off and fast. There you go. Makes a lovely tent door, so I've been told. Sorry about the mix-up. That's all right. Enjoy your visit. Oh, you! In the purple blanket! You're under arrest! Oh, no! It's not me! It was her! <laughs> wow! Ancient Rome's so big! I wonder where the Emperor's new house is. Excuse me. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> Hello. You get around, don't you? Yeah, special office is my name. Mobile market is my game. Have you been enjoying that purple blanket? Uh, not exactly. It almost got me arrested. Oh, no. I knew I should have reminded you about that. Here, I'll tell you what. Let me make it up to you. In a nice, special, tasty treat. Foreign food is all the rage here in Rome. You'll love this one. This is the finest, fanciest dish all around at the moment. Now, what's it called now? It's, um... Uh... Uh, beans on toast? Wow. You really know your fancy food, don't you? Here, go on. It's on the house. Oh, no, on. it's really oh, fine. It's yours, love. No, you uh, are... Thank you. Um, do you know where the Emperor's new house is? You're standing right in front of it. Oh, yeah. Nice pad, eh? <laughs> Thanks, special officer. Are you sure you won't? No, cheers. <laughs> Hello, anyone else? <laughs> Let me guess. Cementicus' his brother. <laughs> Hello? Uh, you must be fabulous. I am, but this is no time for flattery. I know. I met your brother earlier. I'm here to help you. I'm Rebecca. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything's going wrong. The Emperor has sent instructions for the decorated floor in this room. He wants a massive picture of his whole face on it. Oh, what's the problem? Well, I haven't got time to do it. I got a message from the chef to say that he's sick, which means I'm cooking dinner. So I have to go to the market to buy a pink flamingo, a parrot and some cute fluffy dormice. But if dinner and the floor aren't ready by the time Emperor Stropicus arrives... Then... Don't tell me. Something involving very hungry lions. Well, don't worry. You go to get what you need for dinner and I'll decorate the floor. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, great. I love painting. <sighs> But I can't see any paint or brushes. Hmm. Only this big patch of wet plaster and all those little pieces of tile. 
Oh, no, what am I going to do? Oh, hold on. I remembered to do. That's it. Rich Romans decorate their floor with mosaics. Big pictures made out of lots of little bits of different coloured tiles and stone. Let's make a mosaic. Let's play. Excuse me, please, Rebecca. Oh, excuse me. A great big sack of food here. I have a parrot and two scoops of dormice. Oh, dear. I don't fancy eating any of that. Oh, these ancient Romans ate some weird things. Yuck. So fabulous, what do you think of my mosaic? <gasps> what have you done? He's got a gappy grin. I'm sorry, I ran out of white bits. Oh, well, don't worry. Um, there's some around here somewhere. Uh, I'll look over here. No white bits in here. Fabulous, is that you? Hmm. Hang on, I'm sure that sack of dinner was bigger before. I found these. Oh, oh, great, thanks. Here we go. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and look, there's even one piece left over. Thanks, Rebecca. You can have that. Oh, fabulous. Thanks, fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Now, there's just an hour before the Emperor arrives so I can whip up a flavour field feast. Oh. <laughs> this bag's a lot lighter than it was before. <gasps> He's early. Early. A good emperor knows how to take people by surprise. Emperor Stropagus Maximus, welcome to your brand new imperial house. This is such an honour. Of course it is. Hmm. Not bad. I'll take a look around after dinner. Dinner is ready, I assume. What? Ooh, parrot. Yummy. My favourite starter. I'll have my dinner immediately, if not sooner. <laughs> Oh, no, this isn't good. The Emperor's really hungry. Oh, I know what we can do. There's a man outside selling fancy food from a far-off land. Beans on toast. Oh, it's very delicious and very modern. The Emperor's gonna love it. I hope you're all right. Oh, and um, dinner will be served in just a minute. A whole minute? What am I supposed to do until then? Uh-oh. We need to keep him busy until dinner arrives. Oh, hold on. I know what we can use, do you? I knew this would come in handy. Your Imperial Highness. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's very modern. Ooh. 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 Me, 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 me. <laughs> yes! I rule! I rule! I mean, I rule more than I already do. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Like it? I love it. It's amazing. It's all very modern. <laughs> yes! Yes! You've got some! That's fabulous! No, I'm fabulous. This is dinner. Here, you serve it. I'm too nervous. I never ever want to stop playing with... Ooh! Din-dins. <laughs> this food is totally, utterly... <laughs> delicious! It's the most wonderful thing I have ever tasted. It's even better than flamingo-flavoured fairy cakes. <laughs> Let's play! Mm, scrumptious. Now, I hope that fellow Fabulous has run me a bath. If there's one thing us Romans know, it's how to have a good bath. I really, 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 really hope you like it. And um, this is your bathhouse, your Empress. Goody! I presume the dressing rooms are this way. I can't wait. Fabulous, are you in here? The Emperor's getting ready. Oh, he's looking forward to his bath. Great news, huh? No, it's a disaster. Look what happens when I try to fill the bath with water. It's not working. I know it's not working. I can see it's not working. But do you know why it's not working? Because there is no running water in this part of Rome yet. It's a disaster. No running water means no bath for the Emperor. And that means a whole lot of very hungry lions. Oh, no, this is a complete disaster. What are we going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Romans built huge bridges called aqueducts, which carried water into the towns and cities. And that's exactly what Sementicus was doing when I met him. Right. 
I need to go and help your brother and our water worries will be over. You keep the Emperor busy for a while. Oh, ask him about his cap and ball toy. He will love showing you that. Good plan, huh? Fabulous plan, Rebecca. <laughs> it's hopeless. I might as well just... Semanticus, don't! It's hopeless. I can't get my aqueduct to work. If I can't lift this great big water pipe on my own, it means I can't get running water to flow into all of Rome. Well, you're not on your own anymore. Come on, Emperor Stropagus himself is depending on us. <laughs> we did it! Thanks, Rebecca. I'll turn on the valve. It's bath time for Emperor Stropagus, and a whole new part of Rome will have running water. Well done. Thanks, Rebecca. I could have done it without you. <laughs> well, i better check at the Emperor's house. Well done, and bye-bye. Thanks, Rebecca. Oh, I'm so happy. I could cry. <laughs> Oh, those brothers, Semanticus and Fabulous, really are the best builders in all of Rome. That is one happy emperor. We did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. The emperor was the only person in ancient Rome allowed to wear purple. Rich Romans made floor decorations from little pieces of tile and stone. And the Romans built huge bridges called aqueducts to carry water into their towns and cities. Fabulous! You and your brother will be showered with honours and treats, none of which will involve very hungry lions. And for your first honour, I invite you to join me for an imperial bath. I thought you'd never ask. Come on, Rebecca. I'd love to, but uh, the thing is... Whoa! I think it's time we went home. <laughs> bye bye, both of you. Farewell, Rebecca. Thank you for being a lovely Roman. Goodbye, Rebecca. Let's go. So, I made a mosaic and I built an aqueduct, and guess what? what? The Emperor loves baked beans on toast. No way! That's your favourite! I know! Oh, it sounds like you had an amazing time in ancient Rome. Well, I was going to try and follow that up with our mega fantastic snakes and ladder -a -thon, but I still couldn't find any dice. Sid, we don't need dice. Snakes and ladders without dice. That is crazy talk. All we need is one of these and a black felt tip pen. Ah, very clever finish the other sides and that will be perfect. It certainly will, Sid. <laughs> Playing ancient Romans was great fun. What do you like to play? I love playing drummers and they play the drums like this. Playing weightlifters is fun. I get to be really strong. <laughs> I love playing golf and I hit the ball like this. Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Let's have an adventure! Hooray! Who could we be today? What could we do? I'd like to sail a pirate ship or decorate a room. I could be a film director, or I could walk your pet. A clown or tennis player, the best you've ever met. Let's play! Let's play! Let's have an adventure today! Rebecca. What are you doing? Well, there's a funny smell around here, so I'm trying to sniff it out. Come on, let's follow our noses, see if we can sniff out the smell. Can you smell it? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah! I think oh. we found the smell. Yeah, my football socks. I wonder where they got to. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get them out of here. Hold on, Sid. It's time. Great! <laughs> It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. 
So what do you think we're playing today? So, what have I got on? A top hat, a parrot outfit, and a pair of spotty wellies. This definitely isn't right. Let's try again. Oh, wow! So this time I'm wearing a floaty gown and I've got a piece of paper with music on it. That sounds like opera music to me. So what do you think we're playing today? Yes, we're going to be opera singers. So what do we need to know? An opera is a play that is sung and there are lots of different operas. Opera singers have very powerful voices and they sing and act at the same time. The colour purple is considered unlucky by some opera singers. Opera singers need to warm up their voices and sing scales before they perform. And there are lots of different types of voices in opera. Some are high and some are low. Usually male opera singers with low voices sing bass and female opera singers with high voices sing soprano. OK, that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? It looks like a little horn. I wonder what that's for. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Oh, it's freezing in here, Sid. Oh, yes. I opened the window to try and get rid of the smell. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, but can you guess what we're playing today? Um, traffic wardens. Hey, what? No! We're playing opera singers, of course. Oh, well, you're going to have a lovely time. And I shall try to remove this smell by the time you come back. Good idea. See you later. Have a great time. Let's play! Come on, let's play opera singers. Right, so there should be an opera taking place somewhere around here, but I wonder where. That sounds like an opera to me. And I think it's coming from inside this building. Me, 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 me. Stand aside and make a way for the world's greatest opera singer coming through. Really? Where? Where? Here. I am the world's greatest opera singer, the one and only Cirolotti. La, 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 la. Fantastic. I'm an opera singer too. Is this where the opera's taking place? It is the opera house. Where else would the opera be? But more importantly, it is where Cirolotti is. And where Cirolotti is, opera is. Me, 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 me. Wow! When they say opera singers have powerful voices, they're not wrong. Now, if you will excuse me, I have important work to do in my dressing room. Getting ready for the opera? No, no, no. Opening my fan mail. Well, I want to be an opera singer, so I guess I should go to the opera house too. Come on. Let's play! Wow! 
I'm on stage at the Opera House. Oh, where can he be? Where can he be? Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Can I help you? My opera star's not here. It's all gone wrong. I need him to come and practice his song. Has someone gone missing? Yes, I'm the conductor of the opera tonight. I wave my baton so the rhythm is right. But if I can't rehearse with my opera star, the show will be a disaster. Whoa, OK. Um, well, if you can describe the man you're looking for, maybe I can help you find him. Well, he's a bit... And a bit... And so much. I know exactly who you're talking about. I think I met him earlier. He sounds a bit like this. He sounds a bit like that, I suppose, when he's got a cold in his nose. You're looking for Siderotti, the opera singer. That's the man. He's the best in the biz. Do you know where he is? Well, he said he was going to his dressing room to open up his fan mail. Well, if you can tell me where it is, I can get him for you. Thank you, thank you. Hip, hip, hooray. His dressing room is over that way. There are lots and lots of doors back here. I wonder which one's Siderotti's dressing room. Mmm, <laughs> something tells me this might just be the star's dressing room. Dear Siderotti, you are the greatest opera singer the world has ever known. I know. Hello. Ah, I knew I would see you again. You have come to ask the great Siderotti for his autograph. No? Uh, well, you're in luck. Uh, I have a thousand no, of them. No, thank you. No? Uh, yes, no. No? No, I've just come to get you. The conductor wants you on the stage to rehearse right now. Ha! With him, it is always now, now, and now. Does he not know that I am the great Siderotti, the world's greatest opera singer? He says so right here. I need to read the messages from all of my adoring fans. Oh, yes, I can see that. But um, don't you think it's a good idea to rehearse just a little bit? Oh, very well. I suppose that these can wait. Uh, 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 oh, are you all right? No. My lovely fans, they always throw flowers at the end of every performance. But I am allergic. They make me... Uh, 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 oh, here we go. Uh, Keep it away from me! Oh, you yeah, blow your What nose. are you doing? No, you keep it! Oh, help! What's going on? Help! Ah, oh, see the roti at last, and you came so fast. And I'm leaving even faster. The performance is cancelled. Ah! There is no way I can sing on this stage. In fact, there is no way I can sing in this opera house. I quit! <laughs> What happened there? I was only trying to give him my hanky. What are you doing? How could you? Take it away or I'll quit too. What's going on? Why is everyone scared of my hanky? It's clean, I promise. Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. The colour purple is considered bad luck by some opera singers. And my hanky is purple. No wonder Siderotti didn't want to blow his nose in it. Mr. Conductor, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise my hanky would cause so much fuss. That's all very well for you to say, but my top opera singer has just run away. The opera's off. It's all gone wrong. I'm going to quit forever. I'll even break my baton. No, no wait. Don't do that. Uh, maybe I can help. Oh, I know. I'll do it. I'll sing the opera for you. I did scare off Siderotti after all. Well, yes. That would be just a thing. But wait a moment. Can you actually sing? <laughs> of course I can sing. Just listen to this. <laughs> what on earth do you call that? I'm sorry. I thought it would sound better than that. That wasn't opera. That was a yelp. If you want to perform tonight, you'll need some help. Oh, dear. I thought I'd be able to sing much better than that. I am an opera singer, after all. Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Opera singers need to warm up and sing scales before they perform. To stop you being a screecher, you'll need a special teacher. Through there is your man. If he can't help you, no one can. Fantastic. I'll see you later for the performance. Let's play. Who's this? Hello? Hello. Welcome, welcome. I have been expecting you. You have? But, of course, you are here to find your voice and I know exactly where it is hiding. Right. Is it behind the door? No. Is it under the carpet? No. 
It is right here, inside you. And it is my job as a voice coach to let you help it come out. Oh, so um, how do you do that? With exercises, Rebecca, exercises. Repeat after me. Me, 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 me. You, 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 you. No. Me, 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 me. That's what I said. You, 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 you. No! Let's try a different way. You, 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 you. Me, 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 me. Beautiful. Now you've got it faster. Me, 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 me. Perfect. Faster. Me, 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 me. Wonderful and relax. The performance is in safe hands. Now. Where was I? So, is there anything else I need to do, you know, to warm up? <laughs> Hello? Hello? What a strange man. I heard that. Let's play! Well, well, what did he say? Are you going to save the day? He said the performance was in safe hands. <gasps> That's fantastic news. Do you fancy a practice? We've got no time to lose. My word, that's the worst opera singing I've ever heard. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I did everything the voice coach taught me. Well, if the music doesn't match your voice, we'll have to cancel the opera. We have no choice. If only my voice wasn't so high. Oh, now, what are we going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Usually, male opera singers with a low voice sing bass, and female opera singers with a high voice sing soprano. Siderotti's a man, so he must be a bass. And I'm a lady, so I must be soprano. Siderotti's music was too low for my voice. I need a different piece of music. You need a high song to sing. An aria called Brunhilda is just the thing. Oh, Brunhilda? That sounds fun. But before you perform, you'll need a Brunhilda costume. You'll find it in... The dressing room? Very good. Now, how did you know? Hurry up. It's time for the show. Let's play! Excuse me, can you help me, please? Ah, hello there. Come on in. Come on over here. Nice to see you. Take a seat there. That's right. Lovely now. Cup of tea. Really, there's no time. Don't be daft. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I'm due on stage any minute, and I need a costume. Of course you do, of course you do. Biscuit. Really, there's no time. Don't be daft. There's always time for a biscuit. Now, what part are you playing? Roman soldier, medieval knight, slice of cake. Slice of cake? There's a slice of cake costume. Don't be daft. I just wondered if you fancied one. There's always time for a slice of cake. Look, look really, I shouldn't. Oh, go on, then. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Brunhilde. Oh, why didn't you say? I have just the costume. Ah. Very impressive. Wait until you see the hat that goes with it. Where is it? Ah, there we are. Oh, oh my lucky stars. What's the matter? The Brunhilde hat. It's broken. Oh, well, don't you have a spare? You can't go performing in front of all those people with a broken costume. There's only one thing for it. What? Have a biscuit. There's always time for a biscuit. Hold on. I know what we can use to you. This cow horn. I knew it would come in handy. Ah, let me see that. Thank you very much. There we are. Good as new. Or should I say, good as moo. <laughs> you get it? Good as moo. Now go on, get changed. Nice and quick. Thank you. Let's play. Now, Rebecca, you truly look the part. So, if you're ready, we can make a start. Wish me luck. Did I leave my fan mail? My word. That voice. That sing. Almost as good as Sidoroti. I 
thought of help. That's my girl. That was wonderful. It brought a tear to my eye. Music so beautiful, it made everyone cry. You are welcome back to sing opera anytime, Rebecca. Just leave your purple anki at home. I will. Oh, it's been such great fun. Thank you. Well, what an adventure that was. But we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. The colour purple is considered unlucky by some opera singers. Opera singers need to warm up their voices and sing scales before they perform. Me, 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 me. And usually, male opera singers with low voices sing bass. Oh. And female opera singers with high voices sing soprano. Me. I think it's time we went home. So you're not staying for an encore, Rebecca? No, I've got to go, but you go out there and bring the house down. You know, I think I just will. Me, 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 me. You, 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 you. I mean, me, 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 me. Smell, go away. Ooh. Hello again, Sid. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> How was your adventure? It was amazing. Playing opera singers was so much fun. Oh, great. Now, if you could just get rid of this smell, please. I think I might have just the thing. Oh, Rebecca, you are a genius. Actually, I'm a soprano. <laughs> well, it's smelling a lot better already. Ah, oh, no more smelly socks for us. <laughs> Playing opera singers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play! Playing crocodiles is fun. I snap my toes like this. Hi! Ah! This is how I play karate expert. Playing ours is fun and I do like this. Hoot, hoot. Everywhere. Hello. Hey, Sid. What are you doing? I'm, I'm just tidying up your mess. You really no, should. No, we're the pink spotty ones. <laughs> He's on the phone. I thought he was talking to me. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> I've been picked for the football team. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> now, where are my boots? Uh, where did you last see them? Uh, on my feet. Well, they're not there now. <laughs> Hold on, Sid. It's time. Great. <laughs> Time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Let, 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 let. Let, let, let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So, I've got on a snorkel, a mask, a 
Webster's uniform and some chicken feet. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Let's try again. So what have we got this time? Well, we've got a funny shaped hat, a waistcoat and a pair of stripy trousers. So what are we playing today? Of course, we're going to be pirates! Ha ha! So what do we need to know? Pirates were sailors who travelled the oceans looking for treasure and sometimes stole the ships of other sailors. Pirates stored their drinking water in barrels so they had enough for their journeys. They sometimes got a disease called scurvy, which made them feel sick. It was cured by eating lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. To see if they were getting near land, one pirate would climb to the top of the crow's nest and look out. It was the highest point on the ship, at the top of the mast. So that's what we need to know. Do we need anything else? An oil can. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. Well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. So, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Sloan, flicks the ball up. Shoots. He scores! What a great goal by Sid Sloan! <laughs> hey, Sid. Look, we're going to play pirates today. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> oh, I know. I can't wait. I hope we find treasure. <laughs> Have a good game of football. Oh, I will. I'm ready and raring to go. Oh, no. My shoelace. It snapped. Oh, have you got another one? No, I haven't. And I was really looking forward to playing today. Well, I hope you find one. I'll see you later, Sid. All right, have a good time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Let's play! Come on, let's play pirates. Oh. <laughs> hey, we're on a ship. In the middle of the sea. I wonder if it's a pirate ship. <laughs> a yo-ho-ho -ho and a bottle of sugar-free lemonade. It is. Hello, I'm Rebecca. And I be Captain Nasty, the meanest pirate on the seven seas. Well, you can't be mean to me because I'm here to help you. Ah, well, that's great. So you are. Well, I'm in need of a good shipmate. My crew are revolting. Oh, I'm sure they're not that bad. Mm. No, I mean they're very unhappy, being as they haven't been paid for a long time. Why's that? Well, we've been looking for treasure, and we haven't found any. Well, I can help you with that, Captain Nasty. Well, shiver me timbers. That's great. We're going to be the best as shipmates. So we are. <laughs> Lovely. Let's play. Right, you grab hold of that wheel. Uh, this one? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go downstairs and have a look at this map. We need to find a treasure and fast. But, uh, Captain, wait. I don't know what I'm doing. Looks like I'm steering the ship, then. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Who are you? I am Pirate Jim and I am Pirate John. We're, We're twins. twins. We look the same, we dress the same, and we always agree on everything. I don't, except for him. Oh, well, hello. Uh, maybe you can answer a question for me. Gladly. Why do pirates talk in that funny way? What funny way? You know, with all that wow stuff. Oh, that's not how we really talk. We're just putting that voice on for fun. This is how I normally talk. I don't put it on. This is my real voice. <laughs> is it? Oh. OK, whatever. Well, I'm Rebecca, and I'm here to help you find treasure. That'd be very good. The pirates are all very cross. It's getting a bit ugly down there. Everyone in a bad mood, are they? No, they're all just ugly. And yes, they're all in a bad mood too. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I'm feeling a bit... Oh, what's wrong with him? That's another thing we're all feeling in a bad mood about. Everyone's feeling a bit sick and we haven't had a drink. And if we don't have a drink, we can't do any work. Oh, no. If we don't get these pirates and drinking water soon, we'll be stuck here. What are we going to do? <laughs> Hold on. I remember to you. Pirates used to store their drinking water in barrels, so they had enough for long journeys. We need to find your barrels of water. But we don't have any. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to find some, then. Well, out here in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nothing but ocean. Except for that ship that I've just seen. What other ship? That one. Oh, yes, a ship. Maybe they'll have some water we can have. I'm going to see the captain. Captain, exciting news. I've seen a ship. 
That's right, we're standing in it. No, I mean another ship. It's just over there. It looks deserted. And we need to go on board and see if we can find some water for the crew. Great idea! Off you go, then. Uh, what, me? Uh, but it looks scary and dark. Why aren't you coming? I'm Captain Nasty, not Captain Silly. Now, go on, off you go. Thirsty work being a captain. Let's play. Phew, we're on board. On board this scary, deserted, abandoned ship. What's that noise? That's snoring. Sounds like it's coming from down below. Come on. I'm sure the snoring's coming from somewhere over here. Oh, oh, who are you? Oh, I'm Rebecca. Oh, well, where do you come from? Uh, from our ship. We're parked up next door. Or whatever you meant to say if you're a sailor. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Rebecca. I'm Pirate Wealth. You don't look very much like a pirate. Where's your funny hat and your eye patch? Oh, where's my day off? I better wait the crew. Uh, what crew? There's no one else here. What? Where have they all gone? Let me see. You're right. There's no one here. They must have all left when I was asleep. We were looking for some treasure. And then the wheel got jammed. Oh, oh you're right. It won't move. Yeah, we've been going round and round for weeks. Going round and round. Makes you really sleepy. In fact, uh, good night. Uh, wait, I've come to ask a favour. Yeah, what's that? Well, our crew are very thirsty, and we need some barrels of water. Okay, maybe I can give you some. What's in it for me? Uh, I'll fix your wheel for you. Oh, okay, deal. Right. <sighs> no good. Oh look, it's rusty. We need something to loosen this up. Ah, but what can we use? Hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? Yes. The oil. This should do the trick. Uh, oh, yes! Wilf! Wilf! Oh, starfish and barnacles, hello? Hello? Your wheel. Oh. It's fixed. Is it? Brilliant! So? Can we have our barrels of water now, please? Of course you can. Oh, and here, you can have this. <gasps> a telescope? You can use that to look for your treasure island. Oh, brilliant! And we can set sail again. Hurrah! <laughs> Let's play! Goodbye, Rebecca. Bye, Will. So, Rebecca and me hearty, what be happening? Well, what be happening, Captain Nasty, is that the men have opened the barrels of water I found them and had a nice long drink. I know! I've just been below deck. Oh, they must be really happy now. They're as miserable as a mouse with no cheese. But why? They got their water. Because they haven't been paid. We need to find some treasure and fast. Will do. Oh, and look what Pirate Wolf gave me. A telescope. Oh. You know what this is. Yes. It be a telescope. Yes, I know. I can use this to look for land. Can't see anything at all. Uh, maybe you should use the other eye? Oh, yes. <laughs> I see. What do you see? Nothing at all. Not give that to me. I don't think you're doing it right. Oh, that's funny. I can't see anything either. Oh, look, there's something blocking it. <gasps> What's this? It looks like a map! Oh, great! This is a treasure map of Palm Island! It says the treasure is buried next to some rocks! Let me see! Me! 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 OK, 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 let's calm down. So we know where the treasure is. I say we set sail and find it! Agreed! <laughs> let's play! We're on our way to Pong Island. Shouldn't be long now. Going round in a circle. Captain! Captain! Oh! Captain Nasty, what's wrong? Oh, I'm feeling all flobbly, wobbly, and sick. Oh! No. Uh, I think you better go to bed. Aye, aye. Not feeling too good. Oh, no. We're in trouble now. Pirates Jim and John! Pirate Jim, at your service! I need your help. 
Hold on, why are you wearing two eye patches? Well, one eye patch is cool, so I thought two eye patches would be twice as cool. But it means you can't see anything? Oh, yes. I thought it got dark. <laughs> right, OK. Captain Nasty is sick, and I need you and Pirate John to steer the ship. Aye, aye, ma'am. <sighs> right, I need to make the captain better. But how do I know what's wrong with him? <laughs> Hold on, I remember to you. That's it. Pirates sometimes got a disease called scurvy, which made them feel sick. And it was cured by eating lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. Captain Nasty is sick with scurvy. Pirate Jim, we need some fruit. Something like oranges? Oranges, eh? What be they? Well, they're a fruit and they're round and orange. Oh, you mean like juggling balls? What juggling balls? These. Yes, but they're not juggling balls. They're oranges. You need to tell your men to stop juggling with them and eat them. Right, I think we're back on course. Let's play. Ah. That's it. I've eaten a whole lot of oranges and I feel a whole lot better. Good. Well, you rest up, Captain Nasty. Pirate Jim and Pirate John are steering and navigating. We'll find that treasure island very soon. Very good. Carry on first, shipmate. Captain... <laughs> Good news, the captain is getting better. Good! Well, according to this map, the treasure island should be round here somewhere and we can't see it. Mm. Let me have a look. Oh, you're right. It's nowhere to be seen. This should be here. Well, it might be, but the trouble is, I can't see far enough with this telescope. Oh, what are we going to do? Hold on, I remember to you. That's it. To see if they were getting near land, one pirate would go to the top of the crow's nest and look out. It was the highest point on the ship, at the top of the mast. Pirates Jim and Pirates John, someone needs to go to the top of the crow's nest and look out for land. Right. Off you go, then. What, me? Yep. And don't fall down, you'll break the ship. Uh, oh, OK. <sighs> Wish me luck. Luck! Right, I'm here. The crow's nest. So, what can we see? <laughs> That's it! Pong Island! Jim! John! I can see land! Did you hear that? Yes. What did she say? I think she said, Bing Bong, strike up the band! <laughs> land Ahoy! Land Ahoy? I don't think I know that one. Whoa! We could make it up. Land ahoy, hoy. tiddly tum. Scratch um, my head tum. and tap my tum. Oh, oh. Turn what are they doing? Suck my thumb. Round. Land ahoy, oh, tiddly tum. Hey. Let's play. We found Pong Island. Where? It's over there. We need to set sail that away. I'm going to tell the captain. Captain, exciting news. We found Pong Island, where the treasure is. The treasure? Rich! We're gonna be rich! Oh, I'm excited! Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited! Are you excited? I'm excited! Let's play! We've arrived! Let's go ashore! Oh, what a horrid smell! Yeah. They don't call it Pong Island for nothing! Right, so the map says the treasure is buried next to a rock that looks like a face. Put that rock there. Funny looking rock. It looks like a face. <gasps> the treasure! You shout the instructions and I'll do the pacing. Right. Okay, ready? Three steps forward. Three steps forward. Uh, one step left. One step left. Uh, one step right. One step right. Three steps forward. Three steps forward. Oh, hello. Give me that. Oh, look, you're holding the map upside down. Maybe I should do it instead. Right, here goes. Where's she gone? I don't think we're gonna find it this way. I think we really Found need to... it! What? Look! A treasure chest! Come on, help me pull it out. Right. It's no good. It's stuck. I know. I'll hold the handle. You hold me and we'll pull. Ready? Ready! Well, so much for your clever plans. 
Look, it's open. What? Oh, wow, a treasure. <laughs> Yo ho ho crew, we found the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Pirates stored their drinking water in barrels. They sometimes got a disease called scurvy, which was cured by eating lots of fresh fruit and vegetables. And to see if they were getting near land, one pirate would climb up to the crow's nest and look out. Well, Captain Nasty, I think it's time we went home. Thanks, Pirate Rebecca. Here, go on. Have yourself some treasure. Oh, no, it's all right. You have it. You deserve it. But uh, can I keep this map, though? Course you can. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Nasty. Let's play. Hey, Sid. Oh, hey, Rebecca. How was it? It was amazing. We found treasure. Wow. Aren't you supposed to be out playing football? Yeah, no, I couldn't find another lace for my boot. Ah, I think I have just the thing. Wow, thanks, Rebecca. I can play now. You certainly can. Playing pirates was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. I sing into my microphone like this when I'm playing pop stars. La, 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 la. Playing clowns is fun. I get to pull funny faces. <laughs> when I play fishermen, I catch fish. Like me. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure. Hooray! Who could we be today? What could we do? I'd like to sail a pirate ship or decorate a room. I could be a film director. Or I could walk your pet A clown or tennis player The best you've ever met Let's play Let's play Let's have an adventure today Let's play <laughs> My Aunt Nancy, she always writes me a joke when she sends me a letter <laughs> See, they're just... Oh, Rebecca, Rebecca, knock, knock uh, come in. Uh, no, 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 no. You're supposed to say who's there. Oh, right, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? No need to cry, Rebecca. It's only a joke. <laughs> hey? Boo who? It's only a joke. No need to uh, cry. Oh, oh, oh very funny. Yeah. Who told you that one? My Aunt Nancy. She wrote it in a letter to me. Oh, fancy paper. Oh, yes, my Aunt Nancy is very fancy. She wants to know all about our adventures, so I'm going to write back to her. In your best handwriting, I hope? Of course. Oh, what's in that box? My fancy pen. I'm going to use it to write back to Aunt Nancy. Oh, hold on, Sid. No time to write the letter now. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! It's really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So what am I wearing? A pair of skates, a ballroom dancer's outfit, and a parrot hat. I don't think this can be right, do you? <laughs> Let's try again. So this time I've got on a peaked cap, a uniform and a badge with a picture of a submarine on the front. So, what do you think we're playing today? Of course, we're going to be submarine captains. So, what do we need to know? A submarine.
submarine is a special kind of boat that can remain under the sea for a very long time. The captain of the submarine is the person who is in charge. Submarines dive under the sea by filling special tanks with water. When a submarine is under the sea, a periscope is used to see what is above the water. And when people swim under the sea, scuba diving equipment allows them to breathe underwater. OK, so that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Hmm, oh, a special-looking torch. I wonder what this is for. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll find out. Come on, let's play. Let's play! <gasps> Sid, you've broken your fancy pen. Oh, no, 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 it's not broken. I need to put some ink inside. Look. Ah. Oh, no, it's empty. I haven't got any ink to write my letter. Oh, don't worry, we'll find you some ink, Sid. But first, can you guess what we're playing today? You're going to be a skier, skiing down a snowy mountain. Hey, <laughs> no! I'm going to be a submarine captain. Oh, wow, you're going to have an adventure under the sea. I hope so. Oh, well, while you're doing that, I'm going to look for some ink for my pen. Well, good luck, Sid, and I'll see you later. Thanks, have a good time. See ya. Let's play! Come on, let's play submarine captain. So where am I? Oh, it looks like I'm in the middle of the ocean. Whoa! And I'm standing on top of a... an island? Or it could be a huge whale. Hang on a minute. I'm a submarine captain, so I must be standing on top of a submarine. I can't wait to see what it's like inside. Come on, let's take a look. Right, we're inside the submarine. Look at all these lights and bleeps. I wonder what they do. I know, I'll ask a member of the crew. Midshipman Martin Shipman, reporting for duty. Midshipman Martin Shipman? That's right, but you can call me Marty for short. I'm pleased to meet you, Marty. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. Ah, oh, you must be the standing captain. Welcome aboard, Captain Rebecca. Oh, oh yes. Uh, uh, where's your other captain? Uh, off duty, maintenance day. Everything needs a cleaning and a check in. So, Captain Max taking the day off while we get it all ship shape. Well, submarine shape, actually. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Well, standing Captain Rebecca reporting for duty. So, uh, what's our first task then, Marty? Don't ask me. Normally the captain tells me what to do. Oh, uh, yes, of, of course. Well, I am the standing captain of this submarine, um, and submarines go underwater. We need to go underwater. Oh. How do we do that, then? Well, I don't know. I thought you might. Don't ask me. Not my job. But I'm very good at cleaning. Oh, no. How are we going to make this submarine dive underwater? <laughs> Hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Submarines dive under the sea by filling special tanks with water. We need to make the tanks fill with water. Now, there must be a button or lever around here that makes that happen. Maybe it's this one. Whoa! Oh, it's not that one. Uh, Marty, any ideas? Yes, Captain Rebecca. How about a game of I Spy? No, I mean any ideas to make the submarine dive underwater. Uh, maybe it's this lever. No, nope, it's not that lever. <laughs> Cup of tea, Captain Rebecca. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Marty. <gasps> oh, look at this lever. It's got a picture of a submarine pointing downwards. It must be that one. Oh. <gasps> it is. We're starting to die. They seem to be swimming faster than us. Yes, they would be. Um, why is that? Because we're not moving, Captain Rebecca. <laughs> oh, yes, of course I knew that. But what I don't know is how we can make the submarine move forward. I don't suppose that's your job, is it? No, that's the engineer's job. Oily Ollie's your man. Oily Ollie? Oily Ollie fixes the engine and other worry things. OK, and where can I find him? Uh, he's down in the engine room. He's right there now, making the final maintenance checks. 
Well, that sounds like him. Um, I'll head there now. Let's play. Ollie, Ollie, are you there? Oi, oi. You must be the standing captain. Oily Oli at your service. If you're feeling a bit peckish, I'm just sizzling some snorkers. I beg your pardon? Snorkers is what we submariners call sausages. Oh, sausages! Yeah, and they'll be sizzling in a sandwich any moment now. Well, I'm afraid we haven't got time for that, Ollie. We need to get this submarine moving. How are the checks going? All finished, Captain Rebecca. I have oiled and tightened every inch of this old tin can. There's hardly a leak to be found on her. <laughs> well, set that one. Ollie, you must fix that leak immediately. Oh, yeah, can you? Oh. Nothing a snorkel won't fix. Oh, well, in that case, full speed ahead, Ollie. Captain Rebecca, we can't go just yet. <laughs> Captain Mac's not back on board. Captain Mac? But we've already dived underwater. When was he supposed to be back? Well, he's normally back by now. Captain's never late. Sounds like I'm needed. I expect there's Marty with news of Captain Mac's return. Well, I better go and see him. Oi, oi. <laughs> Marty, who sounded the alarm? I did, Captain Rebecca. Is there an emergency? Yes. Oh, dear. Have you heard from Captain Mac? No, Captain Rebecca. Captain Mac is the emergency. He's not back. He's never late. OK, stay calm, Marty. Stay calm. Um, I'm sure Captain Mac is fine. Oh, that's better. Now, when did you last see Captain Mac? This morning, after breakfast. OK, and what happened then? Then he did what he usually does on his day off. Which is? He took off in his little boat. Aha, now we're getting somewhere. OK, so Captain Mac went out in his little boat, which means we just need to find the boat and tell him to come back. Exactly. But the submarine is under the water, and the boat is on top of the water. We need to work out a way to look on top of the water for Captain Mac's boat. But how are we going to do that? Hold on. I remember to you. That's it. When a submarine is under the sea, a periscope is used to see what is above the water. We need to use a periscope. Marty, where's the periscope? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I think it's around here somewhere. OK. Um, what does it look like? Well, um, it looks... It looks like this. Well, maybe this is it? Uh, maybe it is. OK, great. Let's take a look. <gasps> oh, I can see a boat. Look, Marty. <gasps> That's Captain Mac's boat. But no, Captain Mac. Oh, no. Where is he? We've got to find him. Stay calm. OK, don't panic. I know. We can take a look in Captain Mac's cabin to see if we can find any clues to what he's up to today. Great idea, Captain Rebecca. Let's play. Right, does anything in here give you a clue? The captain's socks. <laughs> this is definitely the captain's cabin, and he's definitely taken his socks off. We know that, but we're looking for clues to where he is. Ah, what's this? Oh, that's nothing. That's just the captain's wall chart. The captain's wall chart? <gasps> and look, his calendar. And on today's date, there's a picture of a scuba diver. You know what that means, don't you? Uh, no. It means Captain Mac has gone scuba diving today. Of course. He loves going scuba diving. I hope he hasn't got into trouble. Oh, so do I. We need to look for him immediately. But how? And where? Someone will have to leave the submarine to go and look for him. Good plan, Marty. But who's going to do that? Oli Oli! Oli. Let's play! Oh, hi, Captain Rebecca. Any news on Captain Mac? No, Oli. So I'm going to need you to do an important job for me. Aye, aye. Captain Mac went scuba diving today, and we think he might be in trouble. But we don't know where. Bubbling barnacles. He's a great explorer, is Captain Mac. My guess is he's headed for Neptune's caves. Well, if that's where he's headed, we'll go there too. Full speed ahead to Neptune's caves, Ollie. All right, Captain Rebecca. We're on our way. Good work, Ollie. Oh, Neptune's caves. That sounds exciting. Sounds exciting, but scuba divers can get themselves into a right pickle in them caves. Down there, be shipwrecks and sharks are plenty. Sharks? Hi, Captain Rebecca. <laughs> Uh, OK. Well, when we get there, Ollie, um, you're going to have to swim down to Neptune's caves and find Captain Mac. Oh, you see yours is Captain Rebecca. There's no point in heading down there until we see what's out there first, under the water. Well, I would if I could, but how can I see under the water from inside a submarine? Sonar, Captain Rebecca. Sonar. Um, what's that? Sonar is a special device which is used to detect what's under the water by using sound and echoes. Oh, great. And where can I find that? In the control room, Captain Rebecca. Oh, right. Good work. Thank you, Ollie. Aye, aye, Captain Rebecca. 
Let's play! Isn't Sona amazing, Marty? It certainly is, Captain Rebecca. What is Sona exactly? I've no idea. And I wonder what all those weird noises mean. I think those sounds are used to form shapes of objects under the water. What do you think that shape is? Well, if I'm not mistaken, which often I am, that could very well be Captain Mac. You know what, Marty? I think this time you might actually be right. So if that's Captain Mac, what's that really big shape next to him? Oh, uh, I don't know, but it's very big and very scary. And, oh, I think I have to lie down. Martin! Hello, Captain Rebecca. Ollie, look, we found Captain Mac and something else too. What's that? That's something very big, Captain Rebecca. Very big indeed. We need to find out what it is, Ollie. We need someone to swim out and take a closer look. All right, Captain. Good luck. Me? Under the water? But I'm the standing captain. If I go outside, there'll be no captain on board at all. Yeah, but I can't go. I'm the only one who knows how to work this submarine. Well, what about Marty? He can't go either. He's never left a submarine in his whole life. And he can't swim. And he's allergic to seafood. All oh, right, well, I guess it has to be me then. That's fine. I'm not scared. I'm a good swimmer. You know, I came third in my junior school water gala. Good on you, Captain Rebecca. But if I'm swimming underwater, how will I breathe? Hold on, I remember to you. That's it. Scuba diving equipment allows divers to breathe underwater. Let's not let me breathe underwater just fine. Here, let me help you. Let's play. I'm ready. Uh, but would it be dark down there under the sea? All right, Captain. It'd be dark down there, all right. Oh, well, how will I see anything? What do we need? Oh, hold on. I know what we need. Do you? The torch. I knew this would come in handy. All right, good luck to you, Captain Rebecca. Thanks, Ollie. And look after the submarine while I'm gone. Will do, Captain. <laughs> the big shape we saw on the sonar is a giant octopus. It's tangled up with Captain Mac. It's OK, Mr Octopus. Don't be nervous. Uh-oh. It's OK. What's that? It looks as if the octopus has squirted something. Oh. It's moving away. Bye, Mr Octopus. Come on, Captain Mac. Let's play. Are you all right, Captain Mac? <laughs> Never better. Thanks for finding me. My pleasure. Phew, what was all that black stuff? Ink. Ink? Octopus ink. I collect it. It's my... Oh, I think the octopus has come back. Or it's a giant whale. <laughs> or it's my submarine. Want to lift cabins? I've got snorkers a sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play. Well, after tangling with a giant octopus, nothing warms you up like hot tea and snorkers, eh? Cheers! Cheers! Oily Oily and Marty tell me you did a grand job of being submarine captain today. Jolly well done. Oh, thank you, Captain Mac. Oh, no nonsense. Thank you. You deserve a reward. This, my dear, is very rare. Very rare indeed. And I'd like you to have it as a souvenir. What is it? That, Rebecca, is giant octopus ink. Wow! Giant octopus ink? Indeed. And it's all yours. Oh, thanks, Captain Mac. You're welcome. Well, we did it. It was great being a submarine captain, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. A submarine dives under the sea by filling special tanks with water. And when it's under the sea, a periscope is used to see what is above the water. And scuba diving equipment allows people to breathe underwater. I think it's time we went home. <gasps> Bye, Captain Mac. Thank Bye, you. Captain Rebecca. Let's play. So the submarine took us underwater where we found Captain Mac tangled in the tentacles of a giant octopus. But it was okay because I saved him. And then we went back to the submarine for snorkers. You hero. What? 
For waters? What are snorkers? <laughs> They're sausages, of course. Oh, right. So later on, we're going to be having snorkers and mash. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, how have you been getting on? Oh, not very well. I couldn't find any ink anywhere, which means I can't write a fancy letter to Aunt Nancy. I thought of a joke for her as well. Do you want to hear it? Oh, yes, please. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you might still be able to write that letter to Aunt Nancy because I brought you back some special ink. It's octopus ink. Oh, wow. Octopus ink. Thanks, Rebecca. Playing submarine captains was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. When dinosaurs is fun, I get to stop like this. I love playing superheroes and being very strong. I like being a waiter and pour drinks like this. looking for things for our pictures. And look what I found. Pasta? For lunch? No! I found everything we need to make. Oh, a woolly jumper. No, a collage. Brilliant! Just one question. What's a collage? Well, it's when you stick lots of bits and pieces and odds and ends to a piece of paper to make a picture. Oh, so what are you going to make? Hmm, I haven't decided yet. Hold on, Sid. It's time. Great. <laughs> It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Let, 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 let. Let, let, let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. I'm really, 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 really happy. It's me! Look, there's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So, what are we playing today? Whoa! So I'm wearing work boots, a pirate's outfit, and a jester's hat. This can't be right. Oh, so now I'm wearing dungarees, I've got a tool belt, and a sponge for cleaning things. So what are we playing today? I know, we're playing window cleaners. And we're going to clean windows. So what do we need to know? A window cleaner is a person who cleans windows for a job. They clean the windows of all types of buildings. Houses, shops, and even big tall towers. Window cleaners use soapy water to clean windows. They use ladders when they have to reach high up. And they sometimes have to use a scraper to get rid of stubborn stains like bird droppings. So that's what we need to remember, but do we need anything else? Bread? Stale bread? I wonder what we're going to need that for. Well, I guess we'll find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Hi, Rebecca. How's the collage coming along? 
really well. Look, I'm making a clown and I made the shape of his face out of pasta shells. Oh, that looks really good. Wait till I start sticking on his hair. <gasps> Which colour shall I use, the red or the blue? Ooh. How about both? Both. Good choice. <laughs> Guess what we're playing today? A giant baby. No, we're playing window cleaners. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. Have a great adventure. I will. I'm going to carry on with my clown collage. I'm going to use these jewels to make his collar. They can be the clown jewels. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. See you later. Let's play! Come on, let's play window cleaners. Whee! <laughs> so, where are we? What a lovely little village. I wonder if there are people around here who need their windows cleaned. I certainly hope so. Can you smell those flowers? Mmm, those flowers smell lovely. I wonder where they are. Ah, oh, hello. I like your flowers. They look beautiful. Thank you, young man. It's nice of you to notice. Oh, well, I could smell them from all the way over there. They smell lovely, and I really like the display. <gasps> oh, oh, please, you like them. <laughs> so, is this a flower shop, then? No, dear. Then what do you sell? Well, can't you see? Is this a mud shop? A mud shop? <laughs> Who ever heard of one of yours? No, I sell sweets. Delicious sweets. Can't you see the gobstoppers and jelly laces? Um, not really, because your window's a bit dirty. Eh? Oh, you're right. My windows are really dirty. Oh, no, what am I going to do? Today's the day they judge the county's cleanest village award. And our village was sure to win. But not with my windows looking like this. Don't worry, madam. I can clean your windows for you. I am a window cleaner, after all, you see. Well, no time to lose. The judge will be here at 12 o'clock. Oh, and look, the village clock says 10 o'clock now, so that's... what? He'll be here in two hours. Don't worry, madam. I'll have your windows cleaned in no time at all, Mrs... Sweet tooth. Gladdy sweet tooth. Don't you worry, Gladys. I'll clean your windows quicker than you can say, squiggle my squeegee. Squiggle my squeegee. <laughs> Are they done? What? Let's play! Right. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't look any cleaner to me. If anything, it looks worse. Oh, yes, you're right. Um... Perhaps it needs more water. Oh, dear. The judge will be here soon. And my window looks dirtier than ever. Oh, dear. Um, I don't know what's wrong. There must be something that I'm not doing. Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Window cleaners use soapy water when they want to get windows nice and clean. I've got plenty of water, but I haven't got any soap. Um, you haven't got anything to make my water soapy by any chance, have you? I've got just the thing. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Perfect. Sparkling windows, here we come. How's it looking? Delighted. <laughs> Keep going, nearly there. All we needy is a little squeegee. <laughs> Well done, Sid. My windows look lovely. <laughs> now, can you see what I sell? Gobstoppers, strawberry flavoured laces, coloured candy, and look, my favourite, jelly fried eggs. And hopefully, now we're in with a chance of winning the County's Cleaners Village Award. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to finish polishing my gobstoppers off. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, you're welcome. <laughs> a grand job, if I don't say so myself. And I do. <laughs> oh, and that means it's 11 o'clock now, which means there's just one hour before the judge gets here to inspect the village, which just gives me enough time to clean a few more windows. Excuse me. Oh, I wonder who that can be. Let's play. Hello, can I help you? I do hope so. You see, 
I've been watching you clean Mrs. Sweet Tooth's window, you see, and I thought to myself, what a good job that window cleaner is doing. I could do with some help, you see. I've got a problem. My cottage windows were lovely and clean, you see, but I accidentally turned on my own muck spreader, you see, and look. <laughs> Mucky windows! Do you, do you... Do I see? <laughs> yes, I do. I don't see how we're going to win this year's County Cleaners Village Award with my windows looking like that, do you see? And time is ticking away, see? Don't worry. Ace window cleaner Soapy Sid to the rescue. I'll get your windows sparkling in no time. Do you see? <laughs> there. Lovely clean windows. <gasps> oh, hold on. The upstairs window is dirty as well. How am I supposed to get up there? I can't get anywhere near it. I know. I'll try throwing my sponge up there instead. Hey, hey, do you mind? You were meant to be cleaning my windows, not my face. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I was trying to get up high to your window there. Oh, no. How am I supposed to get up there? I can't get anywhere near it. What am I supposed to do? Hold on. I remember. Do you? Window cleaners, when they need to reach up high, they use a ladder. I need a ladder. And I think I know exactly where I can get one from. Gladys, may I borrow your ladder? Oh, help yourself, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you a hand, and by hand I mean foot. Do you see? Safety first. I see. Absolutely. Let's get cracking. <laughs> well done, Sid. And still 20 minutes till the judge arrives. Oh, glad to be of help. And good luck with the competition. <laughs> right, well, after all that work, I think I deserve a nice cup of tea. Excuse me. Or maybe not. I wonder if I could just borrow you for one teeny tiny second. <gasps> I am the mayor of this lovely little village. Oh. Well, it's an honour to meet you, Your Honour. Your Majesty, I... Uh... Please just call me Tess. <gasps> You've done such a wonderful job of making our village sparkle, and I wondered if I could call upon you to clean just one more window. <laughs> well, there isn't much time left, but I guess I can do just one more window. <gasps> Splendid, Sydney. It's just over here. Um, I can't see any windows. The only thing I can see is that clock right at the top of that tall tower. Exactly. And it's that window in front of the clock I'd like you to clean. You see, it gets terribly dirty with all the birds that live in the clock tower. Oh, I'm going to need a very tall ladder for that. Oh, no. Don't worry, Sid. There's a window cleaner's platform attached to the front of the tower for that very reason. But you better hurry, though. <laughs> right. Leave it to me. I'll have that window cleaned in record time. Let's play! Must have forget the safety harness. There. But right now, there isn't a moment to lose. <laughs> ah, this seems like a good place to check the time. It's 10 to 12. 10 to 12? That means I've only got 10 minutes to finish cleaning this window before the judge arrives to inspect the village. Ooh, it really is a long way up. Maybe I'm afraid of heights after all. Oh, hello, little birdie. How are you? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. I'm only here to clean this window. <laughs> oh, this window really is dirty. What funny-looking spots of dirt. I wonder what they are. Birdie, what did you do that for? <coughs> the mayor did say it was the birds making these windows dirty. Hmm, I'd better get rid of these birds before I clean this window. OK. Uh, shoo! Shoo, birdies! Shoo away! Ah. I need to find a way of getting rid of them long enough for me to clean this window and for it to stay clean. At least until the judge has been. Hmm. Ah, uh, oh, hold on. I know what I can use, do you? This loaf of stale bread. I knew it would come in handy for something. I can use it to feed the birds. Oh, that definitely got their attention. We're going down.
There. Lots of happy birds, one happy window cleaner. And I better get this window clean before the judge arrives. Right. Oh, it's not working. What's going wrong? There's plenty of soap in the water. Am I forgetting anything else? How can I clean this window before the judge arrives? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Window cleaners sometimes use a scraper to get rid of stubborn stains like bird droppings. This scraper will get me out of a scrape. There, that did the trick. And it looks like the judge is just arriving, so that means it's... 12 o'clock! Excuse me, are you by any chance the judge of the cleanest village competition? That's right. I'm Miss Markham, and you are? I am Soapy Sid, window cleaner extraordinaire. I clean lots of windows in this village, you know. Is that right? Well, I have to say, this window is remarkable. Remarkably dirty, that is. I can hardly see a thing through it. Uh, excuse me, Miss Markham. Thought so. May I borrow your glasses for a moment? If you think it'll help. Ah, I knew it. My windows aren't dirty at all. The judge, Miss Markham, has been looking at them through dirty glasses. Luckily, I'm a window cleaner and I know all about cleaning panes of glass. <laughs> there you are, Miss Markham. My goodness, it has got bright all of a sudden. Oh, and look, this window is spotlessly clean. As is this whole village. Even the clock tower. <laughs> oh, well, this is by far the cleanest village I have seen all day and a worthy winner of the competition. <laughs> I must go and present this rosette to the mayor. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Goodbye. Thank you. Gladys, did you hear that? We won the competition. Oh, brilliant news. Well, we couldn't have done it without you. And here's a special thank you for you. Oh, jelly fried eggs, yummy! <gasps> well, you said they were your favourite. But don't eat them all at once. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, it's been a day of good, clean fun. But we'd never have got those windows clean without remembering everything we needed to know. <laughs> Window cleaners use soapy water to clean windows. They use ladders when they need to reach high up. And they sometimes have to use a scraper to get rid of stubborn stains like bird droppings. Ah, Sydney, I wanted to congratulate you on a job well done. You helped us to win the county's cleanest village competition. Oh, well, thank you. It was nothing, you know. All in a day's work, Your Honour, uh, Your Majesty, I mean, Your Highness, um, Tess. <laughs> Well, you did just the most wonderful window cleaning we've ever seen. But how on earth did you keep those birds off the clock tower? Oh, well, it wasn't easy. But in the end, I just remembered I needed to use my loaf. <laughs> Looks like it's time to go home. Goodbye, everybody. <gasps> Goodbye, Sydney. Hi, Rebecca. How's the collage coming along? See for yourself. Ah, that looks brilliant. Only, where are his eyes? That's just the thing. I finished everything else, but I can't find anything for the clown eyes. Ah, well, I really took a shine to being a window cleaner. And for doing such a good job, I got these as a thank you. Ooh. Take one. In fact, no, take two. Oh, thanks. Hold on. These are perfect for the clown eyes. <gasps> Look at that. Thanks, Sid. <laughs> Glad I could help. And maybe I can start my own collage soon. <laughs> Playing window cleaners was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. I like playing ninjas and I like 
jump like this. This is how I bounce the ball when I'm playing basketball. When I play horse rider, I ride my horse like this. I thought tidy meant putting things away. I know, but I'm trying to organise all the things I want to keep, like my swimming certificate. Oh, well, let me help you. Uh, what about this letter from your grandparents? Keep or not keep? Keep. OK. And what about this sweetie wrapper? Ew. Keep. What? Not keep. <laughs> oh, hold on, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> let it be me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! The dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. I wonder what we're playing today. Right, so I'm wearing a pointy hat, ski wear, and flip flops. This can't be right. So, I'm wearing a grey wig a red sash, and I'm feeling very grand and important. What are we playing today? I know, we're playing courtroom judges, and we're going to be in charge of a courtroom. So what do we need to know? A judge works in a courtroom. A courtroom is a place where it is decided if adults have done something wrong or not. If they have done something wrong, they are guilty. If they haven't, they are innocent. A group of up to 12 people called a jury decide whether a person is guilty of doing something wrong. To work out if someone is guilty or innocent, a judge makes sure that the jury hears both sides of the story. And a judge must control the courtroom. Order! Order! <clears throat> so I better get my loud voice ready. So that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Ooh. A bandage. I wonder what we're going to need this for. Oh well, I guess we'll soon find out. So, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Where is it? Rebecca, can you guess what we're playing today? Sorry, Sid, can't. You know that swimming certificate I found? Yeah. Well, I've lost it. Again? Oh, no. Oh, look. Here it is. <gasps> oh, thanks, Sid. <laughs> hey. You look like a courtroom judge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Your Honour, I am guilty of not keeping my things in a safe and tidy place. Yes, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, I'll get it all sorted by the time you get back. See ya. See ya. Let's play! Come on, let's play judges. Yes! Oh -ho! Right, so where are we? I need to find a courtroom so I can start being a judge. Whoa, that building is very grand. I wonder if there's a courtroom in there. 
No, straight up. I've been asked to be part of a jewellery. Now, that's why I'm not in work today. <laughs> Thanks. Catch you later. Oh, excuse me, can you tell me what this building is? What, that? Well, it's a Crown Court, isn't it? A Crown Court? So that sounds like the place that might have courtrooms. Oh, straight up. It's got loads of courtrooms. Well, that's where I need to be. Thanks. Oh, didn't I just hear you say that you're going to be on a jury? So shouldn't you be coming this way as well? Well, I should, but listen to this. That is a very grumbly tummy. Oh, no. I need some breakfast before I sit in a jury. I'll be along in a mo, straight up. Right, well, don't be late, will you? Oh, we don't want to be late either. Come on, let's get in there. Let's play! I wonder which way it is to the courtroom. Oh. In here, maybe? Not in there. Judge Sid, I assume. I'm Jessica, your court usher. Judge Sid at your service. Good morning, Jess. Jessica, Judge Sid, not Jess. <laughs> As your court usher, I will be showing people into the courtroom and helping with today's case, which reminds me. Today, you'll be hearing the case of the stone ring. Nancy Nice is accused of stealing a ring from Mr Wright. We better get to the courtroom. Uh, this way, not that way. Right. Time to be a judge, then. Today, I'm going to be fair and square, and we're going to get to the truth in this case. Let's play! All rise for the Honourable Judge Sid. Wow. So this is my courtroom. I'm in charge of all this. Right. I better get this trial started. Let's see here. Uh, Mr. Wright, you believe that Miss Nice stole your family ring. Am I right? No, Your Honour. I'm right. Mr. Wright. Yes, I know you're Mr. Wright, but am I right? I don't know. Are you right? Uh, are you of the opinion that Nancy Nice stole your ring? That's right. Right. Whew. Glad we cleared that one up. And what do you say, Nancy? Are you guilty of stealing the ring or are you innocent? Um, I am not guilty, Your Honour. I am innocent. I didn't steal the ring. Very well. Mr Wright, please approach the witness stand so we can hear your side of the story. Objection! Who said that? I did, Your Honour. I am a barrister and I am looking after Nancy Nice's side of the case and here to make sure she has a fair trial. And I object to you starting this trial. I object strongly, very strongly. Objection! Objection? Again? Now, who said that? I did, Your Honour. I am the barrister looking after Mr Wright's side of the case. And I object to all this objecting. Oh, I'm so confused. Why is everyone objecting? Because, Your Honour, you should not start the trial without all the members of the jury. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven people on my jury. Oh, no. I don't think that's enough. But I can't remember how many people I'm supposed to have. If I haven't got enough people to start the trial, I don't think I should start it. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Hold on. I remember, do you? That's right. A group of up to 12 people called a jury decide whether a person is guilty or not of doing something wrong. 12. I need 12 people. If that many people were asked, that's how many people I should have. Usher, I'm off to find our missing jury member. Come back, Judge Sid. This is not proper judge behaviour. By any chance, are you supposed to be on a jury right now? Are you late? Uh, yeah, sorry. But when I went to get this bacon sandwich from the calf, there was a queue right at the door there was, straight up. The courtroom's this way. Oh, that bacon sandwich smells good. I hope I can get one of those after the trial. Wait for me! Let's play! Right. Yes, Your Honour. Oh, oh, no, not you, Mr Wright. Uh, just right, as in we now have 12 jury members, so the trial can begin. Oh, right. Uh, now I mean you, Mr Wright. Um, are you ready to tell everyone what you remember to have happened? I am. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. 
I remember the day quite clearly because it was gloriously sunny. And I decided I was right. It was time to take a stroll. I oh, know, I think I'll take a walk to the shops. Good morning. I was right, I said it would be sunny. Good morning, grocer. I was right about your strawberries too. They were delicious. I was so busy saying hello to everyone that I didn't notice that the ring was slipping from my finger. You see, the thing about that ring is that it was too big. It belonged to my father and he had much larger fingers than me. But anyway... My ring! It's gone! That's when I turned around to see Nancy Nice holding up my ring, trying to sell it to a shopkeeper. But I, oh, no, I only just, oh, please, listen. She sounds guilty to me. Oh, dear, it looks like Nancy's trying to say something, but no one can hear her. Members of the jury, it is time to decide. Is Nancy Nice guilty or not? Please, come this way. The jury are going to decide whether Nancy is guilty of stealing the ring based on what Mr Wright said. But I'd like to know what Nancy was trying to say. It doesn't seem fair that the jury couldn't hear what she was saying. What should I do? Oh, no. Hold on. I remember, do you? To work out if a person is innocent or guilty, a judge makes sure that the jury hear both sides of the story. Hold on. We need to hear Nancy's side of the story, too. Let's play! I swear that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I remember the day when, because I was on my way to the shops. Don't worry, Gran, I'll be back soon. My grandmother had hurt her wrist and I was getting her a bandage. Suddenly, something sparkly caught my eye. Oh, what a beautiful ring. I wonder whose it is. But I couldn't see anybody that the ring could belong to. Then I saw a shopkeeper and I thought that maybe she would know. Excuse me? Yes, Madzea? I just found this ring. Do you know who it might belong to? You see, mm. I didn't steal the ring and I wasn't trying to sell it and keep the money. I was trying to return it. Well, we've now heard both sides of the story, but I better make sure we have heard everything. Before the jury decide whether Nancy Nice is guilty or innocent, does anyone have anything to add? I do. I have something to add. I'm glad I asked. Your Honour, I have found a witness who can clear this whole story up. May I present to you the shopkeeper? Objection. It's too late to hear from the shopkeeper. But, Your Honour, we must get to the truth. We don't need the shopkeeper. I told you what happened. Nancy was selling my ring. Please, Your Honour, let the shopkeeper speak. She can explain what really happened. I can't hear what everyone's saying. Don't allow it. Allow it. Please, Your Honour. I think the jury has heard enough. How can I be a judge and hold a fair trial if everyone keeps speaking over each other? What am I going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Yes, a judge is supposed to control the courtroom. Order! Order! I said order in the courtroom. Hmm. Now, should I hear from the shopkeeper? Yes, it would only be fair if we heard from the shopkeeper. I, Tallulah Jane, Beatrice Bell, Kitty Beauregard, swear that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I will never forget that day. It was terrible because I woke up with puffety hair. <laughs> and there is absolutely nothing you can do with puffety hair except for accessories. If you could get to the point, please, madam. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. And that was also the day I had a delivery of shoes. Very fashionable. Sling back with a toe bag. And I was creating a fabulous new window display. Excuse me. Yes, my dear. 
And that's when Nancy came running up to me and she holds up this ring. Oh, the outfits he could go with. Well, anyway, she told me she'd just found the ring on the pavement and she asked if I knew who it belonged to so she could return it. I hadn't seen anyone, but I thought to myself what an honest young woman she was. And I just found this ring. Do you know who it might belong to? <gasps> The courtroom were being noisy again. I said she was innocent, didn't I? Here goes. Order! Order! Thank you. You may step down. Members of the jury, you have now heard from everyone. It is time to go to your room and decide whether Nancy Nice is guilty or innocent of stealing the mm -hmm. ring. The jury are going to make their decision. This could take a while. What shall I do? Oh. A ball game. He aims. He throws. He hit the target. Judge Sid, I'm not really sure this is proper judge behaviour. The jury are returning, Your Honour. The jury are returning, Your Honour. I wonder what the jury have decided. Is Nancy innocent or guilty? Let's find out. Members of the jury, have you reached a decision? We have, Your Honour. We are all agreed that Nancy Nice is... ..not guilty. Members of the court, Your Honour, and most importantly, Nancy Nice, I am so very sorry. I made a terrible mistake. I wasn't right at all. I was wrong, and I am never wrong. Order, order! Nancy Nice, the jury have decided that you are innocent. You are not guilty. You did not steal the ring. You are free to go. But why aren't you smiling, Nancy? I only went out to get bandage for my grandmother. You see, she sprained her wrist playing table tennis. But because I was accused of stealing the ring, I had to go to the police station and didn't ever get one. Oh, dear. What can I do? Oh, hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? This. Here you are, Nancy. I thought this would come in handy. You can give this to your grandmother. I hope it helps her wrist. Oh, thank you. You really are a brilliant judge. <laughs> thank you. Goodbye, Nancy. This court is dismissed. Let's play. Well done, Judge Sid. You really were a good and fair judge. And I have a little something for you. Thanks, Jessica. Oh, wow. A bacon sandwich. Well, we did it. But we'd never have done such a good job without remembering everything we needed to know. A jury is made up of 12 people who decide if someone is guilty or innocent. Not guilty. A judge makes sure that a jury hears both sides of the story and controls the courtroom. Order! Order! The court is now closed, Your Honour. Mm. I think it's time I went home now anyway. Well, thanks for the sandwich. Oh, and um, can I take this file home, please? Of course. Now you go, and I'll tidy up here. OK. Thanks for everything again. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's play. Hey, Sid. How is it being a courtroom judge? Oh. It was hard work, but I did help bring justice in the case of a missing ring. Oh, fantastic. Looks like you've been working really hard, too. Yes, this is everything that I want to keep. But I can't think of a good way to store it. Aha! Uh -huh. You can use this file and tie it up with the ribbon at the end. Fantastic! Thank you! Playing courtroom judges was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play! I love to play monsters and roar like this. <laughs> This is how I walk when I'm playing astronaut. When I play mermaids, I swim like this.
to sail a pirate ship or decorate a room. I could be a film director or I could walk your pet and clown or tennis player. The best you've ever met. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure today. Hey, Sid, I've got the popcorn to eat while we watch our film. Oh, yummy. Make yourself nice and comfy, Rebecca. Make myself comfy? That's easier said than done with you wriggling about like that. Oh, sorry, Rebecca. My back's still itching. I think I've got it. Good. Yeah. We don't want any distractions while we watch our film. Yes, I know, because an itch like that can really distract the... Oh, no! It's back again. Oh, we're never going to watch our film. Oh, hold on, Rebecca. <laughs> it's time. Great! <laughs> It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Let it be me. There's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So, what am I wearing? A Viking's helmet, a nurse's uniform, and a pair of doggy slippers. <laughs> no, this definitely isn't right. Let's try again. Well, this time, I'm all dressed in white. I've got a pair of trainers and a tennis racket. So, what do you think we're playing today? Of course, I'm going to be a tennis player. So, what do we need to know? Tennis is a game played on a tennis court. The players stand at either end of the court and hit a ball over a net using a racket until one of them misses. Tennis players have to warm up their bodies with special exercises before they play. A referee called an umpire tosses a coin to decide which player starts the game. And tennis players have a special bag called a racket bag. This usually contains at least five rackets. OK, well, that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? Oh, a pair of wintry earmuffs. I thought tennis was usually played in the summer. Oh, well. We've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Hey, Sid. Uh, you look better. Has your rich gone for good? Absolutely. Not. Oh. Oh, I think I'm going to itch forever. Oh, dear. Well, maybe you can take your mind off it by guessing what I'm playing today. Of course. Air guitar champion. <laughs> Sid, I'm playing tennis players. Ah, oh, have a smashing time. I'll save the film. And the popcorn. Until you get back. Hopefully my itch will have gone by then. <laughs> Happy scratching, Sid. Bye. See you later. Let's play! Come on, let's play tennis. <laughs> oh, so where am I? Look at all this tennis stuff. I've clearly come somewhere where they play a lot of tennis. Oh, and look at this impressive trophy. It sure is, and it is my dream that one amazing day it will be me lifting up the trophy. So you're a tennis player too? Yes, not as good as you, of course, but maybe one day, if I keep practising... Um, I think you might be confusing me with someone else. Not a chance. You're Rebecca, the tennis player, right? Uh, yes. Yes, and you're going to play the big match for the tennis trophy, yes? Am I? That's what it says on the match board. Well, I can't argue with that. <laughs> so, are you playing the big match too? <laughs> Me? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not good enough for that yet. But today, I have the honour of being your ball boy. A ball boy? What's a ball boy? Me. 
I get to look after the tennis balls. If you hit the ball into the net or out of the court, it's my job to fetch it back. Oh, right. Here, try me. Throw me a ball. Right, OK. Oops, look out! Oh, I'm Ow. so sorry. That was a total mistake. Get off me, please. You're ruining my creases. Not to mention my concentration. Don't you know who I am? Now, I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Of course you have. I'm Ace Smasheroo, the world's number one tennis player. I've got the fastest serve. I've never lost a match. And I'm here to win that tennis trophy. That's where I've seen you before. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. I'm playing you in the match today. Me? Playing you? <laughs> I may as well take home the trophy right now. You won't last long against my serve, Rebecca. Oh, dear. He's not very happy. I think that was my fault. Don't worry. Ace Smasheroo's got a short temper. He sounds really good, though. Maybe I should have a practice before the big match, too. And I know just the man to help you. You should go and see our tennis coach. You'll find him on the practice court. And where's that? Over there. Great, thanks. Oh, you'll need a tennis ball. Hey, what is this? This is just what I'm looking for. Um, hello. I'm looking for the tennis coach. Well, your quest is at an end, my friend. I am the coach. Awesome. Oh, brilliant. Well, I just need to learn how to play tennis. Well, he came to the right place, smiley face. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. I'm playing a smasheroo. Whoa, that's going to be a tough match. He the best, but don't be glum, chum. We'll have you up to speed in the blink of an eye. Coach, we'll show you the moves. <gasps> brilliant. OK, let's play. Whoa, not so fast. Put down the racket and back off the tennis court. Uh, but you said you were happy to show me the moves. And that I am, but you are not playing any tennis until you're properly ready. What does he mean, properly ready? Is there something I'm meant to do first? Or what is it? Hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. Tennis players have to do special exercises to warm up their bodies before they play. Got it in one. You can't play tennis unless you warm up. OK, shake your hand like this. Shake the next hand like this. Shake your arms like this. Now shake the foot and the next foot. And wibble and wobble like a jellyfish. That's it, wibble and wobble like a jellyfish. And wibble and wobble like a jellyfish. Great, I feel a lot better, Coach. Warming up is only the half of it. Now you've got to learn how to stretch. OK, you see the apple in the tree? Stretch and reach for the apple. Stretch and reach for the apple. Your turn. Stretch and reach for the apple. 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 Wibble and wobble like a jellyfish. Stretch and reach for the apple. Stretch and reach for the apple. Wibble and wobble like a jellyfish. Now how are you feeling? I'm ready for some tennis, Coach. Good. Let's start off nice and simple. All right, just hit the ball back to me. Oh, it's not as easy as it looks. No problem, because I can see the problem. Hold the racket like this. Awesome. Now, remember, all you got to do is keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Where's your eye? Eye on the ball. Where's your eye? Eye on the ball. You got it. <laughs> <sighs> OK, I'm ready. Ready? Nice return. You won the point. Well done. I knew you could do it. Brilliant. I'm ready for anything now. Good job. Oh, I think that's a crowd arriving. Get out there, Rebecca, and play your best tennis. <laughs> I'll be right behind you. Welcome, tennis fans, to another tennis trophy match. And here comes the reigning champion, Ace Smasheroo. He's never lost a single match. And today's plucky challenger is Rebecca. It says here that she's never lost a single match because she's never played a single match either. Right, let's play. Um, excuse me. As champion, I should serve first. But the ball boy gave the ball to me, so I think I should serve first. As champion, I should serve first. But it's my first match. Please let me serve first. We both want to serve first. There must be a fair way of deciding this. But what could it be? If we don't decide, the match won't start. What are we going to do? Hold on. I remember to you. That's it. A referee called an umpire tosses a coin to decide who starts the game. We need to find an umpire. Aha! Uh -huh, an umpire. 
excuse me, Mr. Umpire, sir? Now, uh, may I help you? We're about to play a game of tennis, but we can't decide who should serve first. That is right, because that is my job. I must toss the coin. Now, where is it? Ah. Heads or tails? Heads, please. I always pick heads. Heads it is. Oh, great. I'd like to serve first, please. Rebecca to serve first. Fine. I didn't want to serve first anyway. And with Rebecca winning the toss, it looks like she'll serve first. Reminds me of the days I won the toss back in 1976. <laughs> the only thing I did win that year. Oh, those were the days. Yes, girl! <whistles> and it's a great serve from the young newcomer. But Ace has got it within his sights and whoop, he hits it straight back. But Rebecca's right there and pow! Straight over the net and Ace is nowhere to be seen. Rebecca wins the first point. A point to me! It's the only point you'll get today. We'll see about that. Rebecca is matching Ace <gasps> shot for shot. The pressure's on. If she wins this point, she's won the game. And she's done it! Yeah! yeah. Mm. I won! I won! That's only the first game. There's still more of them to play, and this time, I get to serve. <laughs> Serves an ace, and Rebecca didn't stand a chance. And again, he's owning the court. Keep your eye on the ball, Rebecca. You've got to get the ball over the net. He's right. I don't stand a chance if I just stand here. Out. Ace wins the point. But I got the ball over the net. You've got to get it over the net and inside the white line, otherwise it is out. And the pressure is really starting to mount now on our two players. If Ace wins this point, he'll win the second game. Just like my match against Stringy Juice in 1978. Those were the days. Eye on the ball. Eye on the ball. Wow, what a shot. Rebecca is back in the game. You won't stand a chance against the Smasheroo special. Do your worst, Ace. The Smasheroo special? If Rebecca doesn't get to this one, then Ace wins the second game. Got me. The Smasheroo special smashed straight through my strings. I can't play with a broken racket. Really? Well, in that case, you can't keep playing on, can you? So that means the trophy belongs to me. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Think, Rebecca. Think. Hold on. I remember to you. That's right. Tennis players have a special bag called a racket bag, which usually contains at least five rackets. I need a new racket. Look, Ace, I've got a new racket. In fact, I've got another four. Let's finish this match properly, and this time it's my turn to serve. <laughs> And it's Rebecca to serve again in this really close game. Ah! Come on, Rebecca! <laughs> Both players are really tired now, 
but Rebecca has just pulled ahead. If she wins this next point, she wins the whole match. But can she do it? The pressure is really on her now. Rebecca! Rebecca! Go ahead, please. It's no use. I need to concentrate, and I can't concentrate with all this noise. What am I going to do? Hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? These earmuffs. I knew they'd come in handy. Now I can't hear anything. Right, here we go. Rebecca, that means this trophy belongs to you. That was the best tennis match I've ever played. And to say thank you, I'd like to hand you the trophy myself. There you go. Oh, thanks. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Bye. <laughs> thanks. Well, what a match that was. But we'd never have won the trophy without remembering everything we needed to know. Tennis players have to do special exercises to warm up their bodies before playing. An umpire tosses a coin to decide who starts the game. And tennis players have a special racket bag that usually contains up to five spare rackets in case one gets broken. Well done, Rebecca. I knew you could do it. I've learned loads by watching you. Oh, thanks. It's been great fun. Well, I think it's time we went home. Not got time for a quick game. Not this time. But I reckon Ace Smasheru will be happy to give you a game. I'll go and find him. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye. Let's play. Hey, Sid. How's your itch? Oh, I'm still itching more than ever. How was your adventure? It was amazing. I won a match against a tennis champion and I won this trophy. Amazing. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. Oh, oh. Ooh, yes, that's it. I got it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I think my itch is gone. Oh, great. So, now are you ready to watch the film? Oh, the film, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, oh, oh dear, oh. Oh, I thought you said your itch was gone. It has. I sat on the remote control. <laughs> <laughs> Playing tennis players was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. Playing robots is fun and making beeping noises like this. I drive the police car really fast when I'm playing police officers. I love playing. Up things and sing like this. La 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 Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure. Hooray. Good we be today. What could we do? I'd like to sail a pirate ship or decorate a room. I could be a film director, or I could walk your pet. A clown or tennis player, the best you've ever met. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure today. Let's play. Whew. Oh. I'm so hot. Oh, yes, me too. You know, fanning myself with my hands isn't big enough. Oh, I could try the newspaper. Good idea. I'm going to try this book. Oh, yes, this is definitely working. Oh, this isn't so good. Oh, try the newspaper. 
Oh, yeah, that's really good. It's good, isn't it? Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what, Sid? I think we should go outside. That's a brilliant idea, but I'm going to get a nice cold drink first. Do you want one? Oh, yes, please. Mm. <gasps> oh, with some ice. With ice. Anything else? And some lemon. Two ice cold drinks with lemon. Coming up. Oh, yes, please. Oh, and we must remember the sun cream. Definitely. I'll get those drinks. <laughs> Hold on, Sid. It's time. Great. <laughs> It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. There's the dressing up room. Let's play! This is really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So this time I've got on a riding helmet, a Christmas elf outfit and a pair of fluffy bird slippers. <laughs> this can't be right. Let's try again. So what have we got on this time? We've got on a helmet, some lovely warm gloves, and a pair of ski boots. So what are we playing today? Yes, of course, we're going to be skiers and we're going to ski down snowy slopes. So what do we need to know? Skiing is a way of travelling on snow. Skiers attach skis to special ski boots and slide downhill on the snow. To reach the top of the mountain, skiers have to use the ski lift. The ski route down a mountain is known as a piste. Pistes are colour-coded. The most difficult to ski down are black, and the easiest are green. A good way to stop is to spread your skis in a pizza slice shape, with the point of the pizza slice in front of you. This slows you down and helps you stop. A pizza slice shape? Oh, well, that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? A carrot? I wonder what I'm going to need that for. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll find out. OK, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play! Hey, Sid! Oh, there you are. <gasps> oh, thank you. Mmm, mm, lovely and cool. Yeah, you look like you need it in all that hot gear. What are you going to be, an astronaut? <laughs> I'm going to be a skier. <gasps> oh, yes. So where are your skis? I don't know, but I'm sure they'll show up somewhere. <laughs> well, thanks for the drink, Sid, and I'll see you later. OK, we'll go out again when you come back. Absolutely. Mm -mm -mm. Bye. Bye. Let's play! Come on, let's play skiers. So where am I? Oh, wow! Look at all this lovely snow. Looks like the perfect place to play skiers. If I'm a skier, I'm going to need to get myself some skis. Aha! Maybe I can get myself some over there. Let's find out. Whoa! Sorry, uh, I was not looking. Uh, your name is... Uh... Uh, Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, great to meet you. I am Jean-Claude. Nice to meet you too, Jean-Claude. Looks like you know what you're doing on a pair of skis. <laughs> Thank you. And I can tell by your outfit that you are a skier too, no? <gasps> yes, I am. Uh, sorry, but you've got a little something on your face. You might want to wipe it off. What is this? Uh, this sunblock? Sunblock? Yeah. In the snow? <laughs> yes, it is cold up here on the mountain, but the sun is still very strong. So you have to protect your skin from getting burnt. But you knew this, no? <laughs> Yeah, of course I knew that. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, you can borrow one of mine. 
I will do this for you. Now, uh, you keep this. Oh, thanks, Jean-Claude. So you are here for the games? The games? Mm, that sounds like fun. Oh, absolutely. I'm here for the games. Ah, oh, me too. I love the winter games. <laughs> What's he talking about? So are you here for the downhill, the slalom, or the jumping? Uh, the, the, the jumping? <laughs> cool. You look like a jumper. Do I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps you should get uh, your skis on first. You can get them from the lodge. It's just over there. Oh, yeah, the ski lodge. Yeah, I was just about to go there now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's lovely to meet you, Rebecca. Enjoy the winter games and good luck with the jumping competition. Oh, Bye-bye, Jean-Claude. Thanks. Well, I need to get myself a pair of skis first. Come on, let's go. Let's play. Oh, my goodness. I've been looking for a ski rep just like you. So, what's your name? I'm Rebecca. Oh, great to meet you, Rebecca. I'm Rupert, the ski rep. Hi, Rup. How can I help you? Well, you see, I'm in a bit of a tight spot, really. I've got a coachload of skiers there waiting to set off so they can catch their plane home. Bit of a problem is there's a skier stuck up on the mountain, you see, and he hasn't come back down. OK, so what do you want me to do? Well, I want you to go up the mountain, find him, bring him back down again so he can join the group and they can set off and catch their flight home. OK, I can do that. Uh, what's the name of the missing skier? Oh, you won't forget him. He's Jack Frost. Well, leave it to me, Rupe the Rep. I'll find Jack. Hmm, I thought we'd be taking part in the Winter Games. But this could be an exciting rescue mission instead. I say, Rebecca, you better hurry. These guys have got a plane to catch. Oh, absolutely. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Thanks. Bye. Toodle Pip. Good luck, old girl. Let's play. Whoa! How are we going to get all the way up there? It's too far to walk, and we need to find Jack Frost as quickly as possible. What are we going to do? Oh, hold on. I'll remember to you. To reach the top of a mountain, skiers use a ski lift. We need to find a ski lift then. Ah, maybe that's it over there. Oh, wow, look at the ski lift. I've never seen anything like it before. So, um, I just wait here and uh, wait for it to stop. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be stopping. Hello. You need help. Oh, thank you. So, you wait for the ski lift to come down. Bend your knees slightly. Face the way you want to go. Sit back in the chair as it comes past. Goodness, that's a lot to remember. Hurry up, here comes the ski lift. Oh, here goes. Oh, yes! Sit back in the chair. Oh, whoa, this feels weird. Hold down the safety bar. Oh, yes, the safety bar. Sit still. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, he was a bit bossy, wasn't he? Oh, whoa, this is a great way to travel. I wish I had one of these at home to take me to the shops. <laughs> Let's play. Wow, what a fantastic place. But there's no time to enjoy the view. We've got to find Jack Frost. Come on. Jack! Hello! Jack Frost! Yoo-hoo! Jack? Jack Frost? Jack? Jack Frost? Hello? Oh, uh, excuse me, uh, Jack? Jack Frost? Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Everyone's looking for you. I started to build a snowman, and then I turned around, and everyone had gone. But they're all waiting for you down there. So you need to come with me down the mountain, or you'll miss your bus. And you and everyone in your group will miss your plane home. Oh, OK. <laughs> but I can't go just yet, because my snowman... He isn't finished just yet, and I can't leave my snowman all unfinished. Uh. <laughs> oh, he looks pretty good to me. <laughs> ah, yes, but... He hasn't got a nose. I can't leave him without a nose. I'm not leaving until my snowman has the perfect snowman nose. My mission is to get Jack Frost down the mountain, but he won't budge until he's got a nose for his snowman. <coughs> oh, hold on. I know what we can use, do you? I knew this would come in handy. Or should I say nosy? <laughs> would this help? Ooh, that's perfect. 
Fantastic! Thanks, Rebecca. Your snowman looks great now. Come on, we need to get down this mountain. It's time to start skiing. Let's play! You go first, Jack. I want to make sure you get down the mountain this time. <laughs> OK, let's go. Whee! OK, this is it. We're going skiing! Come on, Jack. Let's go. Oh, um, but I don't know which way to go. Um, well, this way is marked with a black diamond. Oh, well, I don't know what that means. And that way is marked with a green square. We need to get Jack down the mountain, but we need the easiest route down. But which way should we go? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Ski routes down a mountain are called pistes. Pistes are colour-coded. The most difficult to ski down are black and the easiest are green. So we need to go down the easiest way. We need to follow the green signs. Green is the easiest route. Oh, well, that would be good for a beginner like me. And perfect for me too. Come on, let's go. This is brilliant. I love skiing. How are you doing, Jack? Brilliant, thanks, Rebecca. I didn't realise that skiing could be so cool. I know, it's really cool. Woohoo! Whee! Woo hey, Rebecca, <laughs> do you think we'll get down the mountain in time? Of course. It's easier than it looks. Whee! Hey! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> oh, Rebecca, look out! What is it? Look out! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Rebecca! That was one of the best jumps I've ever seen. You're a brilliant skier. Thanks, Jack. I was pretty good, wasn't I? Woohoo! <laughs> oh, look, Jack. There's the ski lodge. We're nearly there. Oh, brilliant. Oh, dear. Um, Rebecca, how do I stop? Oh, no. If we don't stop soon, we're going to crash into the ski lodge. What are we going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. The best way to stop is to spread your skis like a pizza slice shape with the point of the pizza in front of you. Jack, you need to point the tips of your skis together to make a pizza slice shape, like this. Oh, it's working. Oh, yes. Phew, that was close. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Now hurry up. Get on that bus and catch that plane. Thanks, Rebecca. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Let's play. Bye, Jack Frost. Safe journey. Well, we did it. We managed to get Jack down the mountain just in time. Mission accomplished. And skiing was brilliant fun. It's just a shame we didn't get a chance to take part in the Winter Games. <laughs> Jean-Claude! Ah, sorry, but uh, I need your help. How can I help? Uh, well, uh, our skier has not shown up and the competition is about to start. Uh, I saw you jumping as you came down the mountain and I wonder, would you mind jumping uh, for us in the Winter Games? Yes! Let's play! Look at me, at the top of the ski jump. Oh, it's pretty high up here and there's only one way down. That away. The next contestant will be newcomer Rebecca. That's me. And her jump will commence in five, four... We can do this. Three, two... This is it. Here we go. One. Whoa! Here comes the jump. Whoa! <laughs> Pizza slice! <laughs> and that was a spectacular.
the jump by Rebecca. She may even win this year's gold medal. Whoa, did you hear that? We just need to await the judge's decision. Well done, Rebecca. That was brilliant. And yes, the judges have made their decision. The winner of the Winter Games Ski Jumping Competition is... Rebecca! <laughs> Let's play! Whoa! <laughs> ah, Jean-Claude! Good work, Rebecca. Oh, thanks, Jean-Claude. Go on, then, let us see your medal. Look, it's a proper gold medal. How cool is that, huh? Very, very cool. Let me tell you, Rebecca, you are a great skier. Oh, thanks, Jean. <laughs> That was ace, and we did it. But we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. <laughs> to reach the top of a mountain, skiers use a ski lift. The route down a mountain is called a piste. Pistes are colour-coded. The most difficult are black, and the easiest are green. And the best way to stop is to spread your skis in a pizza slice shape. We managed to get Jack Frost down the mountain in time and win a medal in the Winter Games. Today's been a huge success. So will you come back next year to compete for us? I'd love to. Well, I think it's time we went home. Bye, Jean-Claude. Au revoir, goodbye. Let's play. Hey, Sid, how you doing? Oh, hello, Rebecca. Great to see you back. I'm very, very hot. But how was it being a skier? Did you have fun? It was cool. Very, very, very cool. <laughs> I skied down the mountain with Jack Frost and I won a gold medal in the Winter Games ski jumping competition. Wow. So how high did you jump? It was very, very, very high. Whoa, sounds like you've been really busy as well. So after all that time in the snow, do you fancy coming out in the sun? Absolutely. But before we do, we need to pop on some sunblock. And look what I brought back from my adventure. Cool. OK, let's get changed and we can put it on. Let's go. <laughs> Playing skiers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. Playing hairdressers is fun. I dry their hair like this. Meow. <laughs> this is the noise I like to make when I'm playing cats. When I'm playing painters and decorators, I paint like this. Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Let's have an adventure! Hooray! Could we be together? What could we do? I'd like to sail a pirate ship or decorate a room I could be a film director Or I could walk your pet A clown or tennis player The best you've ever met Let's play! Let's play! Let's have an adventure today! Let's play! OK, ready? Rebecca and I are going to a party and she always takes ages. Listen to this. Rebecca, are you ready yet? Nearly ready, nearly ready, nearly ready. I just need to find something to jazz up my outfit with. Oh, this hat? No. Ah, this one? Definitely no. Ooh, hold on, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be me! Let it be me! Let it be me! Could it be me? Let it be me! Let it be me! Me. 
Look, there's the dressing up room. Let's this play. is really exciting. So, what are we playing today? Whoa! So I'm wearing a Roman's helmet, painter and decorator overalls, and flippers on my feet. What am I going to do with that? This is a right. Nice. So this time I'm wearing a white shirt, bow tie, and a very smart jacket. So what are we playing today? Of course, we're going to be ballroom dancers. So what do we need to know? Ballroom dancing is a style of dance that follows strict footsteps and movements and usually takes place in a large room called a ballroom. Ballroom dancing is performed in pairs and is not a style of dance for one person. In ballroom dancing, ladies always stand on the man's right. This tradition comes from a long time ago when men wore swords. The lady stood on the man's right to avoid the sword. Ballroom dancers sometimes put candle wax on the bottom of their shoes to stop them slipping on the floor. Candle wax on shoes? Hmm, OK, so that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Whoa. A bat with a number 10 on it. I wonder what we're going to need this for. I guess we're going to find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Doesn't match. Wrong colour, wrong shape. Look, Rebecca. Guess what we are playing today? No, no, don't say a word. Let me show you. Oh. And we oh, 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 I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> You're supposed to stop spinning when I let go of you. Oh, oh but I'm still dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're playing ballroom dancers. Oh, oh yes. Well, we'll have fun, and I'll try and find something to jazz up my outfit by the time you get back. Good luck. See ya. See you later. Let's play! Come on, let's play ballroom dancers. So, where are we? Well, we've arrived in the city, and as I'm a ballroom dancer, I'm going to need a ballroom to dance in. Wow, there are lots of dance things in that shop window. Of course there are lots of dance things in the window. This is my dance shop, Dolly's Dance Shop, best in the city. I sell every type of item for every style of dance, and for one day only. A free flower with every purchase. Oh, it would look lovely on your jacket. Oh, no thanks. I don't need to buy anything. I've already got a dance outfit. Oh, but I wonder if you could help me. I'm looking for a ballroom to dance in. Do you know of any? Of course, I know them all. But you want the grand ballroom, the best in the city. It's just down the end of the street. It's got huge gold pillars and sparkling lights. You can't miss it. Thank you very much. Let's play. Whoa. This must be the grand ballroom. There are gold pillars and sparkling lights. It really is grand. Turn, turn, chasse, glide. I know what you're thinking. Those were fabulous dance moves. Well, that's because I'm Roxy Trotz, ballroom dancer extraordinaire. My samba sizzles, my waltz is wow, and my cha-cha-cha is cha-cha-champion. My partner and I have won every ballroom dancing trophy in the city. And now I'm going to win this competition. Wow. She really is an amazing ballroom dancer. Hang on. I'm a ballroom dancer, so I should enter the competition as well. Wish me luck. Let's play. Hello. I'd like to enter the ballroom dancing competition, please, but I don't know how. You register here with me. Wait. Is it just you on your own? Yes. Well, I'm afraid. I can't enter you into this competition. Sorry. Oh, no. How am I supposed to become a ballroom dancer if I can't dance anywhere? I can't enter the ballroom dancing competition on my own. So what am I going to do? Hmm. Oh, hold on. I remember. Do you? 
ballroom dancing is performed in pairs. That's why I can't dance on my own. So I need to find someone to dance with so that we can enter the competition together. That's right. You need a partner. Then I'll find one. Let's play. But I don't care what the doctor thinks. I care what I think. And I think you should be here dancing with me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No, I am not okay. My dance partner is sick. Something about a broken ankle or something. Now look at me. I'm all sparkled up with no one to dance with. Cover your ears. Ah! Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm looking for a dance partner. Maybe we can enter the competition together. Yes, yes, yes! I found a dance partner! And I'm going to win again. <laughs> And she stopped. Wait, I found a dance partner. Name of your dance partner? Roxy Trotz. And your name? Sid Sparkles. You are entered as couple number seven. You must wear the number on your back at all times. Good day. Let's play. Now, Sid, if you're going to dance with me, you're going to have to practice your dance steps. So, are you ready? Uh, OK. Shall we dance? <laughs> well, certainly. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Uh, um, shall we try again? Hmm. <clears throat> what's, he, what's he doing? Get, get off! Stand up! You're not even in the right place. You're not even in the right position. Oh, this is hopeless. I can't work with you. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. How am I going to enter the dance competition if I don't have a partner? Hold on. I remember, do you? In ballroom dancing, the lady stands on the man's right. This tradition comes from a long time ago when men wore swords. The lady stood on the man's right to avoid the sword. Roxy, wait. I've remembered now. You have to stand on my right and I have to stand on your left. Now we can practice properly. About time. OK, well, first we'll start with a dance called the quick step. Remember to be light on your feet. Quick step. Oh, oh, stop, oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, dear, that wasn't light or quick. Maybe we should try a dance called the mambo. Oh, the mambo? I know about the mambo. That's where you <laughs> shake your hips around like this and you move around and you go in and out. Mambo. Yeah. Hmm, yes. Well, maybe we should try the, the tango instead. OK, it's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. <laughs> oh, 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 stop, stop, stop! <gasps> this is no good. <sighs> Cover your ears. <laughs> why, oh, why, oh, why did I ever agree to dance with you? Th that is it, really. I'm going. Oh. oh, no. How am I ever going to learn to be a dancer and dance in the dance competition? I just need to keep on practising. How does it go again? Slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick. Slow, quick. Darling, darling, darling. Messy feet don't belong in the dance studio. So I, Miss Grace, am going to help you. You will? Thank you. First of all, we will start with a dance called the waltz. You start by making a block shape with your feet. Copy me, darling, copy me. That's it. Now, as you make the box, you count with me. One, two, three. 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 Perfecto, three. darling. Perfecto. Oh, thanks, Miss Grace. Can you teach me some more moves so that I can learn those as well and then I can enter the dance competition? Of course, darling, of course. I will get you dance fit in no time. Let's play. I know the doctor says you got a broken ankle, but I still think you could dance with me. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, will I ever find a decent dance partner? Look, Roxy, I've been practising my dance steps. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What do you think? What do you think? Will you be my dance partner again? Calling all dancers. Calling all dancers. The competition will start in five minutes. This is your five minute call. Fine. I'll dance with you. Oh, well, we better get to the ballroom and fast. Let's play. Wow. This place is spectacular. So I'm going to dance here. I can't wait. May I have your attention, please? It is with regret that I, and the judge, have to announce that the competition is cancelled. Cancelled? No. But why? Well, young man, a judge must have ten scorecards to judge the dancers. I only have nine. A judge can't judge without all ten scorecards. These are the rules. It is such a pity my number ten scorecard is gone missing. Hold on. Did he say his number ten scorecard is missing? I know what we can use. Do you? We can use this. Excuse me. Excuse me. You can have this one. Why, thank you, young man. Uh, can I have your attention, please? I am pleased to announce the competition is back on! Yes! The competition is starting. I'd better go. Let's play! And now, please welcome the champion dancer, Roxy Trotz, and new dance partner, Sid Sparkles. That's us! What do we do? Stop panicking. It's fine. It's just the introductions. All we have to do is smile and walk across the dance floor. What are you doing? Walk properly. I can't. My shoes keep slipping on this floor. Uh. This is the dance floor. If you can't walk on it, if you can't dance on it, and if you can't dance on it, we'd all stand a chance of winning this year's competition. Oh, no. All of our hard work will have been wasted if I can't find a way of stopping myself from slipping on the floor. Oh, no. Hold on. I remember. Do you? Yes, that's it. Sometimes ballroom dancers put candle wax on the bottom of their shoes to stop themselves from slipping on the floor. I need to find some candle wax. Candle wax? Where are you going to get that from? Dolly's Dance Shop. Let's play. Oh, it's you again. Welcome to Dolly's Dance Shop. How can I help? I need some candle wax, please, to stop my shoes from slipping. Candle wax, the finest in the city. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, your free flower. Mm. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's play. And coming up next, couple number seven. Oh, no, that's us. Where are you? Oh, come on. <laughs> Done. I'm so nervous. I wonder if he won anything. And the championship winners are... 
have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Ballroom dancing is not a dance for one person. Ladies always stand on the right of the man. This tradition comes from long ago when men wore swords. Ballroom dancers sometimes put candle wax on the bottom of their shoes to stop them from slipping on the dance floor. Well, I think it's time we went home. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Let's play! Hey, Sid, did you have fun? Not only did I have fun, but I won a ballroom dancing competition! Wow! Well, it sounds like you've had more success than I have. Oh, still no luck jazzing up your outfit. No, and I've tried everything. And I mean everything. Hold on. Maybe this will help? Yes! Thanks, Sid. Now I'm ready. Now I feel all jazzed up. Just like I did when I was a ballroom dancer. Playing ballroom dancers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. Playing bakes is fun. I mix a ball like this. I pretend to climb a big mountain when I'm playing rock climbers. I like playing Roman Emperor and I wave like this. Christmas. I wish me a Merry Christmas. I wish me a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm so excited. Just one more day to go. Oh, I can't wait. I love Christmas. <laughs> yes, and today's the best day because it's Christmas Eve. Oh, my tummy is fluttering with excitement. <laughs> I love everything about Christmas. The tree, the decorations, the reindeer, the mince pies, the crackers, and of course, the present. Yes. <laughs> oh, hold on, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be me. Let not be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? is really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So, I've got on a snorkel, a mask, a posties uniform, and some chicken feet. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Let's try again. So what am I wearing this time? I've got on a funny little hat. Some pointy shoes. And I look very Christmassy, don't I? So what do you think I'm playing today? Yes, I'm going to be a Christmas elf and help Father Christmas. So what do we need to know? 
Christmas presents need to be wrapped and labelled to make sure they're given to the right person. You can hear reindeer before you can see them because their legs sometimes make a quiet clicking noise when they walk. Polaris, the North Star, is always in the same place in the night sky. So you will always know where North is. OK, so that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? An apple? I wonder what this could be for. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. Well, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Hey, Sid. Can you guess what we're playing today? Mm, you're all stripy in red and white. Are you going to be a candy cane for Christmas? <laughs> no, but I am going to be something Christmassy. I'm a Christmas elf. I'm going to be playing at Helping Father Christmas. Oh, you are so lucky. You're going to meet the actual Father Christmas. I wish I was, then I could tell him what I want for Christmas. What do you mean? He already knows. You did put your letter up the chimney, didn't you? Ah, uh, no. I forgot. <laughs> and it's too late. It's Christmas Eve. Maybe you should give that to me. I am a Christmas elf, after all. Maybe I can give this to Father Christmas for Sid. Well, I'll see you later, Sid. Have fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Come on, let's play Christmas elves. Where are we? Wow, this is amazing! It's a bit chilly, though. This must be the North Pole. Surely Father Christmas can't live in there. Afternoon. Here goes. Oh, someone's coming. Yes? Hello, um, I'm a Christmas elf. My name's Rebecca. Uh, Elf Rebecca. I'm here to help Father Christmas. Oh, well, why didn't you say so, Elf Rebecca? Come on in. It's all hands on deck at the moment. Let's play! Welcome to Christmas headquarters, Elf Rebecca. This is where Christmas is planned. Oh, this is so exciting! So, is this where all the presents are wrapped and sorted? That's right, and you've arrived just in time. We need all the help we can get, because this is the biggest Elf Day of the year! Let me show you. First, we have to select the presents. That's a nice bear. Oh, so you're wrapping them, right? Wrapping is what I do. And this is where we put a label on the present so Father Christmas knows who the present has to go to. And then the presents go in a pile for Father Christmas to deliver. I call it slap and stack. Oh, that looks like fun. Wrap, slap and stack. So what shall I do first? Follow me. Let's play. So this is where you're going to work, Elf Rebecca. It's going to be your job to get this pile of presents ready for Father Christmas to deliver. Really? All these presents? That's quite a lot. Yes, and there are lots of very good children all around the world, so we must get it right. We can't have any of the children getting the wrong present, can we? Being a Christmas elf is a very important job. That's right. And remember, Alf Rebecca, time is ticking. We have to get the presents all ready before the jingle bells go off. So, it's every elf for him or her self. See you later. Right, so, uh, yes. Right, so, what do I need to do? Wrap, slap and stack. Wrap, slap and stack. <sighs> OK. Hmm, look at all these toys. How do I know who should have what? What am I going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. Each present <coughs> needs to be wrapped and labelled so it can be sent to the right person. That's it. I need to find out what the children want, wrap the present, stick a label on it, and there we go. Aha! Look at this. Dear Father Christmas, I have been a good girl all year and would love a boomerang. Thank you, Emily from Sydney, Australia. I think we can get Emily what she wants, don't you? OK. Boomerang, boomerang, where are you? Aha! A boomerang. This is what Emily wanted. I just need to wrap it. <laughs> 
Slap it. And stack it. There, wrapped, slapped and stacked. That's Emily sorted. But look at all these presents and letters. I better get a move on if I'm gonna get this all done in time for Christmas. <laughs> Slapped and stacked. Very good, Alfred Becker. Very good indeed. You are a natural. Oh, thanks, Head Elf. But there isn't a moment to lose. It's time to get all of these presents loaded onto Father Christmas's sleigh. Oh, maybe this is where I get to meet Father Christmas. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's play. Oh, is he here yet? Is Father Christmas here? Oh, I can't wait to meet him. Not quite. Mm. Can you hear that? It's Father Christmas. He's coming. OK, Alves, he's on his way. Hat straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's Father Christmas. Well, I see you've all been very busy. Hello, boss. The presents are all ready for delivery, Father Christmas. Marvellous. Well done, Elves. <laughs> Let Christmas begin. <laughs> I'll set the Santa Nav for South Australia. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Christmas. Mm hmm? Isn't there something missing? Missing? Uh, your reindeer to pull your sleigh. They're not here. Oh, oh, oh. Well spotted, clever elf. What's your name? I'm Rebecca, Father Christmas. Elf Rebecca. You are a very helpful elf, Elf Rebecca. <laughs> So come along, elves. Where are my reindeer? I can't see the reindeer anywhere. And if we don't find them soon, Father Christmas is going to be late. Oh, dear. This could ruin Christmas! Let's play! We need to find the reindeer. But where could they be? <whistles> wow! Is this snowman trying to show us something? Oh, yes! Look! Hoof prints. Oh, yes, you're right. And they lead into the forest. Look. I think that's where the reindeer must be. Come on, let's follow them. Oh, the hoof prints have stopped. They must be in the forest. But it's so deep and dark, we'll get lost if we go in there. How are we going to find the reindeer? What are we going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. You can hear reindeer even if you can't see them because their legs make a quiet clicking noise when they walk. Let's listen to see if we can hear any clicking. Yes, they're definitely in there and they're not very far away. Great, but how do we get them out of the forest? We can call them. Um, OK. Rudolph! Here, Rudolph! Dasher! Dancer! Prancer! Vixen! Comet! Cupid! Donna! Blitzen! They're so near, I can hear them. But how can we get them out of the forest? Oh, I know what we can use, do you? Yes, I knew it would come in handy. Good thinking, Alfred Becker. Reindeers love apple. Now we wait. Come on, reindeer. Come and get your nice juicy apple. Reindeer's favourite. Oh, yes. They're definitely coming closer. Look, look! Let's play! Look, Father Christmas. Your reindeer, they're back. Head Elf is just bringing them. <laughs> well done, Elf Rebecca. I think you just saved Christmas. Go me! Reindeers are ready! I'm going to need a helper to help me deliver all the presents on time. Climb on board! Come on then, reindeer! <laughs> Hold on tight! There's no time to lose, no time at all! <laughs> Say goodbye! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Bye! Yes, the best job in the world. We 
mustn't stop until every last present's been delivered to every child around the world. <laughs> so where are we heading first, Father Christmas? First stop, Australia. Australia? <laughs> At the next star, turn left. Hold on tight. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Santa Nav is broken. It must have frozen in all this snow. Oh, no! We're lost. How are we going to deliver all the presents to all the children in the world with a broken Santa Nav? Oh, no! What are we going to do? We need to make sure every single child gets their present or Christmas will be ruined. And we can't let that happen. Wow, that's a very twinkly star. Oh, hold on, I remember, do you? That's it. Polaris, the North Star, is always in the same place in the night sky. So you always know which way is north. Fascinating, but how does that help us? Well, if that's north, then we need to go in the opposite direction to go south. South to Australia. Brilliant. Well done, Elf Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> OK, reindeer, here we go. Let's play. <laughs> We're here. You hold the reins, Elf Rebecca. <laughs> it's time to start delivering the presents. <laughs> Emily's first on my list. <laughs> oh, it's a boomerang, Father Christmas, so make sure it doesn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's our first present, but there's lots more to deliver. Let's play! <laughs> We're here in France. Look, the Eiffel Tower! <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Welcome to America, Elf Rebecca. Oh, look, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Here's one for you. Oh, look, it's Buckingham Palace. Let's play. Oh, dear. Just a few more places left, <laughs> including your house, of course. <laughs> yes, don't want to forget that one. <laughs> oh, Father Christmas. Yes, Elf Rebecca. My friend Sid forgot to give you this, so he doesn't think he's going to get a present this year. But he's been very good, though. <laughs> of course, your friend Sid must have a present for Christmas. <laughs> I always carry a few spares, just in case this sort of thing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play! Thank you, Elf Rebecca. I couldn't have done any of this without you. <laughs> oh, all that present delivery has tired me out. Then it's bedtime for you. I have a funny feeling you'll be getting up nice and early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't on Christmas Day? <laughs> Well, we did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Christmas presents need to be wrapped and labelled to make sure they're given to the right person. Reindeer's legs make a quiet clicking noise when they walk. And Polaris, the North Star, is always in the same place in the night sky, so you always know where North is. I think it's time we went home. Merry Christmas, Elf Rebecca. Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> Bye, Father Christmas. Let's play. Happy Christmas, Eve. Happy Christmas, Rebecca. 
So, how was Father Christmas? He was so much fun with his ho ho ho. <laughs> and he looked exactly like he does on the Christmas cards. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look. It's for me. Oh, great. But he hasn't got my letter, remember? So I don't suppose I'm going to have anything from Father Christmas. Not this year, anyway. Hold on, Sid. Here's one for you, too. For me? He remembered. But how did he know? With a little help from a Christmas elf. Oh, aren't elves clever? <laughs> <gasps> it's a sleigh, just like Father Christmas has. And I've got an elf's hat, just what I asked for. And it's a perfect fit. <laughs> Maybe you can help Father Christmas next year, Sid. Well, I've got the hat for it. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Christmas elves was great fun. What do you like to play? Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Let's play. I pretend to be really cold when I play snowman. <laughs> I like playing Christmas elves, and I keep pressing no one can hear me delivering the present. When I play Rudolph, I put on um, my red nose on like this. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure. Sid? Over here. Oh. That's it. Down here by the sofa. Great. Oh, what is it? Is it for me? Yes. Oh, I love presents. It's a cupboard. Oh. Hmm. Can't get very much in there. Oh. Only very thin things. It hasn't been built yet. We don't need a cupboard. Yes, we do. Look at all your stuff. It's a real mess around here. Now, let me see. Uh... This bit must go with this bit somewhere. <laughs> Hold on, Sid. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? Exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So, what am I wearing? A Viking's helmet, a nurse's uniform, and a pair of doggy slippers. <laughs> no, this definitely isn't right. Let's try again. Well, this time we've got on a hat, boots, an overall with a picture of a tap on it, and a tool bag. So what do you think we're playing today? Yes, of course, we're going to be plumbers. So what do we need to know? A plumber is someone who looks after all the pipes that bring water into people's houses. A plumber will find and repair leaks, mend radiators, and fix boilers. To stop the water flowing through the pipes into a house, a plumber will need to turn off the tap on the main water pipe. This tap is called the stop valve. An electric pump is often used to push water through the pipes to make it flow faster. And in a house, water is heated in the boiler when it is needed. OK, so that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? Hmm, 
Hmm, what's this? Looks like a funny shaped key. Well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Oh, I wonder what these bits are for. Hey, Sid. I'm going to be a plumber. Wow, fantastic. How have you got on with the cupboard? Yes, it is complete, and I've put all of your stuff in there as well. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> all you have to do is just open the door like this and ta-da. Oh, uh, it's broken. The handle's come off. And uh, Maybe you can try pulling on the side? Uh, you know, I'm trying that. Uh... Uh, sorry, Sid, I'm going to have to leave you to it. Oh. I'm off to be a plumber. All right, best of luck. See you later. Bye. Let's play! Come on, let's play plumbers. <laughs> so where are we? Huh. Lots of houses. A phone. Oh, it's in my pocket. Hello? Rebecca the plumber speaking. Oh, hello. You must be my new assistant. Assistant? Are you a plumber then? Aye, that I am. Oh, good. How can I help? Oh, well, it's a very busy time of year, you see, and there are leaks and bursts everywhere. But I can't go out or do them because I'm a broken leg. Oh, dear. A broken leg? That doesn't sound good. Yes. It's my table leg. It snapped when I sat on it. Now, I can't go out to do anything because I've got to stay here and repair it. But there's a man rung in about a leak in his pipe. Can you go on and fix it? With pleasure. I can do that for you, Mr... Bucket. You can rely on me, Mr Bucket. Great. It's number four, Harold Avenue. Will do, boss. Bye. Totty bye. Ah, right, now number four. Ah, there it is. My first plumbing job. Let's play! Hi. Hi, I'm Rebecca the plumber. Sorry. I said, I'm Rebecca the plumber. Maybe you should take your headphones off. Hold on. Let me take off my headphones. Hello. I'm Rebecca the plumber. Oh, right you. Come on, it's this way. I was just making a cup of tea. Do you want one? Oh, thank you. All right. There you go. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, cake. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh, so, was there something you wanted me to do? Oh, yeah. It's in the kitchen. Oh, right. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll have this fixed in no time. <laughs> Whoa! What's happening? Oh, everything's getting a bit wet. And my cake's getting damp. Never mind your cake. I need to get this leak fixed before it gets any worse. Oh, no. Excuse me. Do you know where the leak's coming from? Uh. No. Oh, no. We need to stop this water coming out. And fast. But how? Hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. To stop the flow of water coming into a house, you need to turn off the tap on the main water pipe. The stop valve. That's what we need to do. Excuse me, do you know where your stop valve is? Uh, no. It must be around here somewhere. Maybe it's under the sink. Ah, this must be it. That's it, it's stopped. Now we just need to find the broken pipe. Ah! Here's a pipe with a hole in it. I just need to repair it. But first, we need to do some mopping. All mopped up. Now, I just need to cut out this piece of pipe and put a new bit in. Won't be long. Great. Let's get to work. Let's play. Your pipe is mended. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. I can have a bath now. I haven't been able to have one for a month. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, thanks for the cake. Bye. Ta-da. I like being a plumber. Help! Oh, help! Hello? Oh, hello. Help! Uh, is there a problem? Uh, my shower. I was getting ready to go out. I have a date with Malcolm. Um, and then the shower's broken, and he'll be here very soon. Don't worry. I'll fix it for you. Oh, great. The shower's upstairs. Oh, I bought a lovely new shower gel and some shampoo. It smells of apples and... So, here's the shower. Let's see what the problem is. Oh, yes, that's the shower. Yes. Mm, it doesn't seem to be working. Well, I know that. 
That's why I've got out of the shower. That's why I have this robe on. That's why Leave I Leave it to me, madam. I'll just check the taps downstairs. Back in a mo. All right, well, hurry now, because I don't want to be late. Malcolm will be here very soon, and it's unlike me to be late, and I've got so much to do. I've got to blow dry my hair. I've got to do my nails. I bought a lovely pink for my nails. Oh, and I've got a new dress and some wonderful new shoes. And... Yes? So, there's no problem down there. The water seems to be flowing through the taps downstairs, but it doesn't seem to be flowing up here to the shower. <sighs> How can we make the water flow up here? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. An electric pump is often used to push water through the pipes to help it flow faster. We need an electric pump. And have you got one? I have. Leave it to me, madam. I'll fix this in no time. Let's play! All done. Oh, thank you. How can I ever repay you? I'll send a bill in the post. That should do it. <laughs> have a good time on your date. I will. It's great fun being a plumber. Oh, my phone. Hello? Ah, oh, hello. It's Mr Bucket. Oh, hello, Mr Bucket. How's the table? Have you fixed it yet? I think so. Now, I've got a job for you. Can you go around to 27 Flower Lane? There's a man there got a problem with his plumbing. Yeah, will do. See you later. Ah, she's a good plumber, that Rebecca. Now, where was I? <laughs> there goes another leg. Let's play! Nine across. Hello. Oh, welcome. Can I help you? The question is, can I help you? <laughs> I'm Rebecca, the plumber. Oh, yes, that is right. I have a blocked sink in my kitchen. OK, where is it? Through there. Right, OK, so it's just through here. So. <gasps> Whoa, what is that smell? What is the problem? What is that? That is my kitchen. It is where I cook my food. But what is that smell? Well, it's probably the blocked sink. I suppose you better go and sort it out. Me? You are the plumber. Yeah, I suppose I am. OK, here goes. Down the sink! It's blocked! <laughs> oh! <sighs> Welcome. So, what is the news? The news is someone's put food down your sink and it's all blocked up. Food, you say? Yeah, it looks like meat pie and potatoes. That is funny. I was going to have that for my lunch. I put it in the oven just before you came. Are you sure you put it in the oven? Quite sure. I was reading my book. Then I took the pie and the potatoes, and I went over to the... <gasps> Maybe I put them in the sink. I was too busy thinking about my puzzle. Yes? Come to think of it, I wonder what happened to the scrambled egg from last week. <gasps> and the fish pie from last August. Maybe I put them in the sink as well. But that would explain the horrible smell. Would it? Yes, it would. Your sink's got blocked up with old food, and it's become very stinky. Well, I suppose you'd better go on. Clear it all out. Me? Oh, yes. I know. I'm the plumber. But I've no idea how to clear out a block sink. What shall I do? I know. I'll call Mr Bucket. Ah. Hello. Hello, Mr Bucket. How do I clear a blocked sink? Oh, easy. With a plunger. What's that? It's a black suction cap on the end of a stick. Oh, I don't think I've got one of those. No worries. I can bring you one. Oh, what about your table? Ah, uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> I've fixed it. Great. So what is the news? The news is Mr Bucket's bringing round a plunger so I can unblock your sink. Ah, that is good. What was that noise? I do not know. Was it you? It wasn't me. Was it you? Oh, it was not me. There it is again. It's a noise. Came from over here. Hmm, I think it's this radiator. I think that. What are you doing? I'm putting on my scarf. It is very cold. Cold? Yeah, it is a bit chilly in here. This radiator isn't working. Neither is this one. 
I think your heating might be broken. Is it? We need to find out what's wrong. But where does hot water come from? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. In a house, water is heated in the boiler when it is needed. We need to find your boiler. Maybe it's broken. Ah, good. Back soon. Let's play! Well, this is the boiler, but there are no lights on it. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, hello. This is switched off. Ah, now it's on and it's heating the water. So, how are you getting on? I think I found the problem. The boiler was switched off. That is strange, because I came up here this morning and it was very dark. And funnily enough, I couldn't get the light switch to work. Uh, you couldn't get the light switch to work? That is right. I flicked the switch, but the light did not come on. Uh, did you press this switch? Yes, that is the switch I pressed. Uh, that's not the light switch. That's the switch to your boiler. You turned it off by mistake. Did I? Oh, dear. Well, don't worry. I've turned it on again now. You should have hot running water. I'll just check the radiators. <laughs> she stopped the boiler. <laughs> this radiator is working. All sorted. Thank you very much. I'll just check the other radiator. An experienced plumber always knows how to fix these things. This one is still cold. It's just a matter of knowing what to look for. <laughs> hey? Oh, you're right. There's that gurgling noise again. Ay, 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 ay. Are you all right? I've remembered. This happened before. What do you mean? The radiator went cold. The plumber came around and said it wasn't working because the air had got trapped in it and the hot water wasn't getting inside it. He fixed it by letting the air out with a little key. Great! Do you have the key? No. Oh. I know what we can use. Do you? That's what this is for. It's to release air from the radiator. Excuse me. It's working. Oh, that is good. The water's getting into this radiator as well now. <laughs> and listen, there isn't any gurgling anymore. No, you're right. It is just going bing bong instead. I think that might be a doorbell. Oh, yes. Coming. That might be Mr Bucket with the plunger. The time has come to unblock the sink. Hello, Rebecca. It's Bucket, Mr Bucket. I brought you that plunger. Oh, great! Lovely to meet you at last. And you too. Now, where's that block sink? It's in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going in. Rebecca. Yes? Oh, yes. We're right behind you. All the way. Well? It's done. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, but please, don't put any more fish pie, scrambled eggs or potatoes down that sink ever again. <laughs> no, I won't. You've done a grand job, Rebecca. All my customers have been calling in saying how happy they are. And I am a very happy customer too. Well, we did it. But we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. <laughs> to stop water flowing through pipes, a plumber will turn off the stop valve. An electric pump makes water flow faster through the pipes. And water is heated in the boiler when it is needed. I think it's time we went home. Here's your plunger, Mr Bucket. Thanks very much. No, you keep it. I've got plenty of those at home. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later. Bye, Rebecca. Hey, Sid. Being a plumber was great fun. I fixed leaks, mended radiators, and I unblocked a very smelly sink. Well done. I knew you'd be good. <laughs> so what have you been up to? Thinking about buying you a new clock. Why? Well, because your other one's stuck in there, along with a few other things that you might not be seeing again if I can't get this door open. Hold on. I might have just the thing. What's that? It's a plunger. Oh! It worked! That's brilliant! <laughs> Being a plumber was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's I like play. to play peace, officers, and I stop the traffic like this. 
I like playing beer with and they like banging this. Woof woof! This is the noise I make when I'm playing dogs. Play hockey is fun. I hit the ball like this. <laughs> Fancy a run? Mm -hmm. Or maybe a bicycle ride? Oh, cool. So that's a yes then, is it? Come on. Come on where? For a run, a cycle, anything. Let's get outside. I'm on a really good bit in the book. Oh, oh hold on, Rebecca. <laughs> it's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? There's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. I wonder what we're playing today. So, I'm wearing a tennis outfit, a rain hat, and skis. What am I going to be doing? Playing tennis in the snow while it's raining? I don't think so. Let's try something else. Right, so now I'm wearing a fleece, I've got a dog lead, and I'm wearing walking boots. So, what are we playing today? <laughs> I know, we're going to play dog walkers and walk some dogs. So, what do we need to know? Dog walkers are people who take dogs out for a walk if the dog's owners aren't able to. Dog walkers usually carry a bag containing dog toys and treats. Dogs have amazing hearing. They can hear things humans cannot hear. And if a dog gets hot, it sometimes starts panting to cool down. This is a sign that it needs a drink of water. So, that's what we need to remember. Is there anything else? Plastic bags. I'm dog walking, not shopping. Well, I'm sure they'll come in handy. We've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Rebecca, check me out. Can you guess what we're playing today? Are you going camping? No, I'll give you a clue. Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, you're a dog in shorts. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. What are you dressed as? <laughs> we're going to be dog walkers. Oh, great. <laughs> well, that sounds active. At least you'll be able to run around. Yeah. Roll over, boy. That's it. That's it. Roll over again. That's it. Up. See it? Good boy. Uh, Walkies, boy. Sid. Walkies. Good idea. See you later. See ya. Let's play! Come on, let's play dog walkers. <laughs> so, where are we? Hmm, this looks like a normal street. There must be some dogs around here that I can walk. But where are they? Can't hear any, can you? Morning. Morning.
morning, Posty. Oh, maybe the Posty knows. Oh, excuse me, uh, Posty. Hello. Uh, my name's Sid and I'm a dog walker. Now, I'm looking for some dogs that I can walk. You don't know any that live on this street, do you? <laughs> You've asked the right person. <laughs> so I know every dog in this road. <laughs> Follow me, and I'll introduce you to Brutus at number 13. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> that barking sounds like it's coming from a big dog. Brutus sounds a bit too big to be the first dog I walk. Uh, do you know of any smaller dogs that live nearby? <laughs> Come on, this way. Okay. <laughs> Lola is very sweet and a lot smaller than Brutus. <laughs> Lola does sound a lot smaller, but she sounds a little bit too yappy. Are there any other dogs that live nearby? I've got a feeling Mrs Mallet's dog, Bert, will be just right for you. <laughs> Aha! Bert sounds perfect. Not too big and not too yappy. Thanks. I'll see if Mrs Mallet wants me to take Bert for a walk today. You're welcome. See you later. Have fun. Thanks. Bye. Our dog walking adventures are about to begin. Shh, Bert, shh. Yes? Oh, hello, Mrs. Mullet. My name's Sid. I'm a dog walker. And I thought I'd ask you if you want me to walk Bert for you today. Oh, yes, please. Where would you like me to take him? Well, he has an appointment today at the dog groomers. He goes once a year whether he needs to or not. And today he needs to. It's his birthday, you see. And I have a very special surprise for him. Ooh. And maybe you can take him to the park for a little walk on the way to. Oh, hello, Bert. Yes, that would be fun. I'll look after him. Won't I, Bert? <coughs> oh, one other thing. Watch out for the squirrels. Bert loves squirrels. And when he sees them, vroom, he's off chasing them. Aren't you, Bert? <laughs> right, so watch out for the squirrels. OK, ready for walkies then, Bert? OK, Bert's ready. See you later then, Mrs Mallet. <gasps> Goodbye, Sid. Uh, goodbye, Bert. And watch out for those squirrels. <laughs> Let's play! Oh, it's great being a dog walker. Oh, what have you got there then, Bert? Oh, is that a tree, is it? <laughs> it's nice. Oh, oh, look at that, Bert. Can you see? It's a butterfly. What does a butterfly smell like, Bert? Perhaps buttery flies. Who knows? Ooh. What have you got now, then, Bert? Is that a perfumed pebble? You do love a good sniff, don't you? Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, ah, is that a fragrant flower? It smells like it from here. Oh, Bert. <laughs> yes, Bert, it's a bee. And look, we're here at the park. Let's play. Go on, Bert. Stretch your legs. I know you like the park. Bert, go on, have fun. What are you waiting for? Go on, run about. Bert, Mrs. Mullet wants you to have fun in the park. I'm a dog walker, and my dog doesn't want to go for a walk. What am I going to do? Hold on, I remember, do you? Dog walkers carry a bag full of toys and treats. Maybe there's a toy or treat in this bag that I can use to convince Bert to run around somehow. Ooh, this looks good. Oh, Bert likes that. Come on then, Bert, let's play fetch. Come on. <laughs> so, this is your favorite ball, is it, Bert? Well, then you'd better fetch. <laughs> That's got Bert moving. Oh. That's it, Bert. Bring the ball back. Come on, Bert. Being a dog walker is loads of fun. Nothing could be simpler. Come on then, Bert. Bring the ball back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Squirrel. And Bert loves chasing squirrels. Bert. Stay right where you are. It's just a little squirrel. Nothing to get excited about. Bert! Bert! The dog room is the other way. Bert! Bert! Oh, Bert! Bert, come back! Bert! Morning! Lovely day for a run. Come back, Bert! 
<laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> Shouldn't it be you taking the dog for a run? He seems to be taking me. <laughs> it's no good. I've lost him. <sighs> what am I going to tell Mrs. Mullet? She's going to be really upset. <sighs> this is a disaster. Oh, hello again. You haven't seen Bert by any chance? Chasing a squirrel? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he does love those squirrels. Oh, no. I'm a dog walker who's lost his dog. What am I going to tell Mrs Mullet? How am I going to get him back? Ah, oh, it's a shame you haven't got one of those <whistles> dog whistles. <laughs> That's given me an idea. Hold on. I remember. Do you? That's it. Dogs have amazing hearing. They can hear things us humans cannot hear. I just need to get Bert to hear me. Maybe there's something in this bag that can help. Oh. There's a whistle. I'll try that. It's not making any noise. Maybe it's broken. <laughs> that is a dog whistle. We can't hear it, but dogs can with their super hearing. You just need to blow it and the dog should come. <laughs> Best of luck. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it's no good. It's hopeless. I've lost him. Oh, there you are, Bert. Oh, what a lovely dog. Where have you been? I've been really worried about you. Yes, I know it's fun chasing squirrels. Right. No more chasing squirrels for you. <laughs> Let's go. Who won? Bert, by a nose. <laughs> He's always chasing squirrels, that bird. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, Bert, we've got to get you to the dog groomers, otherwise we're going to be really late. Bert, why are you sitting like that? Oh, oh, no, I think I better look the other way. <coughs> right, have you finished? <sighs> right, now I have to clear up after Bert to keep the park nice and clean. Oh, look, there's one of those dog bins that dog walkers put their doggies doing. Ah, only thing is, I've got to get that dog's business from down there to over there. Ooh. Oh, hold on. I know what I can use, do you? That's what this is for. This bag isn't for shopping. It's for cleaning up Bert's business. Wish me luck. Here goes. And I've got another bag, just in case we need it for on the way back. Right. Come on, Bert. We're going to be so late. Well, Bert, what a day it's been. Ball fetching, squirrel chasing, doggy doo doing. <laughs> oh, what's wrong now? Oh, Bert, you're hot. And your tongue's sticking out. Are you feeling OK? What's wrong with Bert? Why has he slowed down? And why is he panting like that? I've got to get him to speed up so we can get to the dog groomers on time. But how do I get him to speed up? Oh, hold on. I remember. Do you? When dogs get hot, they sometimes start panting to cool themselves down. This is a sign that they need a drink of water. Yes, Bert got hot and thirsty after chasing around after that squirrel. Maybe I've got some water in this bag. Oh, I've got a water bowl, but I haven't got any water. Maybe they've got some in that cafe. Come on, Bert. Let's go and ask them. Oh, hello, can I help you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. It's just for Bert. Could I possibly have some water? He's really thirsty. Yes, of course. Bert's a regular customer. He's always thirsty after chasing squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Bert. Thank you very much. He does like chasing those squirrels, doesn't he? Aye. You should see him when he spots a duck. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bert. Are you nearly finished? <laughs> Brilliant. There we are. Come on, then, Bert. We've got to dash. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. Let's play. Oh, 
We made it just in time, Bert. Here is the dog rumours. Ah, there you are, Bert. You've got it fine. <laughs> squirrels in the park again? Oh, yes. Squirrels and balls and drinks. Yes, quite a bit, but we're really glad to be here now. <gasps> well, come on in, Bert. We'll have you looking good in no time. Mm -hmm. Mrs Mullet said it's a very special day and she wants you looking your best. <laughs> See you in a bit then, Bert. Let's play! Wakey, wakey. Huh? Look, doesn't Bert look beautiful? Well, Bert, you do scrub up well. He looks amazing. <coughs> Thank you very much. See you. Goodbye. Well, we do look the party animal, Bert. <laughs> oh, um, we'll go this way, I think. It's a bit of a shorter route. Mrs Minot says she's got a special surprise for you when we get back. <laughs> Yes, that's right. So we better keep you nice and smart, OK? So behave, please. <laughs> what is it, Bert? You haven't seen that squirrel again, have you? <laughs> Yikes! A duck! Even worse. That's all we need, Bert. No, don't fall so hard, Bert. Bert! No, Bert! Yeah! <laughs> Bert, no, stop, Bert! Stop! It's so hard, Bert! Oh, Bert, Bert, wait, no, wait, Bert! Look out, watch out for the muddy puddle! No, Bert, wait, no! Let's play! Right, made it, home at last. Oh, and very, very messy. <gasps> Look at the state of you, Bert. What is Mrs M going to say? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Here it goes. Oh, could just tidy you up a little bit at least. Oh, Sid, Bert. Uh, yes. Um. All well. Um. Groomed. Hmm. So I see. He was clean and tidy, but then we got a little bit distracted on the way home. Oh well. At least you were clean, Bert. Oh, you're still my handsome fella. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sid. And happy birthday, Bert. I have a special birthday surprise for you. <laughs> Brutus and Lola have come to visit. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Happy birthday, Bert. Thanks, Mrs Mullet. And thank you, Sid. You can walk, Bert, any time you want to. Oh, thanks. Well, we did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Dog walkers usually carry a bag containing dog toys and treats. Dogs have amazing hearing compared to humans. And if a dog gets hot, it sometimes starts panting to cool down. This is a sign that it needs a drink of water. Would you like to come in and join us for the party? Oh, no, thank you, Mrs M. I think it's time we went home. Bye. Oh, goodbye. Rebecca, being a dog walker was great fun. I had to walk this dog called Bert. Oh, Bert loved chasing squirrels and playing fetch. I'm going to miss Bert. Oh, but I did get a leaf from his fur to remember him by. How's your book coming along? It's brilliant. I've nearly finished, but I really fancy going out and stretching my legs. Great idea. Come on, let's go. Uh, but if I close my book, I lose my place. Use the leaf. Oh, great idea. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> Playing dog walkers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play! Team Ferris is fun and I fly around like this. I like playing pandas and I like walking really slowly. I love playing surfers and surfing the waves like this. Today. Let's play. I love this book. 
two-thirds of the world. Hey? I can hear an owl. Sid! <laughs> ah, fooled you. It's a good trick, isn't it? Oh, it's very good. Yeah, I've got that trick that I like to do at parties and another trick. It's catching the invisible ball in a paper bag. Watch this. I'll just get the ball out of my pocket. Uh, up in the air and... Well, hey! Amazing! <laughs> OK, I've got a trick for you. How can you pick up this coffee mug without touching it? Oh, that's easy. Um... Hold on, Sid. It's time! Great! <laughs> it's time to play! Whose turn is it today? Let it be me! <laughs> Let it be me! 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 me. The dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So, what do you think we're playing today? So, I've got on a woolly hat, a scuba diving outfit, and a pair of elf shoes. This definitely isn't right. Let's try again. Okay. So this time we're wearing a red hat, a big bow tie, some funny trousers and shoes. So what do you think we're playing today? Yes, we're going to be clowns. So what do we need to know? A clown works in a circus and makes people laugh by doing tricks and being silly. Some clowns don't speak. Instead of talking, they act things out. Clowns often pretend to be clumsy and they make people laugh by putting one foot behind the other and pretending to trip up. And clowns will sometimes play silly tricks with custard pies to make the audience laugh. Good. So that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? Hmm. A spring. I wonder what that's for. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. OK, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. <laughs> hey, Sid, we're being clowns. Oh, yes. Brilliant spotty bow tie. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm off. I'll see you later. Oh, OK, by the time you get back, I'll have worked out how to move this mug without touching it. I hope so. See you later. Bye. Let's play. Come on, let's play clowns. <laughs> right, so where are we? That must be the big top where the circus happens. Right. And be quick, I've got shopping to do. I'm going. Hello, are you going to the circus? Yes, I have to buy the tickets, worse luck. Oh, don't you like the circus then? No, not this one. This one's rubbish. So why are you going? My nan's making me. Well, it might not be as bad as you think. I know. I'll tell you a clown joke. <coughs> I say, I say, I say. Why was the clown sad? Because he broke his funny bone. <laughs> To go? Yes, hurry up! Oh. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I should work on my joke telling. Let's play! Oh, wow! This is the biggest tent in the world! Another clown? 
Hello. Oh, you don't look very happy. What's your name? Mm. Why won't he talk to me? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? That's it. Some clowns don't speak. Instead of speaking, they act things out instead. He must be a non-talking clown. I just need him to act out what he wants to say. Right, here goes. Uh, so what's the matter, Mr Clown? Oh, bless you. Nasty cold you've got there. Oh, you have a cold. Oh, no thanks. Wow, amazing! Uh, um, where are you going? To bed? But where am I going? Oh no, I need to find someone who's in charge. Let's play! Maybe this chat can help. Hello. My name's Rebecca. Oh, you must be the replacement clown. Couldn't believe it when Wizzo got a cold. And today of all days. What's so special about today? Today is the day that the circus will close down unless we put on a fantastic show and get people to start coming back. Right. So, we're relying on you and Coco to put on an amazing, a brilliant, a spectacular show. We're relying on you two to save the circus. No pressure, then. So, what are you waiting for? You need to rehearse. Uh, oh, yes, of course. Uh, rehearse. Uh, right, let's save this circus. Let's play! I need to find Coco the Clown. Oh, this might be him. Uh, Coco? No, thanks. I just add one. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I meant, is your name Coco? Yes, I know. I just... Never mind. Who are you? I'm Rebecca. I'm here to help you with the show tonight. Great! Have you been a clown a long time? About ten minutes. Right. Then I need to teach you some tricks. I'm all ears and a funny nose. <laughs> First, I'm going to show you a balloon trick. Ta-da! Oh, wow! This is great! Can I try? Best of luck. Hey, where'd it go? I think you need some practice. But first, let me show you the hat trick. If I may borrow your hat. OK, you take the hat like this. Then you put it down on the floor like this. Then you step away from the hat. Now, you try and pick it up. This should be easy. Hey, what happened? It's attached to invisible wire. Well, I can't see anything. <laughs> right, that's kind of the point. Excuse me. This is exciting. I'm learning loads of great clown tricks. Oh, what do we do with that? So, I walk around and every time I turn around, you duck so it misses you. Oh! oh. <laughs> I think we better practice all of this. I think you're right. Let's play! the show. Oh, I'm so nervous. Where's Coco? Make way coming through. Ah, Rebecca, are you ready for the big performance? Um, I don't know. I'm a bit scared. Don't be scared. Be yourself. No, oh, don't be yourself. Be a clown. A good one. Because, remember, if the audience don't like the show, then no one will come to see it. Then the circus will close and we'll all be out of a job. Thanks. I don't feel nervous at all now. Oh, Mummy. Right. The show is about to begin. Hold on. Coco isn't here yet. 
Well, you'll have to do something on your own. But I can't. I don't know any tricks on my own. Well, you'll think of something. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our magnificent circus. Oh, oh God, at last. Come on, we're on. How do I look? Oh, great. Oh, where's your bow tie? Ah, my tie. I forgot to put it on. I'll go and get it. No, no, wait, go, go, come back. And now, it's time for our spectacular clown act. It's Coco and Rebecca. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go on by myself. <laughs> Wish me luck. Here they are. It's Coco and... It's Rebecca the Clown. Hi. <laughs> Um... I knew it was going to be rubbish. What are you waiting for? Come on, Rebecca. Do something funny. Come along now, Rebecca. You can do it. What trick can I do? I have nothing. Oh, hold on. I remember to you. Clowns often pretend to be clumsy and fall over. They make people laugh by putting one foot behind the other and pretend to trip up. That's what I could do. Right, here goes. <laughs> it worked. They liked it. <laughs> That's good, that is. I found it! Just in time. I've been keeping them happy, but now we need to put on a show. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the amazing Coco and Rebecca! Back on. One more time, then. Coco and Rebecca. I'll go out there and do something to make them laugh. Uh, you think of something and make it quick. We've done all our tricks, but the audience want more. What are we going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Clowns will often play silly tricks with custard pies. Let's do that. Routine. Yes, listen to them cheering. <laughs> I'm gonna get cleaned up. You are a brilliant clown, Rebecca. Oh, thanks, Coco. And so are you. Oh, it's great fun making people laugh. Rebecca, the audience loved your tricks. Ah, oh, this show will be the talk of the town. Maybe we won't have to close the circus after all. I'm glad I could help, but I think I better be going. Go? You can't go. Can't I? No, the show is only halfway through. You have to go on at the end for the finale. Finale? Yes, the show always ends on one big last trick. The audience are expecting it. You do have one last big fantastic trick, don't you? One big last fantastic trick? Uh, of course. You just give me a moment. I've just got to... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was great fun. Coco, Coco, 
We have to do another trick. What? We need to do one last fantastic trick. If we don't, the audience will be disappointed and then they won't tell their friends to come and then the circus will close down and everyone will lose their job and... Oh, panic! Oh, oh panic! panic. Oh, oh, panic. Oh, oh, I know. I'll tell a joke. Why did the clown cross the road? Rebecca, the audience are expecting a fantastic trick, not some rubbish joke you found in a cracker. Oh, you're right. We're doomed. Oh, we haven't got one last fantastic trick. Oh, it's all over. Oh, hold on. I know what we can use, do you? I knew this would come in handy. What are you going to do with that? Just you wait and see. Come on. Let's play. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our final performance. It's Coco and Rebecca. Please be silent for our last trick. I present to you the flying clown. Drum roll, please. This sounds good. You, we did it. They liked our final trick. <laughs> well done, Coco. Oh, I had so much fun clowning around with you. <laughs> so did I. <sighs> Give Wizzo my best. Hope he gets better soon. We will do, Rebecca. And thank you, yeah? Bye. Well, we did it. We helped to save the circus. But we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Instead of speaking, some clowns will act things out. They often make people laugh by pretending to trip up. And clowns will sometimes play silly tricks with custard pies to make the audience laugh. I guess it's time we went home. Ah, oh, Rebecca, the audience loved you. They loved the show. We're going to have a full house for a long time to come. I'm glad I could help, but I guess it's time for me to go. Bye. Goodbye, Rebecca. Let's play. Come on, up you come. Up you come. Come on, go up. Hey, Sid, what are you doing? I'm still trying to work out that trick that you said about lifting the coffee mug without touching it. How was it being a clown? It was amazing. We saved the circus. <laughs> now, let me show you how to pick up that mug without touching it. OK. All you need is a balloon and a balloon pump. Just blow it up like this. And you pump it up. Ta-da! <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> Playing clowns was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. I love playing firefighters. I use my hose like this to put out the fires. I love playing foxes and running really fast. Playing Vikings is fun and I get to blow in the horn like this. This is how I bounce the ball when I'm playing basketball. We're playing catch. Yes, we're trying to beat our record. 345. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, no! It's gone under the sofa. We're going to have to start again. Hold on, Rebecca. <laughs> it's time! Great! <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me! Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! Yes, yes, it's me! I'm really, 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 really happy! It's me! Look, 
there's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. I wonder what we're playing today. Right, so I've got on a clown's hat, a Roman uniform, and piggy slippers. This definitely can't be right. OK, so now I've got some painty dungarees on and some boots. So what are we playing today? Of course, we're playing painters and decorators. So what do we need to know? Painters and decorators make people's houses look nice by painting and wallpapering the walls and varnishing the floors. Before starting painting, a decorator covers everything with dust sheets so the paint doesn't drip where it isn't meant to go. And before painting a wall, decorators fill all the holes with filling plaster so that the surface is smooth. And they will also sand a wooden floor to make it smooth before painting it with varnish. So, that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? A brick. I wonder what we're going to need this for. I guess we'll soon find out. So we have got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Rebecca? Hey, Sid. Oh. Oh, you look great. Are you going to be an ice cream man? No, we're playing painters and decorators. Oh, brilliant. Have fun. <laughs> we'll do. What are you doing down there? I'm looking for our ball. It's gone under the sofa, but I can't quite reach it. Oh, well, I hope you do. I want to be our catching record when I get back. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Let's play! Come on, let's play painters and decorators. <laughs> right, where are we? Wow, now that is a huge house. I reckon we can do a lot of decorating in there. Shall we take a look? Come on then. Let's play. This is a huge place. I reckon my voice will echo in here. Hello. Hello. Echo. Echo. Sid. Sid. My name is my Sid. Name is Sid. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm Sid. Hmm, so I gathered. I'm Mrs Brown. Are you a painter and decorator too? No, I'm in charge of the whole team of decorators. Yes, we're fixing this place up for the owner, Lord Poshington. He's having a party here tonight and wants it to look absolutely perfect. I can help you with that. Hmm, thanks for the offer, but we already have enough people on this job. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, she's a busy lady. Oh, look at that vase. Very nice. Ah, oh, watch me. Whoa. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, dear. You come here this instant, Geoffrey. What's happened? No. Sounds serious. I'm not happy about this, Geoffrey. Good news. That was my son. He was supposed to be coming and helping today, but he's overslept. Oh, um... And now he's gone back to bed. Has he? Well, um... Unless... You're a painter and decorator. Maybe you could help. Well, I have to warn you, this is a very serious job. I promised Lord Washington this place would be finished in time for his party tonight. So no mucking around. Right! Well, walk this way. the storeroom. You can find everything you need in here. Wow! What's all this, then? Paint, brushes, wallpaper. You have painted and decorated before, haven't you? Oh, yes! Loads of times! I know what all this stuff is, you know, paper, broom... Brush. Uh, brushes, yes. Hmm. Now, I want you to wallpaper one wall, paint all the others, paint the door and vanish the floors. Quite a lot, then. And it all has to be done by 7 o'clock, <coughs> because that's when Lord Washington will be arriving. Hmm. I'll send someone to help. Oh, an assistant. Great. Mm, I'll catch you later. Right. We better get to work then. Let's play. Right. Where shall I begin? Whoa. I better make sure this paint doesn't drip everywhere. Um, how am I supposed to stop that from happening? Oh, hold on. I remember. Do you? 
Before starting to paint, a decorator will cover everything with dust sheets to make sure the paint doesn't drip where it isn't meant to go. I need some dust sheets. Let's play. Here we go. Whee! Ooh, better make sure I don't look over that vase. Woo! And way! Whoa! Oh dear! Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, hello. I'm Sid. Oh, hello. I'm Polly. I'm on work experience. Oh, good. Have you done any painting before? I did some nice flowers in nursery once. Hey? Yeah, they were put on the wall. Best painting of the week. Oh, no, not that sort of painting. I mean painting and decorating. Oh, no. But I'm a quick learner. Look, I can help. Oh. Whee! Oh, that, Whoa, that was close. We've got to be careful with this vase. It's very, very precious. I'm going to put it away, OK? Whoa! <laughs> oh, no! Um, it's a bit broken. See? <gasps> ah, Mrs Brown! Ah, Mrs Brown. Is everything OK? I thought I heard a smashing noise. Oh, yes, no, everything is OK, Mrs Brown. Um, just uh, moving things around. You know, oh, what a lovely blue coat. You weren't wearing that before. Uh, anyway, um, plenty to do. I must get on. Um, thanks for stopping by. Hmm. Right. Right. we better get this mended before Mrs Brown comes back. You pick up the pieces, I'll get the glue. Um, but it is very broken. I think that's a bit missing. Where is it? Ooh, maybe it's gone under here. Polly? Oh, sorry, please don't hurt me. It's <laughs> only me. Oh, you gave me a fright. <laughs> OK, pass me the pieces. I think I can put it back together. Hold on. Where did I put the glue? Maybe you dropped it when you saw me. Yeah, but where did I put it? <laughs> ah. What? I think I know where I put the glue. You dropped it on the chair? Yes, I know. Come on, help me pull it off. Okay. Ready? And pull! Oh! I let go of the chair by mistake. You don't say. You fell over? Yep, that's right, I did. Do you want to give me a hand? Oh. Thanks. OK, I think we should get finished, don't you? I think you're right. Let's play! Right, let's start with the wallpapering. Lord Poshington wants one wall papered, and it's that one. Um, I've never wallpapered before. Neither have I. Yeah, but how hard can it be? You just put some sticky stuff on the back and bung it up. I think there's a bit more to it than that. Come on, let's glue this wallpaper, and then we can put it up on that wall. There we are. Just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just roll that out and... Uh... Oh, I know. Oh, uh, oh, right. Uh, hold on, hold on. I've got this. Yep. That's. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, oh, no. The paper keeps rolling up. But I need the paper to stay open. Hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? That's what this is for. Of course. There we go. Perfect. OK, Polly, let's get to work. <laughs> Great. That's done. Right, all we need to do is stick it to the wall. OK, Polly, you guide me to the wall. OK, so that's it. Keep coming. This way. This way, that's it. Keep coming. A bit more. A bit more. A bit more. Right, here. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, it to me! Sorry, Polly. Um, uh, oh, we'll get this out of you. Oh, oh, get this off the... oh, 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 oh. This isn't going very well, is it? You can say that again. Right, come on. Let's start again. Right, let's play. There we are. Job done. Finished. I think it looks great. Right, we better do the other walls. We'll clean them first. Let's get the cloths. <laughs> Hold on. What? The storeroom. She'll be round here somewhere. Where's the door? Polly. Yes? You know when you were sticking the paper? Yes. Did you notice anything on the wall? Like what? Like a door. Yes, there was one just... here. You've covered it with paper, haven't you? Yes, sorry, Sid. Oh, we'll have to cut round it to get the door out. Sorry, Sid. Oh, never mind. 
We'll never get this job finished. Let's play. There, now we have a door and we can get into the storeroom. Right, let's carry on. Oh, I'll start by washing the walls first. And I'll do the door. Thanks. Oh, no. There's a hole in this wall. What am I going to do? Hold on. I remember. Do you? Before painting walls, decorators fill all the holes they find with filling plaster so that the surface is nice and smooth. I need to fill this hole with plaster before I paint it. Let's play! Done. Hole filled. Right, we need to get a move on. While the plaster's drying, we can varnish the floor. OK, I'll move the sheets. Happened. Pulled at the sheet and it rips. Oh, no. It got stuck on a splinter. We can't varnish the floor with lots of splinters in it. It's too rough. What are we going to do? Hold on. I remember the you. A decorator will sand a wooden floor to make it smooth before painting it with varnish. We need to sand the floor to make it smooth. Mrs Brown said that there's a sanding machine in the storeroom. <gasps> yes. Let's play. There we are. This should do the trick. One sanding machine. Whoa, fantastic. Oh, excuse me, please, Polly. That's it. Oh, it's making the floor nice and smooth. And it's a bit slow, though. Yes, you're right. It could do with going a bit faster. Hold on. There's a button here. Maybe that's the go faster button. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hello, Sid. Hello, Polly. It went a bit fast, didn't it? Yes, it did, didn't it? Oh, dear. Let's play! Look at that. The floor is completely sanded and smooth and ready to varnish. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's start varnishing it in the middle and work our way out. There you go. Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Nearly there. Let's see how we're doing. Look, Polly, we're nearly done. Hold on. What? If I step out here, I'll be standing on the wet varnish. Oh, same here. We can't do that. We'll stick to the floor. You know what this means, don't you? What? We're stuck here till it dries. Oh, no! Let's play! Oh, yes, again. Oh, it's dry. Polly. Polly! That floor drying took ages. Now we're really, really late. Sid! Mrs Brown! Ah, oh, Mrs Brown, lovely to see you. Ah, oh, Sid, I came to see how you were getting on. Are you finished? <laughs> I'm not actually finished. May I see? Um, yes, of course you can, but not right now, because I want to keep it as a uh, surprise. <laughs> surprise, eh? Yes. Well, as long as it's finished in the next few minutes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! Oh, good morning, sis. Oh, the floor's dry. Yes, hello, get up. Lord Washington is on his way! <laughs> <laughs> we need to get this job finished. Very, very quickly. OK, don't panic, don't panic. If we work very hard and very fast, we will get this job done. Right, you're on. OK, let's go. We did it just in time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hold on. That bit still needs painting. Allow me. This should do it. There. You can't beat stripey paint. Hello? Lord Washington, quick, put that in the storeroom. No, that. Oh, hello, young man. Who are you? Uh, I'm Sid. The decorator. Sid the decorator, eh? Is the room finished? It certainly is. This is very good. You have done very well. I helped too. My assistant, Polly. Oh, well done to you too, Polly. 
But wait a minute. What? Where's my vase? Oh, I broke it. Did you now? Yes. Well, that's very good to hear. <gasps> that nasty old lump of china. <gasps> I've been meaning to throw it away for ages. <laughs> Now I must go and greet my party guests. Well done to you, Sid. But well done to you, Dor Polly. You made a great team. Uh, yeah. Thanks very much. See you. <laughs> well, we did it. But we wouldn't have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. A decorator uses dust sheets to cover everything to make sure paint doesn't drip where it isn't meant to go. They fill holes with filling plaster to make things nice and smooth. And they also sand a wooden floor to make it ready for varnishing. Well, I think it's time we went home. Are you off, Sid? Oh, certainly am. Lord Poshington said he loved our work and thought we made a great team. You certainly did. <laughs> well, goodbye, Sid. Yeah, oh, just one more thing before I go. Can I take this pole with me? A souvenir to remember your adventure, I guess. Sort of. I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Polly. Bye, Sid. Let's play. Can't quite reach. Ugh. Hey, Rebecca, I have had so much fun. Oh, good. What have you been doing? Well, I've been trying to get this ball out, but I can't quite reach. Oh, maybe this can help. Try hooking it out with this. Got it. Here it is. Brilliant. Playing painters and decorators was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. Playing them is fun and I count my ideas. One, two, three, four. When I play superheroes, I pretend I have special powers. <laughs> Playing ours is fun and I would like this. Hoot, hoot. Again, Sid, I thought you were going to eat healthy food. Oh, yes. I forgot. Oh, well. I'll have the pizza then. What? Well, there's no point in it going to waste. Mm, I'll make a salad instead. <laughs> Hold on, Sid. It's time. Great! <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be me. Let it be me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? is really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So what am I wearing? A pair of skates, a ballroom dancer's outfit, and a parrot hat. I don't think this can be right, do you? <laughs> Let's try again. So what am I wearing? Well, I've got a shirt with a camera on it and a roll of film. So what are we playing today? Of course, we're going to be film directors. So what do we need to know? Film directors make films that people watch in cinemas. They decide what they look like and what the actors do. Film directors decide the best place to put the camera to record what happens. They must say the word... Action! 
at the beginning of filming, so the actors know when to start their performance and... Cut! ...when it's finished. And film directors... Take two! ...often record each part of the film more than once. Action! ...and then choose the best bits. Cut! And that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? Oh, a small red flag. I wonder what that's for. Well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. Well, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Hey, Sid, we're going to be film directors. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh, I'm making a salad. What are these? Oh, these are pickled gherkins. You can't have a salad without pickled gherkins. <laughs> I just can't open the jar. I wish I could help, Sid, but I've got to go. I'll see you later. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Let's play! Come on, let's play film directors. <laughs> so where are we? This looks like the place. A studio where they make films. Well, I've never been so insulted in my whole life. I wonder what that's all about. Come on, let's go in and find out. And don't think you can... Where's he gone? Who? Hector, the director of the film I'm making. A man walked past me outside. That's him. You're fired, you hear me? You'll never work in this town again. Who are you? I'm Rebecca. Nice to meet you. Uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm Basil Big Cheese. I run this studio. We make films. Great films. The best films you've ever seen. Are you making a film at the moment? Of course we are. And it's going to be great. Oh, what's it about? It's about true love. Picture the scene. She's all alone in the palace. Who is? The princess. All alone. Desperate for love. Yearning. Then he knocks on the door. The postman? The man of her dreams. From outer space. Is he tall, dark and handsome? No, he's an alien. With a big googly head. Oh. You see, that's the whole point of the story. It doesn't matter what you look like. It's only love that matters. It's gonna make loads of money. Or rather... It will, when I find myself a director. Ah! Ah, what? What about me? What? Do you know any directors? No, I could direct your film. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. OK, you're hired. Don't mess it up. Here. The Alien and the Princess. Catchy title. I'll be back later. See how you're getting on. Uh, but wait, what am I supposed to...? Oh, well, I guess I'd better find somewhere to start directing this film. Let's play! Hello! This must be where all the filming happens. And look, the Princess's Palace. Oh. oh this must be the camera. Is it on? I've always wanted to be in a film. I'm in a film. I'm a monkey in a film. Hello. I'm Keith, the cameraman. Yes, I was just uh, checking the camera was working. And yes, yes, it seems to be working just fine. Carry on. Right. So, what are you doing here? I'm uh, the new director of this film. Oh, good. We could do with a new director around here, someone who knows what they're doing. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's me, always in control and knows what they're... Oh. Um, <clears throat> suppose we better get started, then. Yes. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Directors decide the best place to put the camera to record what happens. That's what I need to do. So, Keith, could you move the camera just there and point it in the direction of the palace? Right. Camera here, pointing at that over there. Good. Right, now I just need to find myself some actors. Let's play! Hello? Come. Oh, hello. Are you an actor? I am indeed. Charmed. Right, let's get to work, shall we? Uh, do my face. Um, I don't know how. Well, you are here to do my makeup, aren't you? No. Nope. Oh, well, who are you then? I'm Rebecca. I'm the new film director. Director? 
Well, that is very good news. The last chap we had was absolute rubbish. I said to him, how do you want this alien to speak? Do you know what he said to me? What? He said to me, why don't you try acting? See what comes out. Me. You? Yes, me. Oh, well, I won't say that then. Good. So, uh, what kind of makeup are you having done? Well, they're making me look like a wrinkly alien. Not much makeup needed then. <laughs> oh, only joking. Just a silly little joke. I'm just going to, um, yeah, see you in the studio in a bit. Wrinkles? Me? Keith, uh, top of page seven, I'd like a wide shot of the palace door. Keith? Oh, where's he gone? Oh, well, I'll read the script while I'm waiting. Oh, the alien crashes on Earth in his spaceship and meets the princess in this palace. But wait, the princess has a wicked uncle who's locked her up. This is good. <laughs> oh, it's OK, it's only me. Good. You shocked me. Yes, it's this alien head. It's very itchy. Where's Keith? On a tea break, I think. Oh, of course. Well, we can rehearse without him. OK, uh, let's do the bit where you arrive at the palace and you're looking for the princess. OK, then, but this thing is very, very hard to see in. And it's terribly, terribly hot. Right, here goes. Fair princess, I have returned. OK, what happens now? Well, then the princess comes in. Oh, uh, oh come in. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. Late again. There's lots of people outside the studio, you know, autographs, selfies. I couldn't get through. Anyway, here I am. Who are you? I'm Rebecca. I'm the new film director. Oh, very good. Hello there. <gasps> um, can we get on, please? It's very, very hot in here. OK, the alien needs to come and stand right here and you should come to meet him just there. Perfect. <clears throat> Fair princess, I have returned. We must leave this place immediately, as your wicked uncle will wake up and lock you up again. Tell me, princess, will you come with me now? <gasps> yes. OK, is, is that it? Yes, that's it. Oh, OK, uh, good. Well, we better film it then. Ready? Places, please, everyone. And I'm recording. Good. Oh, my first bit of filming. Off you go, then. Why aren't they acting? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? <laughs> Directors must say the word action at the beginning of filming so the actors know when to start their performance and the word cut when it's finished. Action! Fair princess, I have returned. We must leave this place immediately, or your wicked uncle will wake up and lock you up again. <gasps> we must go. Phew, my first time directing, and it almost went wrong. It's quite good, this. Tell me, Princess, will you come with me now? <gasps> yes. Now you say cut. Oh, yes, of course. And cut. Well done, everyone. <sighs> oh, must be time for another tea break. Uh, yes, of course. Tea break, everyone. Let's play. <gasps> I quite like filming. Rebecca, the actors have learned their lines. Coming. More filming. Exciting. This is so tight. OK, oh. let's do the last scene. Right here. So the uncle has just woken up and you both need to rush away before he catches you. OK. And action. Come, princess. We must flee right now. Ouch! Oh, oh, my toe! My toe! Carry on, carry on. Oh, 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 this way, my darling alien. We have to, uh, uh we must, uh, what's my line? Run away. What? Run away. We must run away. This way. Oh, oh, this costume is really, really itchy and very, very hot. Oh, uh, uh Whose phone is that? Not mine. Cut, cut, cut. This is awful. It's all going wrong. I couldn't see where I was going. I couldn't remember my line. Can someone answer that phone? It's coming from your direction. Oh. <clears throat> Hello? <coughs> Mr Big Cheese? You're right outside? <coughs> it's Mr Big Cheese. He mustn't see this. <coughs> yes. Uh, just coming, Mr Big Knees. <coughs> Big Cheese. Uh, OK, bye. <laughs> 
Mr. Big Cheese, how nice to see you. Hey, how you doing, kid? How's my film coming along? Yeah, uh, yeah pretty well. Um, we're just doing some of that filming stuff. <laughs> OK, great. Let me see. Uh, not quite at the moment. Don't want to interrupt the actors in their very good work, which is going so well. Maybe I'll come back a little later. I'll finish off filming while you go and plan at the party to celebrate the success of the film. The success of the film. I like that idea. OK, keep going, kid. What are we going to do? It's all going wrong. This film isn't going to be very good at all. Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Take two. Film directors often record each part of the film Action. more than once and then choose the best bits. Cut. That's what I need to do. Come on. OK, everyone, we're going to need to film that last scene again. So, Princess, do you know your lines? Uh, I think so. And, Mr Alien, if you could move this way, then you won't bump into each other. Great idea. OK, and everyone's phone switched off. Hold on. Yep. OK, great. Here we go. Ready and action. Come, Princess. We must leave right now. Oh, oh, oh. This way, my darling alien. We must run away. And cut. Excellent. Good work, everyone. Phew. We better crack on and film the rest. Let's play. I love you, Princess. And cut. Excellent. Are we finished yet? I need to take this itchy head off. Yes, all done. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> Mr Big Cheese is going to be so pleased. Lots of very good filming. So when are we going to film the big ending? You know, when the alien and the princess fly off. Eh? This bit. The alien and the princess fly away to a distant planet. What? I missed that bit. We need to do some more filming, and fast. All right, well, shall I go and get the... Uh, you get the actors, and I'll meet you outside. Right, OK. To your coffee? Uh, no time for that. Let's play! Right, where are the actors? This thing is so heavy. This way. They're coming. I need to make sure this goes absolutely right. We're here. Uh, oh, what are those things on your back? Jetpacks, and they're really heavy. We've got to turn these things on and then press the button, and it makes us fly into the air. It's going to ruin my hair. Uh, OK, OK, shall we, uh, shall we do it then? So if you want to head over there and start your jetpacks, and I'll start filming. And when I say action, you press the red buttons and fly away! What, now? No, 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 not yet. Uh, the cameraman's not here yet. Hello. Right, everyone's here. Ready? Yep. OK. Actors, start your jetpacks. They're very noisy. What did you say? I said they're very noisy. Can't hear you over the jetpacks. They're very noisy. OK. And action! I, I said action! Action! I said action, but you didn't hear me. Oh, did you? Well, that's not going to work, cos if we can't hear you saying action, then we won't know when to press the red button. And we won't fly into the air. Yes, I know. What are we going to do? If the actors can't hear what I'm saying, how will they know when to press their buttons? Oh, hold on. I know what we can use, do you? I knew this would come in handy. So, instead of saying action, I'm going to wave this flag instead. And when you see it, you press your buttons and then you fly off. Excellent idea. Oh, she's very good, isn't she? Oh, yes. Much better than that last director. He wasn't very good at all. No, he wasn't. He was... Could we get on now, please? Mr Big Cheese is coming soon. OK. And I need to make sure this film is finished before he arrives. OK. Yes, yes. OK. Start filming. Start your jetpacks. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 they're going. Oh, they're flying. Oh, we're filming! Oh, well done, everyone! <sighs> no problem. Looks like it's going to be a good film after all. I'm off for a cup of tea. Nice working with you. Thanks, Keith. Bye. Well, we did it, but we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Film directors decide the best place to put the camera to record what happens. They say... Action! ..to start filming, and then they say... And cut! ..to stop filming. And they often record each part of the film more than once. Take two, action! I think it's time we went home. Rebecca, 
That was out of this world. Did you see it, Mr. Big Cheese? Did I see it? I certainly did. This film is gonna be a huge success. Oh, I'm so pleased. Where did the actors end up? In a field. The cow was quite surprised. I switched off their backpacks. They're taking off their costumes right now. Oh, well, I've got to go, Mr. Big Cheese. Just one more thing. What's that, kid? Could I have that spanner, please? This is the least I could do. There you go. Thanks, kid. Oh, See you later. Thanks, Mr. Big Cheese. Goodbye. Let's play. Hey, Sid. Hey, Rebecca. Oh, it was so much fun being a film director. There was an alien and a princess, and I filmed them flying away. Hey, that sounds really good. It was. You're not eating your salad? No, I don't fancy it without the gherkins. I still can't quite get this jar open. Mm, I think I can help with that. You can use this. Brilliant. <sighs> yes, it worked. Brilliant. Playing film directors was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. We like to play hockey players and score a goal like this. This is the noise I like to make when I'm playing cats. <coughs> when I play all God, I'm much like this. found some of my old toys. Look, I found my favourite old truck. Oh, that's lovely. And it's still in perfect condition, not a scratch on it. Can I have a look, please? Yeah, sure. Just be careful, please, Rebecca. Of course. Hopes. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry, Sid. Oh, no. It's scratched. Look. I'm sorry, Sid. Oh, it's OK. It was only an accident. I'm sure I could fill it in with some colouring pen or something. Oh, no filling in just yet, Rebecca. It's time. Great. It's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be 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 me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me! Could it be me? Could it be me? There's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So what do you think we're playing today? So, what am I wearing? I've got an elf's hat, a pirate's outfit, and a pair of flippers. This can't be right. Let's try again. So what am I wearing now? I've got on a red hat, red trousers, and a smock covered in paint. So what do you think we're playing today? Yes, we're going to be artists and paint pictures. So what do we need to know? An artist is someone who makes art for people to look at. Art can be pictures or sculptures, and it can be any shape or size. Artists buy specialist art equipment from art shops. Paintings of places are called landscapes. A landscape is an outdoor scene. And paintings don't have to be of a person, object or landscape. They can be a mixture of shapes and colours. This is called abstract art. 
OK, so that's what we need to remember. And do we need anything else? Cop sweets? I wonder what I'm going to need these for. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll come in handy. OK, we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Any luck mending your track, Sid? Oh, no, not yet, but I hope I find the right blue soon. Oh, I'm sure you will. And I'll help you later. But first, can you guess what we're playing today? Yes, you're going to be window cleaners. What? No! We're going to play at being artists. Fantastic. So what are you going to paint? Who knows? But I can't wait. <laughs> See you later. All right, have a good time. Bye. Let's play! Come on, let's play artists. Oh, wow, where am I? Look at all these amazing paintings. I must be in an art gallery. <gasps> oh, no, this is terrible. A complete disaster. Oh, dear. Someone doesn't sound very happy. We'd better find out what the matter is. I'm ruined. My reputation is in tatters. Hello. Is everything OK? No, everything is not OK. I, in fact, everything is completely un-OK, OK? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Or maybe I can help. I'm Rebecca. Who are you? This is who I am. Julian Biscuit? Biscuit. It is pronounced the Bisqueen. This is the Bisqueen Art Gallery. I am Julian Bisqueen. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Mr Bisqueen. Um, is there a problem? Yes, there is a problem. This is supposed to be the centrepiece of my amazing art gallery. But what do you see? Uh, a white cat in a snowstorm? <laughs> no! You see nothing, because there is nothing there. What should be there is the best painting in the whole exhibition. The painting that everyone has come to see. Oh, so where, where is it? It's nowhere. How could I forget? I sent out the invites. I ordered the nibbles. So busy, busy, busy. And yet so stupid to forget to ask someone to paint it. <sighs> Wait. Are you an artist? Uh, yes. A good... No, wait. A great artist? Uh, yes? Well, then you have just saved my bacon. You can paint it. Me? Yes, I want you to paint me the best painting I've ever seen before the grand opening. Oh, OK. Uh, when is the grand opening? Tonight, 6 p.m. Get painting. Goodbye. But... Oh, well, I am an artist. An artist paint pictures. But how can I paint a picture when I don't have any paint? I need to get some paint. But where from? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Artist by specialist art equipment from art shops. Hmm, I wonder where the nearest art shop is. I better ask Mr. Biscuit. I mean, Biscuit. Let's play! <laughs> yes, I look forward to seeing you too, Boris. That's right. 6 pm. Marvelous. Goodbye. <laughs> That was Boris Blueberger, the world-famous art critic. He's coming to the grand opening tonight. How's the painting coming along? Uh, yeah, fine. Uh, I just need to get a few bits, you know, paint, paintbrushes, that kind of thing. Oh, yes, well, there's only one place to go for that. You'll be off to Peter Pastel's Paint Emporium. Oh, yes, Peter Pastel's Paint Emporium. And that is... Yes, a first right, second left, a third right, fourth left. You can't miss it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go, go, and don't come back until you've painted the best painting that Boris Blueberger has ever seen. Yes, no, I mean, of course. Boris will love it. I just need to paint it first. Let's play! Hello, I'm Rebecca. Hello, and welcome to Peter Pastel's Paint Emporium, with compliments. For me? A free tester pot for every customer. That's what I call the perfect shade of blue. In fact, I call it Perfect Blue. Oh, thank you. I'm an artist, and I've been asked to paint a painting for Mr Bisquee's grand opening. Ah, I'll sort you out. What is it you need? Everything, really. OK, so we have uh, some paint, some paint brushes, paintbrush cleaner, they're all in there, and here's an easel and a canvas. There. Oh. Good luck. Oh, don't forget the key. The key? The key to my attic studio. I'll not be using it today. It's all 
yours. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Up the spiral staircase to the top floor. Good luck, Rebecca. Let's play. Phew. Oh, this is great. A real artist studio. Right, I've got everything I need to paint the perfect painting. Hmm, but what should I paint? What can I paint? I've no idea. Perhaps I could ask Peter Pastel for some ideas. Ah, finished already? That was quick. Oh, no, I haven't even started yet. I wondered if you could give me an idea of what to paint. How about a still life? After all those stairs, a still life would be great. But I have a painting to do. Here. Well, there's no time for a healthy snack, Peter. <laughs> no, 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 no. A still life is a painting of an object that doesn't move. Oh, I see. You mean I could do a painting of this fruit bowl? Bingo! <gasps> oh, well, that's a great idea, Peter. Thank you. Let's play! Peter's idea to paint a still life painting was a really good one. Perfect. Now I'm ready to start painting. Fly. Oh! oh no! What a mess! My picture's ruined! Oh, I can see you. Oh no! My still life isn't still anymore, it's rolled away! Rebecca! Oh, this really isn't going very well. Are you alright? Everything okay, Rebecca? There seem to be apples and pears rolling down the stairs. <laughs> yes, it's my still life. It rolled away and now I've got nothing to paint. Ooh. Well, why don't you paint a portrait instead? What's a portrait? A portrait is a painting of a person. Oh, I see. But who can I paint? Well, I've always wanted to be an artist model. You could paint me. Oh, great. OK, well, take a seat. <sighs> Please keep still, Peter. It's hard to paint you when you're moving. I'm sorry, but buzzy flies drive me crazy. Oh, please keep still, Peter. I will, just as soon as I've caught this buzzy fly. <gasps> My portrait! Huh, an interesting first effort. Oh, no. What are we going to do? I promised Mr Bisqui I'd have a really good painting for his grand opening tonight. Don't panic. You can start again as soon as I've chased away this fly. Start again on what? My still life has rolled away, my portrait is a mess, and I need a picture for Mr Bisquee's grand opening. Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. Paintings of places are called landscapes. A landscape is an outdoor scene. Artists don't have to paint things inside a studio. I can go outside instead. I am going to paint a landscape. You'll need to go to Wheaty Fields. Wheaty Fields? It's beautiful. My artist friend, Vincent Van Koff, paints wonderful landscapes there. You'll probably see him. He'll give you some tips. Say hello from me. I will do, Peter, and thanks again for all your help. My pleasure, Rebecca. Best of luck. Let's play! This really is beautiful. Peter was right. I should be able to paint a lovely landscape painting up here. <laughs> oh, this must be Peter's <laughs> artist friend now. Hello, you must be Vincent Van... <laughs> Koff? Nice to meet you. Who you might? <laughs> you be. I'm Rebecca. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you have a really nasty cough, don't you? Can't seem to shake it off. <laughs> well, the thing is, Peter said you might be able to help me. OK. <laughs> well, listen, the first thing you need to... <laughs> oh, dear. This is hopeless. If only there was some way I could help Vincent stop coughing so he could help me paint a landscape. Hold on. I know what we can use, do you? The cough sweets. I knew these would come in handy. Here you go, Vincent. Have you tried one of these? <laughs> I don't mind if I do. Well? Goodness me. It worked. Thank you, Rebecca. Now, how may I help you? Well, I need to paint a marvellous picture by six o'clock. But, look, I haven't made a very good start. When you make a mistake... You just paint over it. 
<laughs> wow, that's great! Now I can start again. Splendid view, isn't it? Now the first and most important thing for you to know is paint what you see and you'll soon have a landscape painting that everyone will admire. Thanks, Vincent. Well, I better start again then. Let's play! So what do you think? Superb. That is a splendid painting, Rebecca. It deserves pride of place in any art gallery. Really? Well, I'm quite proud of it, actually. Thank you for all your help, Vincent. <laughs> and thank you for the uh, coffee. <laughs> Sweet snow, <slow>, dear. <laughs> oh, look. Here. Have the packet. Oh, excellent. Oh, so soothing. Good luck with the grand opening. I hope you make it back before the rain. I must get my painting out of the rain. <laughs> Goodbye, Vincent Van. No cough. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Rebecca. Bye. Let's play! Ah, there you are. Oh, you're all wet. It's raining outside. Is it? I hadn't noticed. I've been far too busy getting ready. The grand opening is upon us. Where's my painting? You have done my painting, haven't you? Yes, of course. I'm very pleased. Oh. <laughs> Look. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, no! The rain has made the colours run. My landscape painting is ruined. This is the painting. For the grand opening, the centerpiece of my exhibition that world-famous art critics, including Boris Blueberger, will come to see. This won't do. This is nothing. I have to cancel the exhibition. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Oh, no. Hold on. I remember to you. That's it. A painting doesn't have to be of a person, object or landscape. It can be a mixture of shapes and colours. This is a fine example of... <gasps> abstract art. art! This is genius! Really? Abstract art is extremely fashionable at the moment. This will be the perfect centrepiece for my exhibition. Well done, Rebecca! Thank you! Oh, perfect. My guests are arriving for the grand opening. I'd better go and see to them. <laughs> well, that worked out really well. Oh. You must be Julian's new star artist. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Boris Blueberger, world-famous art critic, which means I get to tell everyone whether an artist is good or bad. Oh, uh, uh, pleased to meet you, uh, Mr Cheese uh, uh, Blueberger. I'm Rebecca. Delighted to meet you. Tell me, is this your work? Uh, yes. Unbelievable. Is that a good thing? Stunning. Amazing. Fantastic! Mind-blowing! This is the finest example of abstract art I have ever seen! Thank you! No, no, no. Thank you, my dear. This exhibition is a triumph. A wonderful success. I never expected anything less for a minute, of course. Do congratulate Julian for me. Toodaloo! G goodbye! Oh, wow! Well, we did it. But we'd never have done such a good job without remembering everything we needed to know. Artists buy specialist art equipment from art shops. Paintings of places are called landscapes. And paintings don't have to be of a person, object or landscape. They can be abstract art. I think it's time we went home. Well done, Rebecca. You saved the day. Boris Blueberger adored your painting. My exhibition is a huge success. Thank you. It was my pleasure, Mr. Bisquee. Huh. <laughs> well, I best be off. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Let's play. Hey, Sid. I had the artiest adventure with Mr. Biscuit and Mr. Blueburger. Biscuit and cheeseburger? No, Mr. Biscuit and Blueburger. They said I painted the best picture ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Enough about me. How did you get on covering up the scratch in your toy truck? Not very well, I'm afraid. I tried all my blue pens, my blue fell tips, my blue crayons, but none of them matched the blue of my truck. It really is the most perfect blue. It is, isn't it? Al almost as perfect as this. What's this? Perfect blue? It really is perfect blue. Look, it matches the blue of my truck. Thanks, Rebecca. You really are the greatest artist in the world. <laughs> You're welcome. Playing artists was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. Playing 
sea captains is fun, I steer my ship like this. I pretend to be really cold when I play snowman. <laughs> Playing octopus is fun, I get to wave my tentacles like this. <laughs> I pretend to climb a big mountain when I'm playing rock climbers. I like to play fire games and I move my legs like this. Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Let's have an adventure! Yes? You remember I asked you to get some milk from the shops? Yes. <gasps> oh, sorry, I forgot. Yes, you did, Sid. You're always forgetting things, but me, I always remember everything because I've got a very clever trick. You have? What's that? Any time I need to remember something, I write it down in my diary. Mm. That way, I never forget a thing. Oh, yes. It's Sally's birthday today. Yes, Sid. You see, when I write it... What? Mm. Sally's birthday? I wrote it in my diary, but I forgot to remember to look. Right, I need to find a card. Oh, hold on, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. 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 Let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. Could it be me? Oh, oh. Let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Let it be 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 me. There's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. I wonder what we're playing today. Right, so I've got on a clown's hat, a Roman uniform, and piggy slippers. This definitely can't be right. So, I've got on a uniform this time, and here is a picture of a shopping bag. So what are we playing today? I know we're playing supermarket workers. So, what do we need to know? A supermarket worker helps customers in the store. They stack shelves, work on the till, and sometimes deliver food to people's houses. In some supermarkets, to release a trolley, you need to put a coin into a slot, and then you can take it away. If the supermarket shelves are empty, they can be filled up again by collecting goods from a building at the back of the shop, called a warehouse. A supermarket worker can find out the price of an item by using the striped barcode on the label. When it is scanned by a computer at the till, it shows how much something costs. Sounds good. So that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Whoa. A screwdriver. So what do we need that for? Well, I guess we'll find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. I'm sure I had one somewhere. Look, Rebecca, I'm going to be a supermarket worker. Oh, wow. I love shopping. It'd be great to work in a supermarket. Wish me luck. Good luck, Sid. Thanks. Oh, did you find a card for your friend? No. I've got an idea. Why don't you make one? Great idea. See you soon. See you later. Let's play. 
Come on, let's play supermarket workers. So, where are we? Ah, look, a supermarket. This must be the right place. Oh, hello. Are you going shopping? I'm not sure. Uh, I think I must be. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> have a good shop. Uh, come on, we've got work to do. Let's play. Wow, look at all this food. <gasps> oh, turnips. Hello, madam. How would you like to buy some of my lovely fresh turnips? Aren't they beautiful? Give me a pound of your money, I'll give you a pound of my turnips. You can't say fair in that. I am the master of turnips. <gasps> Hello. May I help you? Uh, no, I was just, uh, you know... If you'd like to buy that turnip, the tools are just over there. Uh, no, I, I'm not actually a customer. I'm here to work today. Oh, I see. Well, we don't sell our turnips by waving them in the air and yelling, get in our turnips there. <laughs> no, of course you don't. <laughs> Silly me. Well, if you're here to work, I have a few jobs for you to do. I am the manager of this store. Oh, hello, the manager. You can call me Mrs Clark. Pleased to meet you, Mrs Clark. Right, well, first you can start by sorting out these tins and making a nice display. Excuse me. <coughs> hello? <coughs> hello, Clark? <coughs> oh, yes. Of course, of course, of course, yeah, well, goodbye. That was a very important call. The owner of this store, Mrs Pumphrey, will be visiting today. So it is very important that everything looks absolutely perfect. I see up. Why are you standing there? Because this is where I stopped when I walked in. Get to work. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be back to check. I've got to make sure this whole store is ship shape. Maureen, more biscuits in all five. How many times? Chop, chop! Right, we better get to work. Let's play! Beautiful, looking good. Oh, it's the customer I bumped into earlier. Hello, can I help you, madam? Hey, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I came in for something, but I, I don't know what it was. Oh, uh, have you got a list? No, it's, it's all in my head. Oh. Somewhere. Uh, I just can't find it. Oh. There it is. Uh, can you get me some bananas, please? Some bananas, no problem. Anything else? Um, oh, a prune yoghurt. Prune yoghurt, right. Chocolate sprinkles. Right, so you need some bananas, a prune yoghurt and some chocolate sprinkles. Leave it to me, madam. Oh, now what else do I need? Uh... Bananas, uh, prune yoghurt and chocolate sprinkles. Wow, this is a big supermarket. So many things to buy. <laughs> Right, bananas and... Oh, you've got a lot of shopping. Uh, yes, I remembered quite a bit. Would you straighten my glasses? Oh, of course. There we are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> OK, so bananas... Uh, uh, there, and uh, this yoghurt can go there, and... Is that the chocolate sprinkles? Oh, yep. Uh, and they can go... There. Oh, great. <laughs> right, now, what else do I need? Oh, uh, um, oh. uh, excuse me. Uh, you might find it easy if you get yourself a trolley. Oh, good idea. Yeah, they're just over there. Uh, uh, OK. Oh, uh, oh, 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 I think I'd better help her in case she drops everything. Uh, oh. <laughs> Too late. Oh, dear. Oh, let me help. Oh, oh. I think I walked into the wall. Oh, there you are. I'll give you a hand. We'll put everything into the trolley. Oh, no, the trolley's stuck. Stand back. I'm going to pull the trolley out. Oh, dear. Oh, oh let me help you. Thank you. We both seem to be spending a lot of time on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, my display. It's a bit messy. Oh, yeah, let me help. Oh, no, no, don't worry. That's my job. Come on, let's sort your shopping out first. Uh, OK. <laughs> so why is the shopping trolley stuck? Oh, it's attached to a chain. <coughs> Hold on, I remember, do you? In some supermarkets, to release the trolley, you need to put a coin into the slot and then you can take it away. <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> there we are. One trolley. Now we can put the shopping in. Thank you. <laughs> Let's play. Thank you, Sid. 
Right, no problem. See ya. Bye. <laughs> right, I better get this lot tidied up before Mrs. Clark. Gets... <laughs> Mrs. Clark! What has been happening here? Oh, nothing. I was just. Look at these tins. <laughs> I told you to make a display, not hurl them all over the <sighs> store. Yes, well, I was just about Please, to. Please, get... just get a move on. Of course. Absolutely. Right, I better get this lot sorted. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. Hello. Oh, I've got a cold. I'm looking for some uh, uh, flower and chow. Uh, flowers in R5, sir. Would you like me to show you? Uh, uh, yes, please. <laughs> and chow. Oh, bless you. Yeah, it's this way. <laughs> There you are, sir. Flower. There's none here. Oh, no. We've run out. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Uh, bye. What a shame. Still, you can't magic flower out of thin air, can you? <laughs> Hold on. I remember, do you? If the supermarket shelves are empty, they can be filled by collecting goods from a building at the back of the shop called a warehouse. Uh, excuse me, Mr Man with the cold. Hello? Uh, yes? yes? I can get you some flour from the warehouse. Wait there a moment. What's a clever chap? <gasps> Choo! Let's play! Now, where is the flour? Flour, flour, flour. Oh, there it is. Right. Oh, it's a bit high. Um... Ooh. Hold on. Oh. Oh. oh, no. It's just too high. Aha. Right. Now, if I could just get to the top of this and then reach up. Got it. <laughs> Oh, no. Let's play! One bag of flour. Thank you. No problem. Well, bye. And ciao! Bless you. Uh, oh, no. Look at me. I'm covered in flour. I'm covered in flour. There's flour Shade. all over Shade. me. I'm covered what in flour. What are you doing? I was just... Yes, and why is this box here? And why are you covered in flour? Good questions, all of them. Um, I was helping the customer and... Uh, I'll clean it up right away. Leave it with me. Yes, please. Oops. Let's play! There we are, all clean. I'll just put this lot in the bin. I'll keep one piece, though. Right. Oh, Mrs Clark, I was just doing it. Uh, well, that can wait for a moment. I needed to go on the tills. The tills? Great! I've always wanted to do that. Putting the items through, checking the prices, putting them things in the bag. It isn't a game, Sid. No, of course not. Where do I go? Over there. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is till number seven. Till number seven is now open. Come one, come all. Till number seven is open. Thank you. Hello, madam. Oh, sorry. Hello. Oh, you've got a lot of shopping. Yes. I couldn't remember what I needed, so I decided to buy pretty much everything. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, raisins. So how much do these cost? Raisins! How can I tell how much it costs? There isn't a label on it. Just these stripes. Hold on, I remember, do you? When a supermarket worker wants to find out the price of an item, he uses the stripey barcode label. When it is scanned by a computer, it tells him how much something costs. Yes, raisins, three pounds. I can put through all your shopping now. Lovely. Let's play. Bye-bye, sir. Hope the dog likes his biscuits. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, hello, Mrs Clark. Um, I wasn't resting. I was just... He went to the... I have a very important job for you to do. We've had this order for a shopping delivery. Can you do that? <laughs> Can I do it, Mrs Clark? What do you think? I don't know. Can you? Uh, I think so. Yeah, leave it with me. Good. 
Maureen, how many times? Aubergines I'll eight. Right, so we've got party blowers, plastic toys and cake. Sounds like someone's having a party. I'll get this stuff together and get off and deliver it. Let's play! This looks like the place. And yes, it sounds like there's a party going on. Hello. Oh, are you from the supermarket? Please say you are. Stephen, put that jelly down. Yes, I've got some toys and I've got some balloons and I've got all the... Thank goodness. They're for the party bags. And the cake? Where's the cake? Have you brought the cake? Oh, yes, I've got a nice big... Oh, thank goodness. Uh, bring it. Please bring it. Oh, OK, I'll go and put it for you now. Thank goodness. Uh, as soon as possible. Help, Mummy, I'm not here. Robert, get down from that! <coughs> oh, no. One of my wheels has fallen off. What am I going to do? Hold on. I know what we can use, do you? We can use this. Brilliant. Fixed. Oh, my shopping. You don't know how happy this makes me. The children will love it. And then their mummies and daddies can come and take them home. <laughs> oh, good. No problem, madam. Let's play. Right. I need to finish this display. <laughs> There. Done. My, my. That is excellent. Well done, Sidney. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Is that who I think it is? I don't know. Who do you think it is? Is that Mrs Pumphrey? Yes. She's been checking everything. And who do we have here? We have me. I'm Sid. And this. Who did this? Uh, that was me. Very good. Very good indeed. Sidney is one of our best workers. Best workers, is he? <laughs> well, you know what we give our best workers, don't you? No. We give them a star. Star Worker of the Month. I think he deserves that, don't you, Mrs Clark? If you think so, absolutely. There you go. Well done. Wow, I've enjoyed being a supermarket worker, but we'd never have done such a good job without remembering everything we needed to know. In some supermarkets, you need to push a coin into a slot to release a shopping trolley. Supermarket shelves can be filled up by collecting goods from a warehouse, and a supermarket worker can find out the price of an item by using the striped barcode on the label. Well, I think it's time we went home. Thanks for a lovely day, Mrs. Clark. No, thank you, Sidney. Bye. Bye. Let's play. Happy birthday, love, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Oh, hey, Sid. <laughs> How was it? Being a supermarket worker was great fun. I made this amazing stack of tins. Oh, wow. And look, I've been busy too. I've made a card for Sally. You managed to make one. Yes, I found some brown lining paper in one of the drawers and made it out of that. Look. Oh. Hmm, I don't think that's going to stand up. I think you're right, Sid. What am I going to do? Don't worry. I brought you this card and something to stick on it. Oh, you're amazing, Sid. Thank you so much. Being a supermarket worker was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. I like to play police officers and stop the traffic like this. <gasps> this is the noise when I make when I play dinosaurs. I like to play Royal Guards and march like this. Moon, that's the noise that I make when I'm playing cows. Adventure today. Let's play. Now, 
Nothing. Huh? Nothing to eat for lunch. Not even a lump of cheese? Not even a soggy cucumber. So what are we going to do? Um, one of us is going to have to go shopping. Oh, yes, of course. Right, let's write a shopping oh, list. OK, cheese. Cheese, mmm. Mm. <gasps> Cucumber. Ooh, mm, tomatoes. Oh, yes. Mm. Lettuce. Oh, delish. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, say it's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. <laughs> Let it be me. 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 Let, 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 let it be me. Let it be me. Let it be me. I really, 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 really hope that it's me. Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me. There's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So, what are we playing today? Right, so I'm wearing a pointy hat, ski wear and flip-flops. This can't be right. Whoa, now this is more like it. I've got on a helmet, I have a shield, and some lovely warm boots. So, what are we playing today? Of course, we're going to play Vikings from the olden days. So, what do we need to know? Vikings lived over 1,000 years ago. They came from an area called Scandinavia, which includes the countries we call Denmark, Norway and Sweden. And Vikings travelled and settled all over Europe. Vikings showed off their strength by lifting heavy stones. Viking longships had sails, and when there wasn't any wind, they used oars. And Viking sailors knew land was nearby when they saw birds in the sky. OK, so that's what we need to remember. But do we need anything else? <laughs> A horn? What are we going to need this for? Well, I guess we'll find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Rebecca, guess what I'm playing today? A furry knight carrying a dustbin lid. No, look at the shield. Look at me. But I give in. Rebecca, I'm going to be a Viking, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the helmet. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, look, Sid, the shopping list won't write itself. No, it won't. So I'm going to go and play Vikings. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs> let's play! Come on, let's play Vikings. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! <laughs> so, where are we? Oh! Oh, oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Except for this one. Oh, it's really cold. Never hug oh. you coming. Never hug you coming. Run. Run. Um, well, that would be a bit silly. Can't you see who I am? A fairy knight carrying a dustbin lid. No, I'm a Viking. <laughs> see? <laughs> Run away. The Viking to you. The Viking to him. No, 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 I'm not a scary Viking, I'm really friendly. <sighs> so where are these Vikings, then? Oh, did you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from the foggy sea. Hello? Hello? I'm a Viking. I'm kind of hoping you're Vikings, too. Sounds like it's getting further away. I need a loud foghorn, too. Oh. Hold on. I know what we can use, do you? We can use this. Here goes. <laughs> it's working. They're making a noise right back. Uh-oh. 
dragon! I was looking for other Vikings, not dragons! It's not this way, it's that way. We lost, aren't we? They don't sound like scary dragons to me. Come on, let's go and find out who they are. Let's play! <laughs> Who's that a honking? It's me, Sid the Viking. Grrr. Sid the Viking? What kind of a nickname is that? What do you mean? Well, you need a proper nickname if you're going to be a Viking. Something like, um, Olaf the Invincible or La Senidi. Oh, right. What's your nickname, then? I am Bjorn the Almost Ready, son of Bjorn the Never Ready. So, you see, we're getting readier. <laughs> right, well, I'll think of a, a good name, um, but in the meantime, can I join you on your Viking ship, please? No! We just don't invite any old Viking onto our longships, you know. You need to show me what a great Viking you are. And seems you haven't, I'm off. Oh, oh no. I need to show Bjorn what a great Viking I am, so I can join his Viking crew. Uh, oh! Hold on, I remember to you. Yes, that's it. Vikings showed their strength by lifting heavy stones. Hey, Bjorn, come back. I've got something to show you. Can you do this? Oh, not with my back. <laughs> but I know someone who can lift way bigger stones than that. Some say he is the son of Thor. But I say he is Sven the Weedy. Wow, what a hairdo. Oh, hello. <coughs> I will accept your challenge, stranger. Tell me, if you're so strong, why do they call you Sven the Weedy? Well, when I was younger, I was very weedy. But then I joined Viking Gym and I never looked back. But the VD name, it's sort of stuck. Oh, I see you've started without me. I'm pretty sure I can match that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 hmm. Okay. Let's see if you can lift one up as big as this. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Right. This calls for the big one. Watch and learn. Ow! That's got to hurt. Don't try this at home. That's it. I've had enough of being a tough, super strong Viking. My rock lifting days are over. Oh! Oh, oh. Bye, Sven. I beat him. Maybe I'm strong enough to be a Viking after all. Oh, looks like I'm going to need a new champion. Yep. You're a pretty good stone lifter, aren't you? Maybe you'll make a fine Viking after all. You can come on board, Sid the Strong. Did you hear that? Sid the Strong. I like the sound of that. Let's play. So, welcome aboard my longship, Sid the Strong. <laughs> well, it's great to be on board the longship, <laughs> Bjorn. So, uh, what, what exactly is a longship? Well, it's a long wooden ship that we Vikings used to sail across the seas and along rivers in. All oh, right. So, why the dragon at the front? Why, when people see that dragon, they run away screaming. <laughs> it's used for scaring people. <laughs> Don't tell Bjorn, but I was pretty scared. Pah! That dragon didn't scare me, for I am a Viking. <laughs> Good to have you on board with us, Sid Destroy. So, um, where are we actually heading, Bjorn? Well, we've uh, been trading food and clothing in a little place called England. And now we're heading home across the Great Sea to Scandinavia, where I'll be reunited with my beautiful wife, Helga de Shouty, and our new baby. Here's a picture of them. Aren't they lovely? Uh, look! He's got your eyes! <laughs> so, um, how long will it take to get to Scandinavia? You'll have to ask Hagar, the half asleep. He's the navigator. He's at the front of the ship. Right, let's go and find out. <coughs> Hager! Hello, Hager! Mm -hmm. oh, uh, what? 
What is it? Uh, oh, hello. Um, I'm Sid the Strong, and I just wondered how long this journey is going to take. Well, uh, we've been travelling for about uh, a week now, so with the wind in the right direction, about uh, a day. Oh, perfect. Give me a hand on rolling the sail, will you, Sid the Strong? OK, come in. Let's play. Wow, what a whopper of a sail. Yes, it's so we can catch the wind to sail across the sea. Next stop, home. So, what do you do to pass time on these ships, then, uh, Bjorn? Play cards? I spy? Well, it is a great Viking tradition for us to sing while we are sailing. Oh, a Viking life is a life for me. A Viking life upon the sea. With the wind in my sail, I feel so free. We'll get home in time for the tea. Wow, Bjorn, that was pretty cool. You got something going on there. <laughs> oh, look, the fog has lifted. Oh, great bushy beard, so it has. But it doesn't seem like we've gone anywhere. No. <gasps> oh, no. The wind has stopped blowing the sail. That's why we are not moving. Oh, well, that's no good, is it? Oh, no. How are we going to get home to Scandinavia, back to my beautiful wife, Helga, and our baby boy? Oh, no. Surely there's a way to get across the ocean, even if there is no wind, to blow the sail. Hold on. I remember, do you? Yes, that's it. Viking longships used sails, but when there wasn't any wind, they used oars to get them across the sea. Oars! We need to use the oars. Why didn't I think of that? Oars! Yes, why didn't you think of that? Uh -huh. Here you go, Sidney Strong. You should get us home in no time. Why me? Thunderous lightning, because you are Sid the Strong. Oh, yes. Right. Let's play. Let me sing you a little song to get you in the mood. Oh, great. Oh, a rowing we must go to get a ship to shore. We've been afloat for a week and a day, and it's really quite a bore. Uh, you? Hmm? We're going round in circles, and we need to go forward. Oh, yeah. Well spotted. How did they ever get to England in the first place? I reckon we need to use our oars at the same time. I think you're right, Shid the Strong. Good. That means I won't be the only person doing all the work around here. Ready? Ready. Oh, <gasps> rowing we must go to get our ship to shore. We've been away for a week and a day and I can't take much more. Let's play. I don't feel like Sid the Strong anymore. More like Sid the Shattered. I'm going to go and see Hagar, find out how much longer this is going to take. Hagar! Oh. Oh. Hagar! Oh. Are we nearly there yet? That's why I'm supposed to be asking you. He really is Hagar the half asleep. Will I ever see my Helga the shouty again? Not to mention my baby boy. Oh. What's your boy's name? We haven't decided yet. We shall name him properly when I get back. If I ever get back. Oh, I'm really hungry. Have you got anything to eat? Funny you should ask. We Vikings transport all kinds of things on our voyages, like um, turnips, wheat, barley, carrots, cabbage and peas. Oh, yes, please, bring it on. Sorry, we ate it all on our way here. You mean you have no food? Oh, no, sorry, I do have some bread. Ah. Huh. That is our famous Viking bread. It's made from flour, peas, and tree bark. Huh? A tough bread yeah. for a tough Viking should be strong. That really is tough and strong. Oh, hello, birdie. Want some bread? No? Uh, can't say I blame you. <laughs> so, how am I going to get Bjorn home to his wife Helga and his baby boy? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Yes, that's it. Viking sailors knew they were near to land when they saw birds flying in the sky. Bjorn, we need to follow that seagull. We're getting near to land. 
draws, draws. You're right, Shinja Strong. Let's start rowing. Oh, a rowing we must go to get our ship to shore. We've been afloat for a week and a day and our hands are getting sore. Oh, look! Over there! Yes! Oh, we did it! I'm home! Let's play! Thanks for getting Bjorn back to me, City Strong. It was my pleasure, Helga. It's so good to be back home here with my family. And I've got something very important to tell you, Sid the Strong. Oh? What's that? As a thank you, we decided to name our son Sid. Oh, after me. Oh, thanks. Yes. Meet Sid the Squidgy. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And as a thank you, I'd like to give you this gift. Oh, no, really, there's no need. I insist. <laughs> Bjorn said you loved it. And this loaf is extra tough for an extra tough just like you, Sidney Strong. Oh, well, thanks. Well, we did it. But we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Vikings showed off their strength by lifting heavy stones. Viking longships had sails, but when there wasn't any wind, they used oars. And Viking sailors knew land was nearby when they saw birds in the sky. Well, it's time I went home. Bye. Farewell, Shinja Strong. Let's play. Oh, Sid. <gasps> oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, me too. How was your Viking adventure? It was brilliant. I got to sail on a Viking longship across the great ocean. They called me Sid the Strong. They even named a Viking baby after me. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> but now it's time for our sandwich. Yes! <gasps> oh, no. What's the most essential part of any sandwich? Bread. Bread. I've forgotten to get bread. How am I going to make a sandwich now? That's OK. We can use the Viking bread that I brought back. <sighs> amazing. Mm, what's Viking bread like? Um, it's got a taste of its own. Playing Vikings was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. When I play just as I pull silly places lightly. Mm. I like playing ring rough and saying this. Round up, round up. Moon, that's the noise that I make when I'm playing cows. I love to play queens and I wave like fists. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's have an adventure. Hooray! Rebecca's trying to get me to do some exercises. Come on, Sid. Let's work those muscles. Oh, no. I've ripped my trousers. <gasps> oh, no. That's a shame. That means we're going to have to stop exercising. No, don't worry. I can repair them. You carry on. Do a few more squats. I think I might try a few eye exercises first. Ah, <sighs> that's better. Right, I'll just get these sewn up. Oh, hold on, Rebecca. <laughs> It's time! Great! <laughs> it's time to play! Whose turn is it today? Oh, let it be me! <laughs> let it be me! 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 Let it be me! Let it be me! Let it be me! Let it be me! Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me! Could it be me? 
Could it be me? It's me! There's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So, what are we playing today? Whoa! So I'm wearing a Roman's helmet, painter and decorator overalls, and flippers on my feet. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> this isn't right. So this time I'm wearing a uniform and I have an apron with some scissors on. So what are we playing today? Of course, we're going to be hairdressers. So what do we need to know? Hairdressers cut and style people's hair. They work in shops called salons or go out and visit customers in their own homes. When they wash people's hair, hairdressers often use a specially shaped sink so the customers can lie back comfortably. When they cut hair, Hairdressers put a gown on their customers to stop their clothes getting messy. And when they have finished a haircut, the hairdresser will often show the customers what they have done using a hand mirror so they can see the back of their head. So that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Whoa! <laughs> a handy grabber! I wonder what we're going to need this for. I guess we'll find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Look, Rebecca, I'm going to be a hairdresser. Oh, great. Have you stopped exercising? Yes, I tried to fix my trousers. But look, I didn't do a very good job. I'm going to have to try again. Good luck. See you soon. See you later. Let's play. Come on, let's play hairdressers. Right, so where are we? Oh, look, a hairdresser's. This is the place. Hello? Anyone here? Oh. Hello? <gasps> oh, sorry, I didn't mean you to scare you. You want your haircut? Oh, no. Please, this yeah. way. Oh, no. Now I want a cut for you. Uh, uh, shop back inside? Oh, no, what I was trying to oh, say is you... Oh, please, I must do something. Your hair, it needs so much work. <laughs> OK, we start with a little cutting and see where we get. No, you don't understand. I'm a hairdresser. Are you? Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh. I thought you were a customer. Oh, thank goodness you are here. We have a lot of customers wanting the hair doing today. Oh, great, I'm Sid. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sid. I am Madame Fufu. Now let me show you around. Here is where we make the teas and coffees. And there we have the magazines and the lovely biscuits. Because we must keep the customers happy, Sydney. Very happy. <laughs> no problem. And we have a very important customer coming in today. The mayor. You must do a very lovely job for the mayor. But now I must go and have a little rest. Oh, wait. I'm not doing all the customers on my own, am I? Oh, yes, my darling. I am very, very tired. <laughs> right. So that must mean I'm in charge then. And here's my first customer. Come in. No, it must be the blue with the sequins. May I help you? Question is, may I help you, madam? What? Look, I'm going to have to call you back. I have a man here. What seems to be the problem? Uh, no problem. Are you the mayor? It's an honour to meet you, Your Highness. No, I'm not the mayor. And who are you? I'm Sid. I'm doing the hair today. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. I need to look very nice today, as I'm going to a special party. Ah, not a problem, madam. What would you like done? I want it washed, I want it dried, and I want an updo. You want an updo? I do. You do do updos, don't you? Do we? I guess we do. I suppose she wanted to put her hair up. I can do that, I think. <whistles> this way, madam. Let's play! I just need to wash your hair first. If you could lean over here. Here? I think so. Won't be long. Ah! 
Oh, it's gone down the back of my neck. I'm soaked. Oh, no. This is all going horribly wrong. Why is she getting wet? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? When washing hair, hairdressers use a specially shaped sink so their customers can lie back comfortably. I'm awfully sorry, madam. I should be washing your hair in a specially shaped hairdresser sink instead. Please, it's this way. Let's play! Just this way. This is where we wash your hair. Sit down, please. Thank you. There we are. And uh, lay back here. Lovely. There we are. Ah, that's better. Oh, another customer. Excuse me, madam. But uh, my hair! Hello. <laughs> How may I help you? I just need a little trim. No problem. You're not the mayor, are you? The mayor? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I just need a haircut. I'm going to a very special party and I need to look really good. Everyone's going to a party today. Walk this way, sir. Here goes. So, are you watching the game this weekend, sir? Uh, uh, yes. Ah, uh, Joe! Oh. Bless you. <laughs> hey, man, the hair's falling in my face. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, there we go. Uh, what are you doing, man? I'm cutting your hair. Don't you like it? It's going all over my clothes. Oh, dear, <laughs> sorry. Um, well, maybe if you tilt your head to the side. Uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, yes, OK. Uh, oh, no. What am I going to do? Um, uh, oh, I remember, do you? Hairdressers put a gown on their customers to stop their clothes from getting messy. I need to find a gown. Great idea, man. Ah, there we are. Now your clothes won't get messy. Where were we? Sid! <gasps> oh, the woman. I forgot about her. Um, right, excuse me. I'll be back in a moment. No problem, man. Hello, madam. Where have you been? Oh, sorry for the wait. I just need to dry your hair. Hold on tight. you done? Don't do it like that. That's how I dry my hair. Use a dryer. Oh, yes. Good idea. This is fun. Will this take long? Pardon? I said, will this take long? Oh, no time at all, madam. Oh, except there's another customer. Won't be a moment. But wait! My hair! Can I help? Hello, I'd like to get my hair done, please. Uh, yeah, I can do your hair for you, but I'm going to have to be quick. The mayor is due any moment. <clears throat> I am the mayor? You are. Of course you are. Your Majesty, I am honoured. I'm here to get my hair done, please, as I'm going to a party. Another person going to a party? I was getting myself ready and decided to put a bit of colour in my hair, but it went a teensy, weensy bit wrong. I see. Promise you won't laugh. I promise. We could take care of that for you, Your Worship. No problem. This way, please. I just need to wash your hair first. Sid? Oh. Except I've got another customer. Oh, you... I, I'm actually... Yeah, I... magazine. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry about the wait. Right. I need to do the back of your hair. And I'll use the clippers for that. If you could just lean forward. Tickles. Oh, sorry about that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be too long, sir. <laughs> Sid, where are you? Oh, back in a moment. <laughs> sorry, madam. Very busy. I can finish you now. I just need to uh, put your hair up a bit. Sid! Oh, the mayor. Hello, madam. Oh, mayor. Uh, purple hair. Uh, right. Mr. Wash. Sid! Uh, oh, oh, uh. Wait! Oh, I have a lovely rest. Sid, what is going on? Yeah, lots of people, no time. Uh, relax, Sydney. A good dresser is always very calm. Now breathe. OK, there are lots of customers and I, I can't do it because... You OK, go... no problem. I will see to it. You deal with the gentleman and I will deal with the mayor and the other lady. It will all be perfect. OK, thank you. Thank you, Madam Frivro. Thank you. Calm. <sighs> Um. <sighs> Hello, sir. I can finish your hair now. Great. But well, please be quick. The party starts soon. I can do quick. <laughs> the 
There. Done. I'll just turn you to the mirror, sir. Wow. I look great. <laughs> uh, can you show me the back? Of course. But now I can't see the mirror. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but now I can't see the back. <laughs> oh, right. I'll tell you what. I'll turn you slowly while you try to take a look. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Oh, no, man. Too far. OK, um, I know. I'll turn you quickly while you have a glimpse. Hold on tight. Ready? Go! Oh, that didn't work either. Oh, no. This isn't working. What am I going to do? How am I going to show the customer what I have done? Hold on. I remember. Do you? When they finished a haircut, hairdressers often show the customer what they have done by using a hand mirror so they can see the back of their head. I need a hand mirror. There you are. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're done. Let's play. See you next time, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> One happy customer. Sydney. Oh, well done. <laughs> I have also seen to the mare, and the air now looks fabulous. Ah, is it still purple? No, it is lovely, big and brown. Ah, great. We are doing well. <laughs> How do I look? You look magnificent. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, don't forget your scarf. Oh, a champion in that, dear boy. I want to show off my hair, not hide it. You have it. Oh, that's very kind of you. Enjoy yourself at the party. I will. <laughs> Toodle pip. <laughs> Two happy customers. Ah, oh, Sid. Madam, you look fabulous. Yes, Madam Fru Fru finished me off, and now I'm ready for the party. Thank you for all you did. Oh, it was nothing. Yes, I know, but you tried your best. Bye. Great. Now I better say goodbye to Madame Fru Fru. Okay, my darling. I will say my best hairdresser. Best hairdresser? <laughs> Is that me? Okay, bye bye, darling. Oh, Sid. Yeah. Uh, that was Mrs. Prendergast, one of my oldest customers. She wants her hair doing at home. Oh, don't worry, you can leave it to me. I'll be on my way. Is the hairdressing equipment? <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Let's play! Oh, hello. Mrs Prendergast, I'm Sid. I've come to do your hair. Oh, how lovely. Uh, I've been expecting you. Come on in. Thank you. Right, I'm ready. Uh, shampoo and set, please. No problem. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, that? Uh, it's just a little cake I made. It's my 90th birthday today. 90? Well, happy birthday, Mrs P. Are you having a party? Uh, oh, no, just a quiet one. I don't think anyone knows it's my birthday. Oh, that's a shame. I'll have to make sure she feels really special. Will you just sit back and relax, Mrs P? This won't take long. Let's play! Almost finished. Just one last curler to put in. <gasps> Whoops! Where did it go? Over there, I think. Oh, I hope it hasn't landed in your cake. Oh, no. There it is. It's wedged behind the sideboard. I can't quite reach it. Oh, no. How am I going to grab the curler? Hold on. I know what we can use. Do you? We can use this. Right. If I can just reach down, then maybe I can... Ah! Yes! Got it. Oh, you are clever, Sid. Thanks, Mrs P. Now I can finish her hair. Oh, it looks lovely, Sid. Have a lovely day, Mrs Prendergast. Oh, I will. I'll have a little bit of cake with a nice cup of tea. Well, you have a great birthday. Oh, uh, don't get up. Bye. Let's play. What a nice lady. It's a shame no one's doing anything for her birthday, though. Oh, hello. Who's this? Oh, Sid, isn't it? What are you doing here? I've just been doing a lady's haircut. I thought you were going to a party. I am. A surprise party. Here. For Mrs Prendergast. Ah, oh, she thought everyone had forgotten her birthday. Forget her 90th birthday? No fear. She's my mum and I'm throwing her a surprise party. Your mum? She will be pleased. Surprise? What's this? Happy birthday, mummy. You didn't think I'd forgotten, did you? For me? How lovely. So, Mrs Prendergast doesn't have to spend her birthday alone after all. Oh, and who's this I see? Oh, 
Oh, hello, Sid. I've come for the surprise party. Oh, you're here to celebrate her birthday, too? Of course. I'm providing the music. <laughs> She's my great aunt. <laughs> you better come on in as well. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> oh, and who's this I see? Hello, Mayor. I suppose you're going to Mrs. Prendergast's party as well? Of course. She was my old school teacher. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, what a day it's been. But we'd never have managed without remembering everything we needed to know. A hairdresser uses a specially shaped sink to wash their customers' hair. They use a gown to cover them to stop their clothes getting messy. And when they have finished a haircut, the hairdresser will often show the customer what they have done using a hand mirror so they can see the back of their head. Oh, well, I think it's time we went home. It's been lovely having you, Sid. You really have been a wonderful hairdresser. Oh, thank you. Bye. Toodle pup. <laughs> Rebecca, I had the most fun being a hairdresser. Good. Maybe you can do my hair for me now. Why not? So what have you been doing? Well, nothing really. I was just about to throw away my trousers. Why? I tried to mend them, but look, it didn't really do the trick. Oh, aha. I have something that may help. A scarf? Well, you can use it as a patch for your trousers. Great idea. They'll be as good as new. <laughs> Playing hairdressers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. We love to play rowers and row our boat like this. I love to play monsters and I like to pull scary faces. Arrgh. When I play Roman soldiers, I manage like this. Rebecca? Hey, Sid, I've had a brilliant idea. It doesn't involve a newspaper rug by any chance, does it? <laughs> no, wait until you see. I'm going to make... A mud pie. No, a window box. And by spring, it'll be bursting with flowers. Oh, I like it. Can I help? Of course. Oh, hold on, Rebecca. It's time. Great. <laughs> it's time to play. Whose turn is it today? Let it be me. Let it be me. Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! There's the dressing up room. Let's play. This is really exciting. So, what are we playing today? <laughs> right, so I've got on a Viking's helmet, a judge's outfit, and clown's shoes. This can't be right. Ah, so now I'm wearing dungarees, a tool belt, and I've got some work boots. So what are we playing today? I know we're going to play carpenters and we're going to make things out of wood. So, what do we need to know? Carpenters are specially trained craftspeople who use tools to make things out of wood. They can make small things like furniture and big things like buildings and sheds. 
Carpenters sometimes wear a tool belt to carry their most handy tools. Wood is often bought in long planks and cut down to size with a saw. And carpenters join wood together in lots of different ways. Sometimes they use a special type of strong glue. I love sticking things together. So, that's what we need to remember. Is there anything else? Uh -huh. A hair comb? I wonder what I'm going to need that for. Well, I'm sure it'll come in handy. Well, we've got everything we need. Let's play! Ah, oh, Sid, there you are. You haven't got any seeds, have you? Seeds? No, sorry. Oh, that's a shame. My window box is ready for planting now, but I haven't got anything to plant. Mm. Hey, Sid, I like your outfit. What are you going to be today? Thanks. I'll give you a clue. You're going to be a drummer? No, I'm going to be a carpenter and make things out of wood. Oh, cool. Well, have fun. Will do. See you later. See ya. Let's play! Come on, let's play carpenters. Whoa! Right, so where am I? Oh, seems like a weird place for a carpenter to be. <coughs> oh, it's an elephant. Hello there. How are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. What a friendly elephant. Maybe it can help me work out what I'm meant to be doing around here. So, what's a carpenter like me doing in the middle of a field? We need a carpenter. Whoa. Did you hear that? The elephant just spoke. I'm just the person that you need. <laughs> a talking elephant. Are you available today? I sure am. What is it that you need me to do? Um, excuse me. Did you just say you were a carpenter? Oh, yes. I was just telling my friend the elephant here that I... Uh, you mean Angelina? Angelina the elephant? Ah, oh, Angelina. Oh, you didn't tell me that was your name. Yeah, Angelina was just telling me that she uh, needs a carpenter. It was me. It was me saying I needed a carpenter. But... Uh, oh, I see now. You didn't think Angelina was speaking to you, did you? A talking elephant? Me? No. Well, that would be silly. <laughs> OK, thanks. I won't be needing a carpenter after all. Oh. I was talking to the person on the phone. Oh. Uh. You see, I urgently need a carpenter. My usual carpenter's got stuck in another job, and I was looking for a replacement. But you can do the job instead. I'm Wendy Wald, by the way, manager of Wendy Wald's Wall Safari Park. Oh, right. Sounds nice. Where is it? Here. You're standing right in it. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, who are you? Uh, oh, I'm Sid. Sid the carpenter. Good. Chop, chop. No time to lose. Now, I need you to build me something urgently. You can get all the tools you need from over there in the tool store, and Kenny the caretaker will be happy to help you with anything. Any questions? Oh, yes. Uh, actually, uh, what is it you want me to make? Ah, yes, yes. Silly me. Details. No, I need you to make me a wooden shelter for an animal that's being delivered to the safari park later today by my twin sister. This is what the shelter needs to look like. Oh, right. Um, yeah, I think I can make this. Gosh, silly me. I need to feed the monkeys. There'll be a riot on my hands if I don't get there. Well, OK, good luck. I'll pop back later to see how you're getting on. Oh, right. Um, uh, thanks. I need to get some tools. Tools, 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 tools. Oh, yes, I know, Angelina. It's this way. Yes, yes, chop, chop. You heard the lady. What do you want? Um, sorry to bother you, Mr. Um, Kenny, isn't it? Kenny is, yeah. And you are? Uh, I'm Sid. Sid the carpenter. Pleased to meet you. You want some tools, yeah? Uh, yes, please. Um, I've got to build an animal shelter. And I'm making it out of wood. Here you go. Oh, what? Uh... And a workbench. Oh. I can't carry it all at once. Right, that's everything. Off you go. It's well into my break time. How am I supposed to carry all of that at the same time? Oh, dear. I've got too many tools and I've got to carry the workbench. What am I going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Yes, that's it. 
carpenters wear a tool belt to carry their most handy tools. If I put the tools in the tool belt, then I can carry the workbench. Right, okay, that should speed me up. <laughs> Now, I've got all the tools I need. I need to get back to the field, because there's no time to lose. Let's play! Have I got everything? Um, am I missing anything? I don't... Oh, I told you there'd be trouble with those monkeys if I was late. Oh, hello, Wendy. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> so, how are you getting on? Oh, um, well, um, I've got all the tools, so I'm all ready. Yes, I see. But you've yet to get the most important thing of all. You need wood. That's the next thing I was going to ask you about. Well, it's all ready for you to collect. Oh, where's that? Well, up the road, turn left, second right, third left. Left, right, left. Right. Chop, chop, no time to lose. Right, uh, I mean, OK, yes. Let's play! <laughs> Phew. Right, so, we've got everything we need. We've got the tools, we've got the plans, and we've got the wood. Let's get to work. I think that's it. Let's see. Oh, no. This doesn't seem to be right. This is wrong. I've used all the pieces of wood, but... This looks like a mess. Time is running out and I need to get this shelter built sooner rather than later. What do I have to do? Uh, oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Wood is sometimes bought in long planks and then cut down to size with a saw. I need to saw these pieces of wood into the right length, put them together, and then make the shelter the right size. Hmm, OK. Well, I'm going to need a hand for that. Uh, oh, I said a hand, Angelina, not a trunk. <laughs> I think I'll ask Kenny. Wish me luck. Uh, hi, Kenny. Um, sorry to bother you. Um, it's just that Wendy said that you might be able to um, to help me. So um, I wondered if you could give me a hand. <sighs> well, I've just put a fresh bottle of tea on. Please. All right then. Give me a minute. <laughs> Great. With Kenny to help me, I should have this shelter finished in no time. I need to mark this wood here and cut it around about there. Hmm. Uh, right, OK, so... Uh, no, you don't want to do it like that. Hmm? Um, well, how do I want to do it, Kenny? Well, you want to use a pencil. <gasps> ah, aha, a pencil, yes. That's a brilliant idea. Right, so if I mark the wood there, then that's where I need to cut it. OK. <clears throat> Goes. <laughs> I've done it. High five, Kenny. Oh, maybe not. Now I have to nail this piece of wood into this piece of wood here. Okay. Ow! Oh. What's all that racket? Oh, just fancy 40 winks. Oh, sorry to wake you, Kenny, but I'm glad you are awake. Um, I was trying to hammer the nail like this. No, 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 no. You don't want to do it like that. Really? What you need is a comb. Where am I going to find one of those? <laughs> Hold on. I know what we could use, do you? Yes. We can use this. I had a feeling it would come in handy sometime. Just uh, grab a comb like this. Put the uh, nail in, and uh, it holds up for you. See? Genius! Thanks, Kenny. <sighs> well, that's me done. Better get off for a cup of tea. See you later, Sid. <sighs> Thanks, Kenny. Well, chop, chop. We've got no time to lose, as Wendy would say. We'd better get hammering. 
Let's play! All finished and looking good. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Oh. oh, you like it too, do you, Angelina? Yes, oh, and just in time, look. Oh, those penguins. Their fish supper can be a messy business. Anyway, Sid, crisis! Chop, chop, no time to lose. But I finished, look. Oh, yes, it looks lovely, Sid. Except, big news. My sister just called. The animal she's bringing is much bigger than we originally thought. This lovely shelter needs to be made bigger. Now, my sister's coming very soon. We're twins. You can't miss her. She looks a lot like me. Now, chop, chop. Oh, there's no time to lose. Right, OK, um, so we need to make the shelter bigger and there's no time to lose. I think I'm going to need some help. <gasps> Maybe Kenny will help me. Kenny! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What now? I need your help. Um, Wendy's sister's going to be here any moment with the um, animal, whatever it is, and we need to make the shelter bigger. Hang on. <sighs> so, will you help? Since it's you, Sid, of course I will. Yes, thanks, Kenny. We're going to be fine. So, these bits of wood need to go here, here, here and here. I see. Oh. No, see, you don't want to do it like that. <laughs> no, clearly not. I need to fix these extra bits of wood to the shelter to make it bigger. But how am I going to do that? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Yes, that's it. Carpenters join wood together in lots of different ways, and sometimes they use a special strong glue. We need a strong glue to finish this job off. And I've got just the thing. Fantastic. Let's do it. Let's play. So, what do you think, Kenny? Smashing, Sid. You know what? You are a really good carpenter. Wow. Yep, whatever animals delivered here will enjoy hanging out in there. Oh, thanks, Kenny. I couldn't have done it without your help. Yeah, that's the thing. Always helping people, me. Never get a moment to myself. Oh, well, it's about time I went home. See you later, Sid. Bye, Kenny. Take it, uh, easy. Sid! Oh, that must be Wendy. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> I'm not Wendy. I'm Cindy, Wendy's twin sister. You must be Sid. Yes, and I've been expecting you. What a lovely day. And what a lovely journey I've had. Gosh, she kind of looks like Wendy, but with different colour hair. But she doesn't sound anything like her. Have you got an animal for me? Hmm? Ah, oh, yes. Meet Eleanor. <gasps> oh, hello, Eleanor. Very pleased to meet you. What do you think about your new hangout? <laughs> Let's play. So, what do you think? We love it. Hey, Sid, would you like to give Eleanor her supper? Oh, yes, please. So, what have we got in here, then? Some bark and some seeds and... Oh, Cindy, is it OK if I keep a couple of these seeds, please? Oh, absolutely. That's OK with you, isn't it, big girl? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eleanor. Thanks, Cindy. Well, I'd best be off. I've got to deliver a giant tortoise, which could take some time. <laughs> Say bye to Wendy for me. Will do. Let's play. Well, it must be nearly time we got going. Oh, Sid. Oh, hello, Wendy. You just missed your sister. She's gone to deliver uh, a tortoise. Oh, well, I'll catch up with her later. I wanted to thank you for the wonderful shelter you built, Eleanor. <laughs> She and Angelina will be very good friends. You are a wonderful carpenter, Sid. Ah, oh, thanks, Wendy. Well, we did it. But we'd never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. <laughs> Carpenters often wear a tool belt to carry their tools. They cut wood down to size using a saw. And they sometimes use special strong glue to hold pieces of wood together. 
Sounds like Angelina and Eleanor are making good friends. Oh, and I think it's time we went home. Oh, Sid, before you go, I forgot. I've got a giraffe being delivered tomorrow, which also needs a shelter. Oh, I'm sorry, Wendy. I've really got to go. See ya. OK. Goodbye, Sid. Bye. Bye. Let's play. Hey, Sid, how was it? It was brilliant. I met a new friend, an elephant called Angelina. Yes, and I built a shelter out of wood for Angelina and another elephant called Eleanor. It was great fun. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I knew you'd enjoy it. So what have you been doing? Well, I've made my window box, but I couldn't find any seeds to go in there. Oh, seeds. That reminds me. Look, I found some seeds for you. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Sid. Playing carpenters was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. Play is funny and I fish like this. <gasps> this is the noise when I make when I play dinosaurs. <gasps> when I play foxes, I sneak around like this. 